Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the DZMC Gaming Channel for the Friday Night Blitz with Shaky Vagabond and Air Dolphin 98. Hopefully, this will be the last of this series. <laughs> we can close this out tonight. So let's jump in and see what we got to do. Okay. Well, I'm going to purchase seven infantry, six artillery, one tank, a one submarine. Sound right to you, Shaky? Yes, sir. Okay. Here we go. We are not going to attack C Zone 36. Sorry, our dolphin. Just doesn't look that. Just doesn't look that exciting. It's too dicey. Actually, I think it's probably less than 50%. Um, actually, the Americans are not going to attack anything. So, um, so we're gonna, not going to attack anything. <laughs> Oh, one new map note from our last conversation in oh. 14. Oh, okay, let me see it. I look at it here. Uh, yeah, I agree. I oh. agree. I agree. Hmm. What's my guy? Italian East Africa. Right. What can he do? <laughs> Except die. <laughs> He can pray. <laughs> yeah, he's not going to make it out of there. <laughs> All right. Well, then that is it. That's going to be our turn. Damn it. 30 rounds in and I got no freaking turns. Uh, Non-combat. Here we go. Okay. I'm going to go here. Here. Jesus. Select. I can't select a carrier. <laughs> Come here. This is sad. There we go. That took some effort. Uh, we want the bomber in the Pacific, right? Yeah. Uh, negative. Where do we want him? Central United States. Ah. That's right. What was I thinking? You were probably thinking good things, but not the things that we had talked about. Right. Um. Should I pick the guys up from New uh, Guinea? I'm thinking you're... Uh, maybe. I think so. Nah. Well, maybe maybe the so? maybe the artillery. Ah, no, we'll leave him. We'll leave him there. We'll leave him there. I mean, it's either one or both. Did you want to leave the planes in New Guinea? He, he's not attacking C zone 49. He's not, a, he, he doesn't, his three subs can't support him if he attacks three C zone 49. And then we will hit him because we will have enough. Um, unless he wants to sacrifice his transport. But if he has, if he wants to use his planes to take New Guinea or even Western Australia, um, well, he, his subs can get to C zone 46, can't they? Do you want to do you want to defend Western Australia with the planes and the tank no. and, and the infantry? No, no, but I think it might be worthwhile to leave the planes on New Guinea. But I well, don't have strong opinions. Either. Well, like I said, in New Guinea, he can't really attack that without sacrificing his transports. He can't send his fleet there because um, with the extra destroyer and sub, we will have enough to hit sea zone. We would have enough. I think mathematically to take that little fleet down. His subs in C zone 35 can get to C zone 46, but they can't get to C zone 49. 
So we'll leave the planes. So let me ask you this. Okay. Is there is there any advantage to leaving the planes on 45 instead of leaving the planes on New Guinea? Um, well, if we leave them on New Guinea, um, he could take that island with three infantry and his two fighters. I mean, mathematically, he could sacrifice his infantry and his fighters to take that, and that would be two less planes that we could attack him back with. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he could get a lucky yeah, roll. He could, he could, he could get a lucky roll and get like five hits or four hits and take out the infantry artillery and the two fighters on New Guinea. I mean, unlikely. I don't think at this point in the stage in the match that he would take that risk. But I don't know. I think we just leave him on, leave him on season 45. Leave him on the carrier. Do you th I mean, would you do that? Would you would you send three infantry and two planes after uh, two fighters and an infantry and art or, or an infantry and artillery and two fighters? I wouldn't. Well, probably not because then you have to destroy our block a bunch of stuff. He wouldn't even be able to destroy or block me. Yeah, he could. In forty six. Uh, oh, by just sending his planes, you mean? Are, are you saying he's going to, he's not, he, what he's going to do, if anything, is he'll go to C-Zone 46 with his three subs and join his fleet up in C-Zone 46. Or 38. One of those two. And he's going to take Western Australia here. And we're going to try and hit that back. And we will be able to because we have our transport. That's why I'm saying if I transport these guys off of New Guinea onto Eastern Australia... Then we're not forced to use the fleet to take back whatever he puts in Western Australia. So I think, actually, I'm going to pick up those guys in New Guinea. Okay. There. I think that's a better move. Um, yeah. Okay. Now, the... Um, I'm pulling the guys from Rome, actually. Into... Hold on, just, I, I just want to talk about this one more time. Okay. Because what <laughs> okay. you're giving up is, you're giving up your bomber landing spot. Whereas if we kept it with the two units and the two planes, there's a strong chance the bomber could still land. If he decides to go all in at 49, what... Like you said, I don't think he will do. But. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think he's gonna shake you. To be honest with you, I don't even think okay. he's, I don't even think he's gonna sacrifice a transport to take it. Okay. It's just not the mat. It's just not worth no. it. It's not worth it. I wouldn't. I'm thinking. Now I'm he thinking might, he, he might on the next turn. It, <laughs> okay, I th I'm thinking your Polish planes should land in Italy to give the maximum amount of options. That way they can hit Transjordan or Egypt or Baltic or whatever. Uh, that's true. I kind of want them in Baltic, though. I don't know what the math... I guess we don't... Yeah, we pro actually probably don't need them there. You're right. That's actually not a bad spot. Okay. All right. Everything else, though, we're going to Baltic. And you want to leave one infantry yep. on Italy? Because yep. you're going to buy three there, right? Yep. <sighs> All right. Everything has been moved that can be moved. Like you said it. An even hundred. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's a nice round number. All right. Let's mobilize, boys. Oh wait, I want I want one infantry in. Uh, shoot, I want one infantry here. 
and then the rest goes here. Wait, what happened there? Damn it. Jesus Christ. Three, one, three. Okay, there we go. Look good? Yeah, sort of. You made a mistake, but it's okay. Well, I'm not done yet, so what did I do? Oh, three guys. Yeah, yeah. you are. It's mobilization. I made a mistake. Where is my mistake? I'll type it for you. Oh, shoot. Shit. God damn it. Forgot to move the Russians. Oh, you had me thrown. You were throwing me with the whole make mistake thing. I was just pushing through it. Shit. It's their turn now. Oh. I got past non combat because it, it threw me. I hit it too fast. Oh, come on. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Can't go back. Uh, can we go back? Can't go back. Oh well. It is what it is. All oh, right. That actually really sucks. Yeah, it does. It's not. It's not a major thing, but it's it's enough of a problem. Well, at least you got to send something significant to kill it. Did you type what my? Did you send me a message? Where? Oh, on the map? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Um, I'll be right back, okay? Let's put my headset down. Well, we ended last game on a mistake, and we started this game on one and a half mistakes. So... Things could be better. Bombard value.
what, if anything, should I leave to help these Russians? Or Russians? Huh. I need to smoke a little strategy medicine. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, so what, if anything, should I leave to help protect these Russians? You think maybe four or five units to make it a yeah a little meaty? Yeah, maybe four infantry. I want to give it to them. That was my my mistake. Yeah, my bad. Should I leave anything? Should I leave anything in Romania? Romania as tradable stuff. Uh, Ukraine trade opportunities. Yes. Probably not, right? Yeah, I'd say yeah. leave. I'd leave. Two. Um, well, he's most. Li he's got. He's so either got to. He, he's either got to give up Karelia, or he's got to defend it and Belarusia. So he can't use the guys in Caucasus to do that, but he can move the guys in Caucasus up into Ukraine. So. Yeah. I say maybe, maybe even ten units. No. Really. No, not that many. I mean. Well, that's not that's not a bad idea actually. He's not hitting Baltic. I'm gonna leave three, because if he hits it, if he double stacks it with the twenty four infantry, we can't trade Ukraine anyway. Right, but just enough there to, to make get that a little a little something. Yeah, I think that's it. Wait, um, More Russian bastards. I think. Uh, Look, you sent a hundred. I sent seventy-five. That's that's a pretty good number. That's a good number. It's a good. It's a good round number. <laughs> All right, let's go. Looks good to me. Uh, wait, 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 uh, did, uh, oh, okay, you took, you took Libya back, okay. Nice. Did, I did, I did. Something like that. Forty bucks, not bad, not bad. Okay, what's the score? 397 okay. to 406. This is interesting. See, like okay. I said, we come back from a break. That's when they do something. Uh, they pivot. They, they readjust. So it's hard to make plans yeah. because they, you know, weren't expecting that, were yeah. you, boys? We're sober. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're sober. <laughs> give us, mm -hmm. give us about four hours, and you'll comment, you'll be able to walk all over us. Consumption. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Um... Hmm. This is tricky. Uh. I don't suppose stacking Poland would be a good idea here. He has all those artillery and... I mean, it would be a trade. If you stack Poland... I don't know. Mm -hmm. They could turn around with... enough and still take Karelia. You could stack Karelia with, you know, everything in West Russia. No, and no, I'm, I'm going to, I would stack Poland and I would stack Ukraine. So you would give maybe, up Karelia? Maybe even, yes. Well, if you gave up Karelia and there wasn't much there, then they can just walk in with the tiniest bit and they've got more than enough to turn around. And But it does put you on the doorstep of Berlin again. It just, just going back to how we were week before last, when they had yeah. Karelia and you were staring at Berlin but still couldn't take it. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, be right back. They have. Okay, in total, let, let's let's count it up. Seventy-one, no, seventy-four. They got one hundred and seventy-five there. They moved one hundred plus seventy-five. They already did the math for us. Plus, 
two fighters. One, two, I'm getting seventy five plus four, so nine plus they can't four, make it. Twenty one, twenty four. Hundred and eighty one. Hundred and eighty one plus twenty four. Yeah. Yeah, I don't you're, think so. You're looking at what's in actually in Berlin, Germany as well, okay. Yeah. Damn it. Mm -hmm. they, no position to strike that if it combines, and they could, I feel, advance with enough into Karelia to really take it, secure it against what you've got, and make it impossible to take Berlin still. Mm. Yeah. I, mean, I feel like you should give five. take what they gave us and declare it a mistake. Maybe it wasn't a mistake. Maybe it just wants to pull a little bit more to the southwest because all it takes is a couple of infantry sometimes when you have numbers like this to significantly alter the potential outcome of a battle. 80 plus 30 is 120. We got 20. We got 122 if you account for that, the armor's ability to shift forward, plus the two three bombers, so 125. Yeah. Uh, all of your fighters are currently I too mean, far. I'm just, just thinking about the Poland stack. I mean, it's still, um, it's, it, it, it could yield some results, but it could also result, I mean, it stretches their lines. One of the strengths they've had is the fact that they're supplying from only one and two away, but what they move forward is going to be far enough away. It can't be resupplied quickly. You're producing eight and 12, 12 within one move of the border of Karelia. So that means with the 12 that's already there, they can still threaten Caucasus. So, you know, you've got to protect that. They got, they've got four transports mm -hmm. down there. They even built US in Italy or combined US yeah. troops in Italy to make sure that they could do a transport there. Egypt is still not as strong as it could be. I mean, there's so many places they could potentially poke here in a moment. Mm -hmm. And your instinct, which is you know, well, not your instinct or your desire, which is to, you know, one day take Berlin, which, you know, obviously as the Berlin player, the Germany player, I'm like, yeah, let's do this. Um, is to put as much force forward towards that objective as possible, but it feels like a trap. It feels like it's not going to pan out. Like if we had one more round, it's some more of that even forward. But their numbers have been going up faster than ours, so. I mean, if you did move into Poland, I don't think they can dislodge you, unless they go all in. Oh, I, I'm just concerned about an all in. I'm not really concerned about. I, mean, I think that's why, you know, we're, we're going to start seeing a lot more artillery by now because those, those infantry need support. Mm -hmm. um, I think an all-in could win, but I don't think it would be odds in their favor yet. Oh, yeah, it would be. Yeah, it, it would be in their favor, but I'm just yep. thinking about the... Just kind of thinking about the IPC losses. See, they got tricky without a calculator. Hey, yeah. So thirty-seven. They have one hundred and seventy, one hundred and seventy-five in Baltic states, plus eight fighters. They have twelve plus nine is twenty-one. He's got sixteen artillery in Baltic states. Okay. He's got six artillery in Baltic states. No, uh, no, the U.S. have 16 now. I didn't realize they'd gotten that high. 
Yeah, in, in Baltic states, yeah, they have 16. Yeah. Plus six more back behind us, so 22. Mm hmm Yeah, that started to look a little... Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think Poland's a good move. Yeah. Sure it is! It's a shame, though. Such a juicy... <laughs> it's, it's such a juicy uh, two Russian fighters. Well, I mean, you could still try to take it out just to take those out, but don't put it past these guys for the whole accidental Russian move to not be an accident at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoops, I forgot to move the Russians. How many guys should I move behind to protect the poor guys? Ooh, us? <laughs> oh, for participating in PSYOPs? <laughs> In, in all fairness, we actually did talk for about an hour the other day on this, so we had this all kind of sort of planned out. So, um, yeah, we knew exactly what we wanted to do. But it is easy. The moment they, you know, the, the game denies you the process you become comfortable with, it is easy to accidentally go one extra round just out of habit and skip a round that you thought was something else. So maybe I think the wiser move here is just to stack Corellia. I can do that for Let's sure. Then you stack Corellia, and then they move into mm -hmm. Belarusia. Okay. So now they've managed to push forward their dead zone radius, area effect, mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. And they've taken back that nice little line that you had pushed forward. Mm -hmm. And then once they're in Bello and you're in Karelia, West Russia is dangerous for them, obviously, because then you can converge from three different production points on top of what you already have. But in two rounds, what if they just move into West Russia? Hmm. That's a pretty good idea. Thanks for that advice. <laughs> well, I would, I would, I would then abandon Karelia, right? Oh yeah, and then they get Karelia, and so how long is it? You know, for the Russians, it worked because you know they had the the Americans coming, so they could keep giving up the biggest country in the world little by little until the American reinforcements arrived and the British arrived, and we have none of that coming. So how long do we keep backing up? Uh, let's see. Yeah, take your time. Because Japan's got deals, Japan's got a lot to think about here. It's a big turn for you guys. Where you'll you'll just keep falling back because once you start backing up, it can be hard to lean forward again. If I didn't know better, it sounds like Vagabond is pushing for uh. Uh, you only live once. Let's do it, Battle. Yeah. No, no, this is not a YOLO. No, no, this is just <laughs> to consider, consider what they're looking to do, which is just zigzag forward and slowly but surely push you back and see what they can get out of the deal, and they've got the force to do it. I mean, we got to see something I've never seen before. Triple-digit freaking number, 100, zero, zero, moving forward, followed by a 75. <laughs> He's my little brother. <laughs> We will zigzag our way through the boredom and pain, occasionally glancing up at the rain. Okay, Eminem. Well, it's Pink Floyd, but sure. Wait, is it? <laughs> exact same. Yeah. I, I thought I'd know every Pink Floyd lyric ever made. I must have missed that one. It's from Animals. Great album. They are just about to release a anniversary surround sound mix, Ooh. which is pretty interesting. This might be a good time for you to start drinking, Air Dolphin. 
mostly I'm thinking about what you said was one of your primary goals, which was to maintain a certain value at or above and how this is going to potentially reduce that. Where are we going to make it up? Hmm. Well, you've still got think... Africa to clean up. I think actually I might just shift to Ukraine, consolidate a, a significant force in West Russia, and uh, I can shift to Ukraine, and uh, they'll have to keep forces back. They won't be able to. They won't be able to really push on Karelia or something. Because if they do, I just shift to Ukraine, shift from Ukraine to Poland. Yeah, no, they'll definitely have to leave some forces back. I mean, but they'll 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 take really with what they can. Mm -hmm. Maybe they'll have ambitions to go further, but they can't get overly ambitious. Um, you shift to you shift to Ukraine. You st I still feel like you know, even though. It might be a giant trick. Sure, let's let's go ahead and soak up some of those uh, infantry right now. Poland should still be hit. You think Poland should be hit? That's too many guns that you're getting rid of. Two fighters that do have the ability to land somewhere that the U.S. just took. Not that two fighters matters as much when you've got 200 freaking units, but you know it does matter over several rounds. Um, and it blocks those tanks from being able to, well, they're not going to hit you with them. I don't know. I just want to see everything in, in Poland go away. Maybe I will, maybe I will, maybe I will just stack Poland and trade, trade the U.S. units away. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Was that you back up on? Nah, I would say I would go no on that. But you know what, man? We're here because of you. So you do you. I just want to see them lose those AA guns and fighters. Because they don't have any other AA guns that I'm seeing anywhere near the front line. They'd have to build them and move forward again. I mean, if you think you can take Poland and make the magic happen, go for it. It just doesn't look pretty to me. Maybe I could, maybe I could hold Belarus and strafe Poland or something. That's an option. Did you guys honestly not expect us to hit Baltic? And no, I didn't. Because you legitimately both seem surprised that we did this. Yeah. It's interesting because it, to us it was the only logical move. We had not discussed it. We expected you guys to wait another round or two before a possible push. Oh, okay. But I also warned one thing. I'm like, you know what? You, you just you can't predict these guys because when they've had a week to think about it, they adjust. 
mid-session in a blitz game, you tend to get stuck in your your current direction. You know, whatever your plan is, whatever you're doing, That's you true. don't always have enough time to stop and really imagine significant alternatives. Yeah, that's true. I agree. And I was like, be ready for their pivot. They're going to do something unexpected. And of course you did. Though in hindsight, I feel like we should have expected. Way to go, Dolphins. <laughs> Zigzag warfare, baby. Possibly the best move here may be to strafe uh, strafe Poland and I find it very hard to do strafes without calculators. Yeah, I always screw that mm. up too. If you want to strafe Poland, I mean, it depends on whether they've got the AA gun set up first or not. Um, probably do. <laughs> they, they are. But in the strafe, you're less likely to impact the fighters. So yeah. you're wanting to, you know, I guess it's really just about the AA guns. I mean, to me, I see a little, a little bit of value, not significant value, in the fact that they have no other AA guns on the field. Yeah. All right. So let's let's go through this purchase. Um, what do we got? Gonna go carrier and uh, destroyer. Carrier and destroyer. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Oh, 14, 16. Oh, that, out of counting India, you've got 16 build slots right up front. That's 40. No, I think I think I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stack Poland. I think we will get IBC profit from the uh, AA guns, and we will probably get at least even IBC from the trade. What's so, this? I think we can. I think we can. I think we can even out. It'll be wiped. It'll be stacked. But the question is whether we can. We can recover. Uh, I mean, they cut you off in a Karelia West Russia play while you're suddenly having to try and turn around. But can they balance that and defend Berlin? It's It'll be fun to see. Okay, well, can I just say something? And I don't care what you do, but you guys have been using the calculators offline, right? Yeah. Okay, so just, just so you know, Shake and I also did that just to be upfront and truthful about it. That was yeah. the first time I actually used a calculator, though, was the other day when we were talking. Other than that, the whole game I have not used a calculator <laughs> on or off the game. True, true story. But we did use the calculator when we were figuring out what we were gonna do here. Just so you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they've gamed uh -huh. out the potential to strike your stack. Between 
20 and 25 hits, the, U, the U.S. troops alone, the first round on average. Okay. Make sure I'm doing that math right. Using my calculator over here, <laughs> aka my, my brain. Um, that's 32 twos, which would be one third of 32, so about 10 hits there. No, it's more than 32 twos. Three hits from oh, as the, as the attacker. Oh well, yeah, no, you got the six and six back there. That's right, you'd be advancing on Poland. I don't want to. I want to pretend they don't exist. Oh, well, they That's do. That's 22, Four. 44 twos. <laughs> that makes a big difference. It does. It does. I was like, wait, hold on. We got this. Oh, no. There's troops in Germany. Oh, no. Those fighters can still get involved. So that's 10 threes right there. That's five hits on average. 42, one-third of that. We're looking at a nice, big, fat 14? Yeah, 14 hits there. So now we're looking at 19 hits first round, and that's just from that. And then he's got a shit ton of infantry on top of that, which there's enough of them to get a good amount of hits. So shoot, ones are weird in this game. I really do feel like the randomness of the dice does odd things to one sometimes, but that's a whole other story. But yeah, they're easily 20, 30 hits. I skewing up to 40 potentially, just dice be dice. I mean, half your infantry could disappear in one volley. Eighty-five, ninety-three, one hundred and thirteen. But on the other hand, you could get rid of half of the U.S. troops easily, and on a really good round, as many as two-thirds potentially. So, how many total U.S. troops does he have? Let's see. 78, 84 infantry, 22 artillery, so that's 106, plus 6 tanks is 112, he's got 4 fighters, 116, I don't see any transports, uh, any other fighters, his bomber went to central U.S., so what, that, it's 116, mm -hmm. yeah, because he had the under the move forward plus the 16 sitting back. And that would be against 113. So he's got three more than you already. Plus whatever the Russian skill. Uh, That's true. Yep. I so see it. Just the U.S. alone has more units than you that could participate in the Poland battle. Unless you bring the tanks. Unless you bring the tanks, which, you know, I assume you would. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And obviously, from an attack power perspective, as far as the potential to roll higher dice, it favors you a little bit with the fact that all your infantry get to fight on a two, but that's still a lot of U.S. troops. Not to mention, little brother U.K. right behind. He's got the 75 that move forward, 82, 84. That's... 87 if you account for Bulgaria and Romania, assuming you kill the two in Ukraine. And then another two infantry, and then there are four fighters. We had a bomber a long time ago. Um, yeah, plus four fighters on top of that. So 75, 82, 84, 89 from the UK on your already weakened stack from a US attack. Plus, as someone mentioned a second ago, whatever the Russians and the UK and Poland do on hitbacks. <clears throat> this is so exciting. I didn't expect the first moment of this game to be so tense. Well, we we yeah. for we forced it. What you gonna do? I feel like it becomes one of those things. I don't want to call it a coin flip, but it becomes a moment where 
if it goes well for them, it might decide it. If it goes well for us, it might decide it. <laughs> it's just YOLO is what someone said. So, I mean. Well, the advantage is when you guys are strategizing. you want to be how conservative? When you guys were strategizing, you didn't expect this move, so I know you didn't figure it out on a calculator already. Just so you know, we did. And let's just put it this way. And I, I, I feel sh like the, shaky the, the odds are in their favor for two rounds. Or for two waves. If we add in the Berlin-Germany forces. If they attack right now, I feel like it's, it's possibly a coin flip. But that's just gut feeling more than anything. Unless I sit here and start like doing fractions in my head for the next five minutes. And even then, I'm already drinking, so who knows how that goes. Me too. I'm, I'm, two, I'm two stones in. <laughs> you guys need to smoke some strategy medicine. Oh, that's a good idea. I do not envy your position here, Air Dolphin. It's a tough call. Either way, actually. You better shut up, dog. I'm going to sell you to the gypsies. Yeah, YOLO, man. I stand by what I said, though. If you if you, if you you zig the Karelia, they take belt, uh, yellow. If you zig down to Ukraine, I mean, they're, they're advancing at least some of that stack enough to cause problems regardless. It's just too narrow a choke point. It's three wide for like two segments in a row right there. It's easy to dead zone everything. And unless they lose a bunch of units, I don't feel like they're getting pushed back again for a while. Okay, after your turn, AD, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know what the calculator said, okay? And I think you're going to be surprised, and I think Vagabond will be surprised, too. It's, it's actually not even close. I'll just give you that as a hint. Yeah, no, I, I, I feel like the allies here would just, they would wipe your stack. And be left with a significant amount left. Well, don't give it to him on a silver platter. Well, I'm... I, I, to me, it feels I, obvious. You know, he's obviously struggling with it. And we're all friends. We are. Yes, we are. Dolphin is mostly struggling with the fact that he doesn't want to fall back and potentially keep falling back. Because of course. that was a solid move that either means Japan now has to bonsai or they have to accept that they can't keep holding Let's see as you guys, you know, down there harassing him in the in the Pacific. You got a lot of troops in Africa, so in many ways it is a good it is a good time to push because you know even if even though that Africa is a win, that's a, it, which is amazing. Egypt that was great, that that fleet that was lost again great. The fighters that you don't have that you can't bring up because you wiped out his fleet. That's Dolphin and I both feel that that's also a good thing for Japan. But when it comes to all that stuff he has in Africa, you guys are right to a certain extent. It's I'm just, not going to be engaged up here anytime soon. I'm just going to so mute. So now you push. I'm just going to mute for a sec, guys. Yeah, now you push. And all those forces in Africa, if they were up here, it would be a very different story. <laughs> but it's not. So, Dolphin, don't take Poland. That's my, my, my final word on that. But I have no, no I country. Think I, it. So. I think I will do it. I think I will do it. I think I think when they calculate it, they. I I, I know it'll be an uh, even trade. I think I think it can be an even trade of units. Maybe I will lose tanks to their infantry. I don't know, but I think it can be an even trade, and I will kill their fighters. I'm on the. I'm recording, honey. I'm. Yeah, and I remember and you talking about that. Just the idea that right. a loss is not trade. necessarily a loss yeah. if it's an even trade for you. Yeah. 
So we'll see how it goes. They have the advantage of the calculator, but... Right. Um, should I trade Ukraine lightly or should I stack it with? No, I'm, I'm still. My, my mic is live. On that, I'm a little torn. If you trade it lightly, then I feel like you could put a little more up towards Karelia right. to deal with whatever they send that direction because I feel like they're going to try to both strike you in Poland and go for Karelia. They might surprise mm -hmm. us and just, you know not but i feel like that yeah, that's think, what they're gonna do i think i will i will have some i'll have enough in ukraine to defend and i will have enough in west russia to defend as well it's just i will maybe lacking in caucasus so i don't know maybe i will have some in caucasus as well well what's the most they could bring to caucasus right now assume when you take ukraine they've got four u.s troops plus four fighters and a battleship bomber, and then the Brits could bring three uh, infantry and one artillery. And two fighters. Two no, fighters, um, assuming that one fighter up there is going to be involved in the big battle. No bombardments. So... I might need ten units in Caucasus, I guess. I think ten could hold. Uh, can you spare... You can't spare any fighters back this way. I imagine, based on what we've been talking about before this. Mm. Could you, can I, you could, I, could, I could spare one. If I, maybe, I, maybe I won't buy a carrier this turn. I'll buy two destroyers instead. And I'll spare one fighter. If you send even one fighter back there behind those infantry, and then maybe even drop it down to eight infantry. Eight infantry, two hits plus the fighter will be three. You do not have an AA gun? No, you do not. Um, but there's also Egypt, which they might go after. You've obviously got the troops in Transjordan, but you want to hold Transjordan too? That was a question. Uh, no, no I don't think so. Put emphasis. Yeah, 8 to 10 infantry plus 1 fighter should be more than enough for the Caucasus hold. Okay. And I, I'll have those bombers, too. So they'll be defending, in a sense. Yeah. And I may build a tank on Caucasus. That's one thing I'm thinking. Or whether I should build it in Caucasus or somewhere else, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to lose so much land if I do this. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hold on. One, two, mm -hmm. three. If you take Ukraine, those U.S. fighters can't go to Caucasus, right? Sure they can. Am I, am I counting that they right? Can, they can. They can land on a carrier. Oh, with freaking carriers. He's got two of them. Yeah. Um. I feel like I should, yeah, I'm not going to buy a carrier in the Pacific. I'm going to send one plane back to Caucasus, and I'm going to, and I'm going to buy all, I'm going to buy as much infantry as I can to replace the land I'm going to lose. So there, I think that should you're moving, be it. You're moving the nine armor forward too to Poland? Yeah. yeah. All right, so that means that all you're going to have as far as non-infantry will be three, three artillery. In a sense, yeah. The <laughs> big <laughs> Okay. 
plus the two you're building, so five. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I will. And I do feel that if you go all in on South Africa, you've got it. Yeah. Yeah. So the question in South Africa is whether I will lose more than average or average or something. So average is 13. That's what I felt like for you. Or, or you mean you losing. Oh, hold on. So 13, 20, 23, 24. That's easy right there. That's that, that divides perfectly into one third. So that's eight hits from them on the first round on average. And when I added you up, I felt like it was 13-ish. Which means I'll get a second round with... Yeah. It's just a matter of how much you lose. I agree. Um, no interest in Libya? No, I'm going there. You're going there? Okay. Um, take two bombers and two. I will have to land my bombers in Egypt, but okay. Uh, reinforcements to Prez, Jordan. Yes. Yeah. the build. Uh, yeah. Like that's all your attacks. I don't think, yeah, I don't think there's anything else. Poland first. See how many hitbacks there are. Come on, no hitbacks. Oh. Let's see how many. Two hitbacks. It's okay. How many hits did you get on the first round there? I don't know. Oh. Quite a lot. Two hitbacks in Ukraine. Thanks. Oh, come on now. Unfortunate. Okay, South Africa. This is the one we don't want Timothy to hit back just because, I mean, these guys are way out of position, but even still. Oh! Ah, that's not great. Okay. Wow. 
Okay, that was better. Ah, come on. Yeah, that's bigger than average. Oh yeah, no, they're, that's the allies hitting back hard. I guess that's what you get when you push them to the back to the sea. <laughs> Just turn it into a costly round. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, you guys have had so many hitbacks already. bomb in India. Going to stack Philippine Islands. Nathan 62. I don't see anything that can make it. It might reduce my flexibility a bit. Or so, if he, if he wanted to go after with a fighter, the carrier would have to move forward. One, two. The sub and 53 could join in. 56 doesn't make it. Oh, you didn't kill my transport in season 56. Or subs. I couldn't. Yeah, you oh. could. Your bomber, your, yeah, bomber, what? your bomber could hit it. Oh, if it landed in, yeah. Ah. Huh. That's a bonus. Shoot. But, uh, then, then his bomber could kill my bomber. That's. Although, yeah, maybe. Maybe he left one infantry behind with him, but. Yeah, yeah. I could. That's true. Missed opportunity. Oh, well. It's okay. So it would have put your bomber out of position, and now it's going right. to be up where you want it to be now. Yeah. But I feel like you could put that transport in 60. The only thing that he has that could make it would be a fighter, which Two would fighters. require the aircraft carrier to move forward. Well, yeah, but what I mean, in the sense of it by itself, all he needs is one fighter. Um, mm -hmm. But then your new ships, what did you build? Two destroyers? Mm -hmm. Two destroyers could go there, which could join in next round. If he did advance, because he would have to advance his carrier, well, no, because if it's destroyed by the destroyers, yeah. Such a weird mechanic. Um, it's okay. I kind of want to offload units onto the mainland. Got two sitting in Japan. Yeah.
see anything unmoved. Except for the five that are in Russia, but figure that's where you want them. <clears throat> no, that's not where I want them. I want them here. Um, okay. Six, ten. Like with Shaky's carrier at the end of another game where you're playing, I was like, I don't feel like that should be there, but. I guess Shaky knows what he's doing, but he's got plans, and I should have said something. But it didn't matter. They folded. The six that are okay, in West uh, Russia are going to stay in West Russia? Yeah, I think so. Gonna go for a Caucasus. And it'll have six, twelve, fourteen. <clears throat> hey, you had a fighter and a bomber on top of that aid. They could go for it, but I don't feel like it's an easy win at all, and mm -hmm. they would be better served elsewhere. Yeah. Okay. They're in your Baltic states. <laughs> Have extra infantry. They put one in Korea so they can't just march oh, in. They at least got to put something no, there, I, right? I, I actually didn't fully mobilize on. No, Caucasus Cauc is only three of four. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that should be good. Destroy this. Whoo! Wow. There we go. That was a long turn. <laughs> Shaky, I'm actually surprised um, that you that he moved to Poland. I actually almost didn't expect you to do that because I assumed that you guys would have gotten together and done the calculator on that as well. Um, Shaky, if I remember correctly, and correct me if I'm wrong here, but I believe the calculator said on a three-round strafe, the U.S. is left with all of its artillery and tanks, correct? And you clean up what's left. And you're still left with, I think, 37 infantry and all your artillery is that is that what it said i don't remember but i mean dice are going to be dice and we'll have to re calculate in real time what we can do but if i can um, escape this one a three round strafe with my artillery and tanks and then you clean up what's left um i mean you i'll, I'll blitz, you blitz bella russia yeah and i'll take karelia because i want your tank in the battle oh my god what are you doing to that dog i'm recording here Sorry, go ahead, Shaky. Uh, I'm just wondering, is Egypt on the table? Um, no. Well, mm, well, because I'm going to have to use those four planes in the battle, so because I calculated them, I calculated okay. use, I calculated use them. That's right. Same with you; you have to use all of your planes as well. Um, okay, so that being said, ugh, this is so exciting. Um, yeah, let's start with 13 infantry. Yeah, let's do that. Build back that base. Okay, that gives us 13 left over. I thought I would purchase um, a destroyer. Ugh, damn it, I want a destroyer and a sub. What about a cruiser? Yeah, I feel like two subs it might actually be better. I and this way I've we been enjoying cruisers lately, but only if they have bombard opportunities. Yeah, how about I figured instead do twelve infantry, one artillery, and then two just two submarines. Or thirteen, one fighter and one infantry. Uh... 
or 12, a tank and a fighter. Or 10, 3, and a fighter. I don't think that... The, I guess the, I think she get a fighter. I don't think there's a value in a tank right now in the European theater. There's not going to be any blitzing opportunities, and... And you already have enough tanks for that. Yeah. So I I think maybe the maybe the, the I want, three artillery. No, I think I want to keep. Like? I think I want to keep the pressure up actually in the Pacific with the two subs. He just built two destroyers. Okay. Well, how about one artillery then? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So twelve infantry, one artillery, and two subs. Well, wait just a second. <laughs> okay. Do you want any emergency? units in Western United States on the off chance that you have a horrific role in Western Canada? Well, I've got one at four, one at three, and one at one. Uh, that doesn't change the question. It doesn't change the question. Well, we can adjust. We can take one from Europe if, if, if we lose that battle. That's all. All right. Yeah, you're right. Um, okay. Throw some dice. Okay. Okay, um, we we kept our transport here. So, do you want to sack a transport and take East Indies? Yeah, I kind of do want to do that. Well, what's the value on that? We get four at the cost of ten. And a turn of him being in an awkward position. Yeah. Um. Yeah, you know, let's not sacrifice. I would like to get in a situation where we have two transports that could pick up four units at some point. Right. Let's Plus, just start in Canada and work our way. I think what we can do is we, around. in non-combat, I think we can go to Hawaii here, meet up with the fleet, and and that's just in case, again, in case that battle goes bad in Western Canada, from Hawaii, I can hit it. You know, I, I, when I say, when okay. I say, when I say go badly, okay. which means that he'll have two hitbacks, and basically I won't be able to take the territory, but he'll have nothing there either. But if we have troops in Hawaii, that still puts Alaska back in our hands and and or Western Canada. So I feel like that's the right move for that. Take two of those guys from Eastern Australia. Okay. This is non-com. We're going to hit Poland. We're, hit, we're hitting Poland. Okay, just real quick on Australia. Then you're leaving the other two units in Australia. The only way you're going to hold Australia is if you leave all four units and both planes. Well, he can't go, he can only go to Western Australia. I mean, we're going to be, we're off, at least going to be 53. He can't go to sea zone 45. So he, we can react. Why not? He could. Well, we can hit him if he does that. With our oh, entire. destroyer block in 44. Uh, well, that's true. He just built two destroyers. He's ready for destroyer blocks. So the only way to save those units is to leave all four units into two planes, which I think is fine. Bring... Well, we don't have to decide until after we see how Canada goes. That's true. Well, let's, let's, yeah, let's actually do that move first. <laughs> going to take Karelia and uh, Finland, right? That is correct, yep. Ooh. And probably West Africa. Only you. Only you. Put the banana bar, it's okay. Okay, I don't... 
see anything else. All right. You see anything else? Miss anything? Got everything going there? Right now I've got uh, 84 infantry, 22 artillery, 6 tanks, and 4 fighters. I think that's what I calculated. Now, if he gets crazy I dice like he did... I think that's implausible. It, well, yeah, it's... Well, to take it? Yeah, to take it's implausible. But I'm hoping if things work perfectly, a three-round streak will get him down to the numbers where you can just clean up and still hold Karelia with a significant force. We'll see how it works out. But if he gets crazy dice like he got the last time we did this, um, I think that he got a slightly above average defensive dice. So hopefully that doesn't work out that way this time. So let's do it. You ready? So what he should get he should get something like 30 hits in his first turn. So let's see if he gets more than 30. Right. I think I think it was 36 hits. Okay, you guys have the surprise attack advantage. So What? Let's see how this goes. Yeah, I yeah. mean you guys have the surprise advantage. Oh. So, we took him by surprise. Yeah, so that might help your dice there. Okay. So let's see. Let's do this little one first. A little appetizer. Oh, 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 oh. No hits and you got a hit back. No hits again. Wow. Okay. I lost the I lost the bomber in the tank. That is hilarious. All right, back to me. That is ridiculous. Yeah, that's crazy. How did that, that happen? I don't know. That just means we're due. Does it really? Yes. Yeah. No, it doesn't. No, it. Doesn't. Let's go, baby. Ten on take off on side. Thirty-four hits. Okay. Oh my god! Nice. Pretty good. That's way Pretty above good. average. He got 42 hits Is on it? his on his twos. That's, that's, that's way, above, way average. above average. 47 hits. 47 hits on his twos, dude. Is, is above average. Absolutely. Yes. Way above average. Oh my god. It's supposed to be like 30. God. Nice, nice. Pretty nice. This is going well. For us. It's going okay, yeah. It's going, it's going great. It's going great, actually. Oh. No. Did you go one round too many? I did. I went exactly one round too many. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Oh, that was that was fantastic. That's just gut wrenching. You gotta believe in the emperor, baby. You gotta believe in the emperor. Th those dice. How do you play against oh, dice like that? That's just some crazy dice. Jesus Woo! Christ. Oh my God. Well. And I didn't even build a tank. He's just going to get Western Canada or Eastern Canada. Absolutely nothing can do about it. I'm just, my jaw is dropping right now. I, I cannot believe that just happened. That is not how that battle was supposed to go at all. 47 hits on his twos. Give me a freaking break. That's like almost 50%. Little, slightly less than 50%. Oh. I mean, you guys still have a hundred percent to take, pretty much. But that's that's the that's the issue with a hundred percent. It's still a coin flippy battle in terms of your IPC loss, as I was talking about. I'm, ta I'm taking those infantry, dude, with me. I don't care. Yep. I, yep. I know. Actually, I'm taking the tank. Actually, I'm, to, I'm taking the tank instead. Let's leave that stupid tank there. <sighs> I'm in shock. I'm actually in shock.
send the other transport to Hawaii as well. That'll give you the option to take split the units on two different transport routes. Well, actually, I'll do this. I'm going to leave that sub there just in case he tries that crap again. Well, actually, I've got subs here now. Well, he has got destroyer. Well, we'll bring it here. Everything in Hawaii. Um, he could destroy or block me and take two more units and hit Alaska again. I don't have a bomber there now. No, yeah, he could. No, he can't. You just run through 50. No, you just run through 56. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's right. I could do that. That's right. Okay. Yeah, we're good there. God. Now, hold on. Oh, that is gut-wrenching, man. I want... I know this is much lower priority, but I still... We still got to focus. I want to take French West Africa... And he has two bombers in range. Should we send any American fleet to help support him? Uh, you have... Hold on. It'll be a destroyer and an empty carrier. God, I don't even know what to say about that. I was, I'm actually shocked by that. I did... We were supposed to clear his entire infantry from that battle, at least. That did not yep. that did not go well. That is really bad. Okay. Um Yeah, I can send a destroyer there. We got it we gotta can't let him just hold it. Why don't you send the battleship? Well I was gonna send the aircraft. Actually, why don't we pull back to thirteen? One, two, three. He's got three bombers that can reach fourteen at the moment. Uh, well, no, because that'll give him options in Caucasus. He'll be able to send his forces, his, uh, more of his forces forward if we do that. Mind you, I don't have my fighters left anyway, so. Hmm. Oh, Jesus. It's going to be a naked fleet without any fighters. Hopefully your battle goes much better. <laughs> I mean, I know you're going to take it, but you need to take it like oh, you were... No, not so sure, no. Uh, right, but you were supposed to take that and have like, th uh, what was it, forty-one units left. I don't know if that's going to be the case yeah, anymore. Something crazy like that. Yeah. So you want to pull back to thirteen? I don't know. I think we should stay there. Well, my God, my kids. Can or let me ask you the question this way: Can we defend against three bombers in fourteen and two bombers in twenty-three? One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, you need your planes for this attack. So let's pull back to 13. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. I'm sick to my stomach right now. You have no idea. Okay, so you're not going to send anything to 23? Oh, yeah, you got to take that. That's right. That's right. Um, I'll send the battleship and a destroyer. Battleship should be in. Uh... Okay, sure. Send them both. Whatever. You know, send them both. We could actually... Well, I guess it doesn't matter. We could actually start thinking about inching these it, units back towards the Pacific. Yeah, Pacific. actually, I've got a better idea. Um, oh, wait. Um, maybe we should defend C-Zone 14. I could pick these guys up, and then I'll be able to have use those guys in the battle again in Africa. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I think we're going to need these guys in, in Berlin. Actually, you know what, though? I'm going to pick up... Because uh, I could I could pick these guys up, and then I'll be able to hit uh, Eastern Canada from C-Zone 13, if he does take it. You can't pick them up. They're not in range. No, I know. I know.
I'm going to have to build guys in Eastern Canada and or Eastern USA and Western USA. That's not necessarily true. Because I could move back to eight and then I could amphibious guys to Eastern Canada. Okay, but we're going in the wrong direction. <laughs> yes, we are at the cost of two fucking infantry. Oh man, that's just insane. That that started it. That set, set the whole tone right there. How do you lose a bomber, a tank, and, a, and an infantry? <laughs> that's just crazy. Two, twice, two rounds, no hits. I mean, are we gonna lose the entire game on two infantry in Canada? It might come down. Well, I don't think it's that. that. I don't think it's so much Maybe. that. That Poland battle definitely got way better. Done. I, mean, I know I sound like I'm whining here. And leave your comments in the comment well, section, but I, that the battle should not have gone that well for him. That's just, that was sick. Maybe yeah, we'll that was ba- better than expected. Maybe we'll get asked back about the expected numbers on that. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, well. For science. We've moved everything. I, mean, I, I, think, I think we're all on about this. We've got the right numbers. It should have been in the 30 to 40 maybe, but 47. I mean, I feel like we're getting down to less than 10% odds there. I mean, I mean, it was it was above average for sure. It was more and, than uh, above average. It was yeah. way above average. Yeah. But my tanks, my tanks under hit throughout. Dude, you had. Yeah, so there's, there's more. Of the, there's you, more to the fight than tanks. You can't isolate a single unit. Yeah, right. but I mean, if you combine the the two, it may not be. It, it was above average for sure, but I don't know about hugely above average. You got, four, the you got 47 you got 47 hits that's like almost half 50 50 that's that's i was almost half you should have only gotten a third on average but i had 120 so one half is 60 one third is 40 so it's between one half and one third yeah, but it wasn't just the first round. It was the second round, too. You got all, an enormous amount of hits. What was it? I think you got 40 it hits was, on the second round. It, it did persist, yeah. Yeah, you yeah, went. It did. Oh, it was over multiple rounds. The first Cumulative, round was Cumulatively. Two but rounds. Cumulatively. So let's just, guys, let's just run the numbers so we're stop arguing. <laughs> no, I think, I think I did get a bit higher than 10% result on Poland, cumulatively. Because cumulatively, you guys did it under hit, and I over hit, or... Slightly overhit, you guys underhit, and when you accumulate that, that turns into a above ten percent or below ten percent. Uh, if only there was a way we could find out. Well, there's someone who's making clicking sounds that you know someone might you know call calculating, and this time they would be right. I'm not the last time someone bitch. Let's see. Right. I just happened to reverse engineer from the war diary, but I don't remember the exact numbers. But I'll I'll, I'll give you guys a report shortly. All right. Very good. Don't forget your plans. Yeah, before you kill those guys, hold on, let me see what we got left. We got 28, okay, so 16, 28, I'm good. All right. <laughs> and that was supposed to be a strafe, actually. <laughs> so that, that didn't work out. <laughs> yeah. I was supposed to come away with my tanks and bombers and most of my artillery. Or tanks and fighters, I should say. So in that regard, that was a win for you guys as well. So having lost just 67 infantry... Across all rounds, I'll, I'll give you that factor first here in a moment. 2.1, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8. I'm going to add this up kind of manually, like 2, 4, 6, 7. I had 83 infantry at the start. Yeah. But, but you were left with 16. I mean, having that result where you're left with 16, so losing 67, yeah. which is what we got, going all yeah. in and losing everything. That's 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Less than 20%. 
probably about 15 or so percent chance of that happening. Now, the first round in 47 hits, I'll figure that out here in a second as well. Just give us the one single result. I don't need each breakdown. So it's a between 15 and 20 percent top result for me. 21 infantry was actually the average for one round that the attacker would lose. How, how many? How many hits? 41. So 47 was 41. only six off. Right. No, I lost more than 46. Okay, so far from infantry alone? Yeah, on one round of the U.S. attacking, uh, 41 infantry is the average result that they would lose in the first round. So 47 was six above. Okay. But that six so is a significant deviation. Yeah, but 50 total because I, I had three tank hits. Oh, so you had 50 hits on the first round? Yeah, thought it was because 50. Because of the three tank hits on the first I thought, round. I thought, it was, I thought it was 50. 50. 52, but... Yeah, that's 52. exactly 50. It's exactly okay, 50. well... Well, if it was exactly 50, we're talking about 5% or less, give or take a percent. Yeah, that seems about right. Well, for anyone who's ever played Dungeons & Dragons, that's a natural 20. 20 or you know or on the case of the attacking us they roll a one out of fail all saving throws and never mind dungeon to dragons one. anybody who's ever played this game long enough will get dice like that once in a while it happens i'm not i know it happens it's just it's not supposed to happen when we don't want it to happen that's all yeah <laughs> <laughs> well especially on the heels of losing a bomb up to two infantry yeah. Now, I don't know what that... That was a wild two in. I don't know what that one calculates out to, but that's got to be less than 1%. I'm going to calculate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that's the crazier one. But that was ridiculous as well. But you ain't your fan. Yep. When you go dolphin. Yeah. I'm like, don't take Poland, and you're like... This. And here we are now. All right, well, hopefully it works in our favor this yeah. time. Might have to crack three beers off that one. Jesus Christ. I guarantee at the end of this night, I'm not going to be sober. That's for sure. All right. Jesus, let's see. Wait, wait, wait. Did... No, not again. Oh. Yep, again. Oh my god. Does it feel sorry for Japan the dice or something? Is that what's it, going it, on here? Come on. Yeah. Oh, we're we're desync because he's only just realizing I mean, that. You can't really feel good about this game if, if it's gonna be <laughs> Only ten yeah, hits on sixty one. You're supposed to strange. Oh, uh, my tank's under hit again. Come on, these tanks. These idiotic tanks. Breeze just seem to underperform all the time. <laughs> That's better. Okay, okay, that was a little better. But still not, still kind of uh, Ooh, nice. average. Oh, nice. Oh, okay, that was okay. Oh, but that was dead. Shoot. All right. Okay. So wait a minute, maybe he will end up with... The F3s didn't under underperform there. Yeah, you did good there. Okay, so I think you're still going to be left with... 31, 41, 42, 43. Oh, you're close. I said you'd be left with about 57 units, and you're close. So it kind of worked out a little bit, maybe, but not the way it was supposed to. <laughs> 41. It was a very generous interpretation. Yeah, you were supposed to be left with about 57 units. You're 31, 41, 42, 43, 48. So you're below by, by about 10 units. But the point is, is that now um, it opened everything up. Sort of. Well, who's in for a 60 rounder, guys? <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Amon said he, he uh, direct messaged me on Discord today and he said hey i want to get in on your next game i said oh we'll probably be finished up tonight so uh just send a message and uh 
you know, will that you want to play, and we'll see if we can add you to the next Friday night blitz. I don't. I think we might be playing next Friday night, guys. <laughs> yeah, I said the same thing to Dolphins, but uh, I'm happy to step aside for a player like Amon. So. Yeah, I, don't know. I might. I might want to take a break. I don't know. Yeah, we could. Well, I mean, there lose. are five spots. Yeah, exactly. That's true. You draw straws for Russia or something. Yeah. Hey, I'll always play Russia, but as long- I, I feel like against <laughs> this time, UK needs to go to sleep, though. Not that I can complain. It worked out before. Ugh. Well, he has no tanks, wow. and he's and he's got very he's got very little infantry. That's the good news. Or sorry, very little artillery. What does he it's... have? What does he have in Russia, West Russia caucus, and Ukraine compared to what I have? Is it comparable or not really? It's about the same. Thirty-two, thirty-six, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven. He's got forty. What forty-three, forty-four, land units. Oh, plus the eight eight guys that are in Moscow, so that's fifty-two. Oh, almost comparable. Yeah. Which is it's an interesting term because you know we were sacrificing UK units so that America could build up, and it did, but now UK is the one that enforced. Right. Mm-hmm. And I mean, losing West Africa sucks too. I mean, it's just a a, a series of of really bad luck. Yeah. So, Dolphin, I mean, mm-hmm. if the dice keep liking you like they have, I know it's long odds, but two infantry, two ones versus two twos can happen. I, I don't actually advise it, but... Uh, the dice, the dice last round, that was great. <laughs> okay, so um, should I... Did I try for Eastern Australia, six units against four? Yes, I was thinking about that. But the real question is, can you survive the counter extract on the fleet? You do have your seven subs fully so. together. Uh, so he, has, s- he, will, he will, presumably, he should lose these two planes. I have seven, I have three. He has six, he has three. I have, yeah. Um, ah, I wish I had a fighter, an extra fighter, just in case, but... Two hits. Three hits. Where'd the U.S. fighters go? Oh, they're in Australia. So, okay, so if you take them out, he doesn't have the fighters in support. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I think what West Canada and French West Africa, you know, remind us is that smaller numbers things get even more likely to go out of hand you could go in on that and just fail horribly he could still have those two fighters yeah but i think i think we gotta still try for it be right back i mean if it if it, if it works i think it just continues mm-hmm. to push things in your favor after that last round so i feel you there i can get behind it i mean poland was a lot of dead Japanese, but at the same time, mm-hmm. it was a win. Yeah, absolutely. Uh... So, yep, yeah, I mean, I, I feel I, I feel to go in. You've got the extra two destroyers. He has an extra two subs in 56. Yeah, I say go for it. I agree. Okay, uh... I have, I'm building 24, plus 17, plus 23. So that's what I'm seeing, unless I'm doing the math wrong. You've got 22 production points in Asia, your, slash Eurasia. Yeah. 
but you've got a transport back there that can keep moving two around. So, yeah, 24 yeah. is a good number. Okay. Uh, no C, no nothing else? Oh, you do have one destroyer. Okay. I have one destroyer. And then he did move all of his fleet out towards 13, so the furthest they can strike back now is... Algeria, no, they could get into. Oh, he only has the one infantry there, so. Yeah, with that that French West Africa hold, Africa's yours pretty much. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, you got Karelia back. You're going to get mm -hmm. Yellow back. If you want it, you're going to get Bulgaria, Romania. Yeah, I think I'll trade that. With one, just one, uh, one guy. Okay. Um. Okay. So what are your plans for the uh, the three bombers between Caucasus and Egypt? <laughs> um, not sure. It's risky, but I mean, two infantry plus three bombers could win out in Algeria. Yeah, that's true. Um, nah, I think. I think I'll just stack it and uh, keep going. I don't want to risk the three hits. That's that's one thing where I kind of feel the risk, the reward isn't worth the risk. It's just for infantry, and I'm going to stack Libya anyway, so. Yep. And then what about the Western Canada infantry? All right. Can't forget that. I'll just, I'll just send one for now, and uh, later I will see if I want to change it up. As... Four infantry in range, and actually another one. So. I might want to just leave it there for the Americans to have to have to send two guys. Yeah, no, definitely no, because that way the, the he has to try and attack you, and as the dice have already shown, two twos versus one two, that could easily go the other way. Mm-hmm. And he has to respond to the Eastern Canada movement as well. I mean, those guys have already recouped their cost so much. Yeah. Okay, let's see how many to send here, actually. Um, At least two ground troops. Do you have any air going yeah. over there? Um, yeah, I'll send, I'll send two. I feel like right now you should save your artillery if you can. I, I want to keep Ukraine pressured so he can't advance there. And, uh, let's see. Your Egyptian bombers can come up to Bulgaria to help there. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. Man, that's leaving a pit in my stomach. Poland, you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Get back in the Warsaw ghettos. Yeah. <laughs> that a historical reference to the initial uh, reckoning of the word ghetto? Nice. Yeah. Okay. Um... No, I believe it was Elvis Presley. <laughs> oh, lots of musical references. All right. There's one thing that she don't need is another little hunger mouth food in the ghetto. It's actually a really good song. I mean, he it is. he was so far ahead of his time about. I mean, he wasn't singing about black people, but it's funny watching black people react to that song online because they sort of get it if they lived in Chicago or something like that, or in the real ghettos where it is like that. But he was talking about. I mean, remember he was very very poor growing up, Elvis Presley. So 
Well, I mean, first, first yeah. of all, Elvis did not write his own songs, and second of all, he did have a bit of a racist history. I love his music. Oh, did he? I thought he. I, I thought he loved. It. He, I mean, he pulled some of his music from sort of a combination of black music, actually, really. Uh, for sure, and he often played with black musicians. Yeah, a lot. I don't think he was um, racist. Who, I've never heard that um, before. The name of his trumpeter. Oh my god, he was awesome. I can't remember his name, but he was awesome. Yeah, his band was pretty good. Um, there's a movie out about him too. I heard it's pretty good. I'm Mike actually might go see it. I used to idolize Elvis when I was a kid. Yeah, is it out? I, I think it's is out. It out I think so, yeah. It's got pretty good reviews. People are saying online that it's it's really well done. Another mistake in Eastern Australia. If you were only gonna leave the two, you shouldn't have left the fighters. I know. I'm looking at that, I'm thinking, Jesus Christ, why did they do that? At that whole, the, four and the, fighters. the whole Western Canada thing, t losing I, that just set the whole tone I for that know. massive, no, it, m massive bad, bad choices all around. I didn't pull out when I could have. It, it, it tilts you, and it's hard to think when you're tilted. Oh, it does, man. It really does. Okay, let's let's do this. Come on. No, come on. No. no. That's bullshit. Okay, reset. There should be at least two hits. Okay, come on. Okay. Come on, three hits. And like, you lose the fighter here if you have to. Just to get through his fighters. Well, no, because you're just trying to kill his fighters, that's right. But yeah, kill his fighter. There we go. Nice. Oh, no, come on. Nice, nice. Kill the fighter. Oh, come on! Come on! Come on. We can't catch him. Okay, good. We cannot catch a break. Well, you guys. That saved. was more important than Cap in the Province, killing those fighters. Yeah. What yeah. is the official term? Is it what is it? Is it a province, a region, a zone? Territory. Territory? Territory. There we go. Because it's a zone if it's sea, but it's a territory if it's land. <sighs> yeah. All right, nice Kirillia. I'll be right back, guys. Oh, my game got out of sync. I got to reload. Are you, yeah, are you actually watching the later. battle? Ah. It's okay. Let's, uh, let's uh, count our blessings. <laughs> you can't win every time. Right. And we won where it really mattered. Yeah. Okay. Stack Egypt. We stack Libya, I know. Yeah, there's there's nothing that can reach Egypt now. I will leave Ukraine there because I think he doesn't have anything that can reach. Only one well, I mean, tank. Yeah, I was about to say, you can't leave one behind just to make it so he can't do the easy one tank in, one tank Let's... out. No, nah, I think I think my units are more valuable in, in a sense. So I just... Forget the two infantry in Japan. Yeah. This guy will put him in. Well, he doesn't have any fighters anymore, so there's no direct threat if you bring him down to the Philippines for a possible oceanic retake. That's true. Yeah, I might do that, actually. Where'd that bomber go? The bomber oh, no, actually. Yeah. 
actually. I, I also ended up doing that. Still get back to Western Australia if you want. Philippines, I guess. I mean, I, it, it like hurts a little bit just to imagine the scale of the horror that was the Polish battle. I mean, when you think about how many mm -hmm. troops that would represent. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for sure. Wow. UK came I... into a uh, UK came into red fields. That's for sure. The numbers are so much diminished now. Okay. Uh, oh, sorry. Let's see. Uh, I don't see any positioning that I can advise. I mean, I see what you're doing. Everything looks good. literally everything and you still want to keep the Canadian forces split to make them have to deal with both. Yeah. Not a walk -in. yeah I think so yeah no that, that that makes sense either the UK is coming back like they discussed or he's placing troops in eastern US mm Uh, as of right now, Shiki, he's out buying us. Well, that's not good. No. Okay. Well. Get it in Alaska, we'll do that. And then you pointed out, Dolphin, though, I mean, you and I discussed attack power and what we think of it as a metric, but the attack power shifted significantly as well. Wow, look at our lead in terms of lead, which I really don't care about generally. <laughs> Eight infantry, five artillery, and a fighter. So I think I see a mini opportunity here that is to move your fleet to 59 with the two units and the two transports. It's easily defendable. I'd rather just take Alaska and uh, Western Canada. Well, it's not about... We need territory, dude. Yeah. I, th I, think, I think 59... <laughs> I think there's a good opportunity in 59. Um, Take Iwo Jima, have all those units in range. Easy, it's easily defensible for him. It's, defensible. it's not, it's so a... What? Huh? So what? It's easily defensible, but... But it gets us nothing. It gives us options. It, it wastes a turn not taking Alaska and wait. Except for position. We're still in position 64 if I go to 64. Well, not the same position. No, but actually he has to defend two, two areas, 62 and 60, if I go to 64. I'm going to type it out. 
Yes, it's easily defensible, but there's wiggle room. We can start wiggling our way. All right, which one's right here? Uh, yes, that's true. It's fine. Just take a land. Yeah, I, I, it's also easily defensible. I think. Um, okay. So, let's take. Um, I don't think it is that easily defensible. I think it's blockable, but not easily defensible. I think it's harder from C zone sixty four to defend C zone sixty two and sixty and the island. He can't get back to what his fleet we don't before. Have to defend. He has, he has, he has no land units. He's got two land units in Japan. Yeah, but a trans. Okay, whatever. What am I not? What am I not seeing? No, take the time, mate. We we can take time here. I see what well, you're saying. See. Say it. Well. Uh... Let me let me pipe it out and say this. One two. Um. I know what you're thinking. Uh... Just get Alaska. We need the Atlas. I swear, if this guy survives, I'm done. I'm just going to cut my wrist. Why Super. don't you bring the tank, too? I did bring the tank. Just send one infantry to Alaska. Just send one infantry to Alaska and bring the tank to the Western, Western Channel. What tank? The one from Hawaii? Yeah, that's right. I can't unload them off in two separate territories. They have to go to one. Well, yeah. That's why you have two transports. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, what am I thinking? Jesus Christ. Thanks, man. I must be high or something. I'm still I'm still reeling. <laughs> it's... Oh, wow. Actually, I, I'm, not, I'm not lying when I say that. I, I actually really am. Yeah. I had dreams. Oh, wait, no, no, no. See? Actually, I can't put the transport there anyway. It has to go here. No, it doesn't. Why does it have to? Where is it? Well, that's it for my attacks. I don't have any tanks left. Hmm. You don't see anything else, right? That's it, right? That's yeah, it. Yeah, that's it. Unfortunately. Oh my god. Dude, you're not gonna believe this. I missed everything oh, again. Okay. Oh, come on! Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, I actually stopped rooting for my own guys there. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> that was, you don't have no idea that's like a huge victory for me right now. <laughs> uh, 
Are we going back to C zone? You're taking the guy in Western yeah. Canada, right? 14. Or Eastern Canada? I think let's go back to 14 for now. Okay. Yeah, I'm taking Canada. That's, yeah. Want my three IPCs. Um, you know what? I by accident I put uh, one of the trans both transports in C zone sixty five. I meant one of them to go to C zone sixty four. But he's safe there from any yeah, bombers. There's there's no more bombers there. So, right? He's got no bombers. He's got a plane. Let's see, That's one, true. two, That's three, true. four. No, can't reach. This Wait, you're not gonna stay in Hawaii, are you? No. Uh, no. He's gonna wipe Hawaii. Okay, the guys in Berlin. We want them in Poland. Or do we want them? Yeah, follow the answer. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we got back two, three. We're going to get back three more. That's six. Plus seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So all things being equal, we should get back 12 IPC here, at least, bare minimum. All right. Should I put one guy in Eastern Canada just in case? Or Eastern USA, I should in say? Eastern US? Yeah. No, I have, no. I mean, dude, I swear, yeah. those Japanese <laughs> Northmen are tough. <laughs> they like the ice and snow. Sure. I mean, if we fail Eastern Canada, at some point we're going to rage quit. Yeah, right. score now still massively behind but we should get we should catch up after your turn you think so yeah i think we're gonna i think we're a few turns away from catching up now because we're gonna be trading uh belarus and ukraine Actually, no, we're going to be in. Hmm. Wait, how many guys do you got there? Oh, he's, he's mostly infantry, dude. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. You should stack Belarus. I was considering it, but I don't think the math is going to work out. He's got 42. Especially with all those bombers. I don't know about that. What do you have? You have 29, 30. He could bring 51. I have about 40. But 40, you're mostly twos, though. He's he could, Most of his are infantry. Let's do to him what he's been doing to us. Let's use our infantry and his lack of attacking units against him. Are you serious right now? You want to do, I do another roll of the day? I want a dead zone. I want to try and dead zone West Russia, Ukraine, and Karelia. And we do that by holding below. I'll put 14 more guys there next turn. You're moving up. 
he can only add six, seven, eight, seven, fifteen, sixteen, and his fighters. So again, but it's most, but it's mostly infantry. We still, even though we have in inferior numbers, we have better defensive numbers than he has attacking. Sir, let's try it. We're desperate. We need some help. I don't think that's a desperation move. I think that's the right move. I think it's a bad move. But we need some help, so. Where are those bombers? Where's that other bomb? India. One, two. And he's got one in India. He's got three in Caucasus. And a fighter there, too. Uh, pointing out the blatantly obvious. <laughs> I think you're going to get it this time. <laughs> it's funny, but it's, there's also a sort of a cruel laughter to it. <laughs> You're going to back those guys off in Algeria? Yeah. Yeah. Then we'll have opportunities in the next turn or two to use fleet stuff. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, six, seven, eight. Yeah, you're good. Okay. Okay. Looks good. Feet don't fail me now. Oh, I gotta watch too. Maybe that's my problem. I was watching. There you go. Bombard value. Got it. Cruiser spacers. Wait, you only sent two infantry there? <laughs> and a cruiser. Okay. All right. I mean, the odds have yeah, been pretty high. With, uh, yeah, with with one infantry in in the uh, U.S. Capital, I guess that's okay. It wouldn't have mattered. You would have you would have jumped down to Central United States, you greedy bastard. I know exactly what you would have done. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, and it would have been a good one. All right, a clean turn. Nice. In a while since we had one of those. Nice, and you got some meat on there too. He can't just like uh, you know just willy nilly that one. He's got to he's got to go in there. Second transport. The second carrier. I think no, not yet. Oh, dude, I left. I want the option of the carrier. I left two subs in C zone 53. Oh, my God. How, how'd, that that's all in phase. how'd that happen? How'd that happen? Two fighters last turn, two subs this turn. <laughs> Giving the game away. <laughs> uh, I might need to seek therapy after this game. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? All good things must end. Oh my god. That's sad. It's been a heroic. I think we're gonna be okay, buddy. Even if, uh, even with all this nastiness that went on, um, I actually think we're still okay. Well, depends uh, what happens in Belarus. Not in Belarus. I don't think you have enough oop behind the forty-two infantry to take it. Right. At least with good odds. I mean, I feel like there's a chance, especially since, you know, you keep defying the odds. And if you did win it, it would be so huge. But I feel like, you know, in that no. whole balancing no. thing, you're not going to take it. No. 
Uh, there's no way I'm taking that. Roche is right. There's too many infantry in my attacking force. Yeah, not enough artillery and other stuff. Yeah. Even with all the bombers you've got. Yeah, no. There's no way. It would be nice, but yeah. No, it would be a marginal benefit because they can trade it right back. I do feel like, you know, accident or psyops, you should take out 53, the two subs. One destroyer and a couple fighters can get it done. Right. That's true. Um, just wondering what I should get for my naval supply. Um, well, since he lost two subs, he still hasn't fully reinforced that aircraft carrier, but I, I expect another fighter next turn, possibly. Mm -hmm. You could probably get away with leaning land this round if you want, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. But maybe, if you, uh, you know, put even a little a bit towards Navy, it just keeps you ahead of the U.S. Yeah, maybe a fighter, I think, or something, or a bomber even. Well, what maybe. about that, that carrier you were thinking about last round or the round before? Yeah, um, I don't think I need it right now. No, it's not about need. It's about where can it be in a round or two. Mm -hmm. I can yeah. I can buy a fighter now, and if I if I'm gonna need the carrier, then I will I'll get the carrier then, I believe. Or maybe you want at least fourteen ground troops, right? Because you're you're really focused on Moscow, Caucasus, and Egypt when it comes to ground placement. I think I might just buy a sub, actually. Maybe a sub and a plane. We'll see. Yeah, I definitely want. I definitely want to load up on ground troops. What if you drop three armor in India? They're up in the Caucasus in one round. You have no armor anymore anyway. Yeah, that's true. Let's let's. I ponder. You do have some armor in Africa. <laughs> Two. I do. Are you looking to take uh, Western Australia this round or New Guinea even? Yeah, I'm going to take Western Australia. Then one can go to Eastern Australia, one can go to New Zealand or New Guinea. Okay, that's 24 land units. That's way more than I need, I believe. Which is good, because we've seen some weird dice, and he's yeah, potentially I, got it's, it's just three that land units that can be... Where can they hit? From Season 65, they can't get to Japan. No. I think I, will, I think I will invest in some planes. One plane. So that gives me 21. And I think that's 5, 5, 10. 21, so that's 8, 12, 14, 17. That's four more than can deploy on the direct front. I mean, you, you could definitely afford oh, to do that one sub if you thought that would be useful. So I think I will get two tanks. So a total of 21 land. You drop two infantry you would still be able to max deploy up front and afford a sub. But I don't know that you need the sub. I feel like you've got the yeah. naval edge this round now. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with naval. I think I will just I will just have the, uh, the tanks and the extra land. And you just do not seem to believe in late game anti-aircraft artillery. That's, that's my opinion. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know. It's definitely... Definitely not not that bad an idea, but um, you, you've got a little wiggle room when it comes to your land forces. You could you could get an AA up front. Well, how many fighters do they have now? You took out the U.S. fighters, which was that was great. Mm -hmm. uh, UK's got six fighters in the European theater. That was a mistake, though. Let's just 
be clear about that. That Shaky's right. I wasn't yes, supposed. To, yes. I wasn't supposed to do that last round of combat. And I did it by accident. I wasn't thinking. I was just get. I was so pissed. It was. <laughs> you declared that right up front. Like your goal was to Straight get your it. artillery and fighters out of there, and even having a bad, you know, a bad round, definitely get your fighters out of there. It didn't happen. Yeah. Um, it was a mistake, but it puts us in a situation now where I like AA, but. Dolphin has shown that he's like, whatever. I mean, I expect I'm probably he doesn't, seeing a few things here that maybe I should adapt when it comes to leaving one infantry behind. For instance, uh, my my obsession with the AA psyops. It's like, hey, I got an AA. Do you really want to send those fighters? He's just Dolphin's. Just I'm just going to keep building tons of ground yeah. force. Yeah, he doesn't. You don't need any AA guns. I don't know why you. I feel like they psych out lower, lower tier players more so than really hardcore great players, like all of you seem to be. But like in gold and silver, a single AA can just make someone go, "Oh my gosh, I'm not going to make that attack." Oh yeah, yeah. Well, um, no, I agree with Dolphin. I don't think AA guns a priority right now at all. I wouldn't. I don't. I mean, I see what you're saying, but it's not like we have a huge air force anyway. It's like you know. The flying tanks at this point. Man, threes just seem to suck. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Well, they got their fleet back in the med, even if it is the furthest western point of it. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking, should I stack Algeria? Well, what, what are you going to put in Egypt? Everything in Sudan's coming up, or are you going to send some forces towards French West could, Africa? I could stack Algeria probably with 12 or 13 units. I mean, they're, they're not taking that from you if you do that. Right. In my opinion. And um, then I could stack Egypt with 3 plus 5 plus 1 plus 2. Plus I mean, 2 you would build. Is 10. And he has... Oh, wait, he has... He has only two American transport. Yeah, yeah and then he also that. only has two American ground troops that can get involved this round. Right, and no. So, yeah, yeah Egypt is safe. Algeria. Yeah, I can I can even go the whole hog there. I think. Oh, uh, the whole hog. <laughs> Most that can get the Caucasus right now, assuming you take Ukraine, is two infantry. Right. So you've got a lot of leeway this round. Yep. Okay. Um, attack this with uh, four or five. Not sure. Well, what, what's your air force? You're, you're going to send General, all three bombers and the yeah. and the fighter. Yeah, and the uh, and the bomber I mean, from India. Just to account for shenanigans, five is the magic number, so that they don't just somehow get four hits the first round. It happens. Right. Right. But I feel like if you just send the four, you should be fine. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's but you have, are you sending any artillery, even one? Mm, no, I think, I don't think so. My artillery are a little precious. <laughs> right now. I think four can get it done. I just feel safer. Yeah. I've just I've seen too many crazy dice this game, man. I'm not as scarred as uh Rochester over there. I'm, not, mm -hmm. I'm still a little like shock and odd. Yeah, let's let's move on from that. I'm trying to move on. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a quarterback who just threw two interceptions, right? Yeah, you're not a you're not a very good quarterback, you know, if you don't have a short memory. <laughs> next play, next play mentality. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna send five. Screw it. Play it safe since we have something pretty safe going on here. Plus, you know, you send in five. Let's imagine they get no hits. Then they're in the same dilemma you just were. Plus one. Mm -hmm. That's true. Um, okay. yeah, you're going after the sub, okay, and 
West Africa or West Africa, West Australia. Yeah. That looks like all you can really do at this point. Yep. Do you have a, a bomber free that could potentially shift towards the Pacific? Just to make sure he can't do another 65 kind of situation? Where those tra- I, I, I just I love to see transports <coughs> having to have escorts. Uh I could send one to like your cook or something. In your cook, it could guard against like sixty four or sixty three. That would be great because I feel like. But now no, that actually, two... actually, I have a, I, I built a fighter. Never mind. That's right. I built, you a, did fighter. build a fighter. So there's no concern there. I do feel like that now that you got the two transports. The, the whole sacrificial approach could absolutely happen here in a second. Yeah, it's all right. All right, let's roll some dice. Okay, I don't think there's anything else I haven't moved or I should move. Wait a second, hold on. Let's see. Oh, no, you don't have the, the bomber in Egypt in one. Two, three, four, five. And if you no. did, you could make it back one, two, three, four, five. You could, but no, you don't have nothing. Yeah, I don't have it in Egypt. Yeah, but if you could land one in okay. Egypt, though, that would allow you to threaten season twenty-three as long as you hold French okay. Africa. I could I could do that? Yeah. Kill them all. There you go. No hitbacks. No hitbacks. Huh. No hitbacks. Well, hey, well, you, bit... it, you got one. Yeah. That's still good. I'm still happy with that. Okay, they got a hit. Well, that's unfortunate. It is. It is. But it's a basically an even trade. That was my plan all along. Okay. So how many are you looking to move to French Africa? If he comes in next round, he can bring in the troops from Eastern Canada. He's got the two that are already there. He's also got four in UK, so he could potentially bring six more infantry next round. Um, well, I need I guys like you, in... Where do you need them? I need guys in South, uh, either Belgian Congo or South Africa. Yeah, because you want to go to strike. Yep. I could I could put him in South Africa to make him. I mean, either way. Well, if you bring the one bomber back down to the Egypt area, one, two, three, four. He, the twenty-three transport wouldn't be able to have any reinforcement if it goes after South Africa, so you would just wipe it. You'd want to retake it, obviously, but... Oh, that yeah, I feel like that's more than enough to kill whatever he sends. And the most he could take down to South Africa is the two infantry, so... If you left two and two... Or three and three is good. Three and three. Oh yeah, I feel like that definitely lets you 
continue to dominate Africa and kick any UK troops out. Uh, next turn, what's the most he could come after it with? He could invest and bring the full four. Did I send my, my armor back simply? Uh, oh, wait. Yeah, 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 send your armor. Send your armor up towards the European front. Well, but, but, but be he aware. Have, yeah, he has two, those two guys. Yeah, he could hit Transjordan. He doesn't have any fighters, though. No air support, so it would just be two infantry mm -hmm. and one battleship bombard. I can send two guys to Transjordan. What does that leave Egypt with? Two plus one plus you're moving in three. Mm -hmm. And you're going to build two. So, yeah, no, that looks good. Maybe I will move in artillery and uh, infantry. I have plenty of artillery down here. Okay, try to keep this dead zone. I actually don't have bombers in range of Egypt. Well, that's okay. That's unfortunate. It would be nice at some point just to yeah. make it yeah. easier yeah. to, but it's not essential yet. Hmm. And no matter where he goes, you can completely just, you know, evict him from Africa at this point, except for, well, I mean, no, everywhere, yeah. even Northwest Africa, if that's what you wanted. Bombers in West Russia. Yep, I like that. Uh that Siberia move. You still got infantry back in case he sends the transport over. You got a fighter coming in. Yep. Looks good. Okay. Hmm. I wonder if I should put my tanks in Moscow. Yeah, I think I will. We are below our Maybe. IBC threshold a little bit, but still looking nice. Okay. Um. 
Well, I think you need a fighter. About eight and five, and a and a fighter. Eight infantry, five artillery, and a fighter. Okay. That sounds good. All right. Well, I think we're going to move into C Zone 15, right? Uh, we are? I was hoping to stage in 14 for another turn. I don't have any transports in the med, so I need to get some transports in there. Well, his bombers are out of range, though. So, um, hmm. See, we have to, as the access, and I know this is table talk here, and we should be talking behind the scenes, but I don't mind talking about it. This is a fun game. I want people to understand, or try to understand the way we're thinking. So, I'm thinking that we can take Africa back, but it'll be slowly, and it'll be, you know, death by a thousand cuts, It'll be right? one territory here, one t Yes. And instead of us investing 45 units in Africa, we'll do it with eight units. Exactly. Two here, two here, two here. Two here. Exactly. That's what I'm thinking. So, um... So I think we should commit to that, and if I do, I should take those two infantry that are in Rome right now, and I should take Libya. Okay, well, first of all, if you're going to take Libya... Or one, one, one infantry. Slaughtered. One infantry. Then we have to we have to figure out can my four, can I move transports to fourteen and can we keep them alive? You you can you can take one infantry from French West Africa with that transport and drop them off in South Africa. I believe that transport is safe from the bomber, right? Is it one, no. two, three, four, can't five? Hit he can't hit it. One, two, three, four, oh, five. That is interesting. He can't hit the uh, transport. Now, will I be able to escape with the transport? Yeah, you'll Maybe get... lands a bomber a and French. One, two, three. One, two, Not three, really. four, five. One, two, three. You got a cruiser there. Up in 10, you could put up the transport to C-Zone 22, have the cruiser come down to C-Zone 22, and you could defend the transport that way. So there is there is an escape route. Okay. Yeah, I definitely want to start racking up some IPC back. Okay, so 15 it is, but let's just make sure we've got the right numbers here. He's got three bombers in West Russia. That's three, four. A plane that can hit. And another bomber. One, two, three, four. No. I don't think we can hold Belarusia. The bomber in India. I think, I think we're, I think we're back to Poland. No, oh, I got what four, do you think? I got fourteen guys in uh, Poland that are moving up to Belarusia to help you. So he could bring 47, 57, 58, 59, 62, 63. He could bring sixty-four units. A lot of them good this time, not just infantry this time. And we'll have, what, 30, 42, 43, 61, 62, 3, we'll have 64. So what did I say, bring? 60. 61? Yeah. Well, but I do want to trade Ukraine as well. Yeah, you could do that. So we'll be at, like, 58. 58 versus his 61. Yep, I like that. Remember, you got your four fighters. You count them? I did. Okay. Actually, I'm thinking that if we're going to C-Zone 15, we might need one or two of those fighters. <laughs> oh, no, we wouldn't, because already, they're already there. Okay. Uh, well, so what's, what can you bring to 15? One, two, three, four, five. He can bring five. Actually, four. Three so three this, bombers from West. The bomber the bomber in India can't reach. Sure, I can. 
One, that two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it can land in Egypt. Oh yeah, right. So, is it worth getting our fleet out of position to get the one IPC in Libya? Maybe we just wait a turn. Because we can always use those Italian units in Poland as well. So it's not like it's not like Libya's gonna win the game for us here. I'd rather take a turn and give ourselves some extra motivation. Uh, I agree, but um you know then also I mean we could might even be able to ask ourselves this question, can we take Ukraine with the US if I move into C zone sixteen? That'll make those Rome those Rome oh, guys yeah. instantly valuable or useful. The answer is yes, easily you could. But can the fleet survive? Is well, it the same? Is it the same five units that reach a fleet there? It's the same it's the same five planes. One, two, three, four, five. And we would have a battleship, two carriers, a destroyer, one loaded carrier. Yeah, yeah. Grab, uh, grab your friend. Let's do it. Let's get in there. Get our hands dirty. Uh, should I send another infantry? Nope. No, no, no. Nope. 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 Dudes are precious. If you get if you get the kill, that's a win, right? Yeah. Okay. Ah. Uh, send an infantry, and then I can save my planes. Now I can send all three. This might be a good turn to go to fifty nine. Yeah. With everything that you have. I was thinking that myself. I was thinking that exact same thing. What did you build for that fleet? Oh, a fighter. Good. Yeah. Okay, well, that's my big move. <laughs> yeah, this is better. Two IPC in Ukraine is better than one of Libya. This is better. Oh, I missed. I missed with the uh, the, the <laughs> battleship. Here we go. Still got a 66% chance. Nope, dead. I, my dice, my dice are just not working tonight, guy. I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. It's just not what happening. <laughs> I mean, that's like an eighty percent battle. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Do that. Just to have it said, 89.2%. I'm not going to calculate anything that is Japan attack or anything, but yeah, that was an 89.2% battle. So the U.S. dice are being pretty crap. Honestly, honestly Vagabond, at this point, that's a great role for you, is to sort of be like a, a fact checker and like a, a, a post-game analysis, a post-battle analysis. <laughs> Battle, yeah, but I'm not going to be like, all right, let's check out Japan's about to attack. Never mind. You know what? Dolphin, change your mind. Change your mind. <laughs> Can you calculate the Western Canada one for me? It was two infantry defending against an infantry, a tank, and a bomber. 
that one, <laughs> I'm certain that one was ridiculous. I did, I did not calculate it because, you know, you were already dealing with some pretty ridiculous rounds. But yeah, let's calculate it now, a couple rounds later. That was pretty ridiculous too, it really was. Okay, what was it? It was two infantry, one armor, and a bomber? No. No, it was... It was one in, one bomber, one tank, defending two infantry. Yeah, it was infantry, bomber, infantry, bomber, tank against two infantry. The tank survives 3.3. <laughs> you, you said... Ridiculous route. Ridiculous route. Wait, was it? What was it? I didn't. I missed it. How many, how many percent? Three point three percent chance the defender survives. <laughs> now okay. it would be even lower that the defender survives with both infantry, but I'm not gonna look that up. <laughs> and I, I still know that I'm, I'm not having a great time in the league right now. I, I've, I've lost most of my battles, but I almost beat Popovitz. But he got like a one point three percent or something when I tried to take Berlin from him. I was winning. On one of our two games, I tried to take Berlin, uh, and he got a 1.3 percent result. And I was like, you know what, damn it, that was it. Dice just decided <laughs> I lost. So you know what's interesting about that result in this game, because it's not a capital; it's just a tiny, teeny, tiny battle. It set us back an entire turn. A yeah. Teeny, tiny battle. Yeah. A three percent chance. So I mean, that all snowballs. It can. I can. <sighs> Yep. Yeah, One little right. distraction from a couple Grab infantry. A few more artilleries here, and we'll start getting myself some. So, I am gonna try Brelia. I think I'm gonna go buck wild with only three units. Don't forget South Africa. That's your definition of buck wild. All right, good to know. Planes here. I'm only going to send one infantry. Not much to this here. Curse of Ukraine. Okay. This is Operation South Africa in effect. And we are going to Dunkirk these units out of Morocco. Save their lives. <laughs> I believe that is it. A lot of non combat transport and stuff. What are you sending to Corellia? Four and three? Okay. Three, with, three with, units and four fighters. With his dice? <laughs> yep. I don't know if that. Okay, yeah, it's. That's... Can you grab um? Oh, when I was... you get a bunch of bad dice. You gotta take some chances. That is true. What did you want me to get? Nothing. <laughs> don't listen to me. <laughs> I, I'm not well at the moment. <laughs> no, no, Rochester's completely traumatized right now. I am. I still am. It's crazy to even say that, but it's true. Two units of Ukraine. Is he going to get a hit back in Ukraine? Of course he is. <laughs> Wait, what'd you send? Oh, oh no. Oh, send two units. Yes. Two, two infantry. Yeah, let's send two units. Okay. We'll take our chances in Korea. We need some wins. Yeah. I think we're going to be okay, though. I've been jumping ahead in my mind. I hope so. Let's start with a tricky one. I'm not even going to watch. I'm not going to watch the battle. Oh. I... 
Yeah. Oh. That's a win. Yeah. <sighs> oh my god. Dolphin, you should be. Still got twelve IPC for nine. You should be embarrassed. <laughs> Did we get it? Okay, thank God. <laughs> that means he, he now he can build in Karelia as well. That's a double nah. Just to bring it up, though, um, Dolphin, I, you said that you had something tonight at midnight. Yeah, 9 30. Is yeah. That, is well, that, for me, it's 9 30. That... It's you guys. It's midnight. But yeah. Okay. Well. Uh, yeah, it's it's important. Uh, so I, I won't miss it. Yeah. But we're making your, good progress. Get your eight ball from your Coke dealer. <laughs> It's important. He's leaving town. <laughs> Gotta secure that eight ball. Oh boy. Am I missing any stupid and obvious things? Uh, well, I don't know because I'm. The, I went out, smoked a cigarette. Two, the two navy units and thirteen. Yeah. To give them a little more flexibility. One, two, three, four. You took South Africa, right? We got a few extra units on uh, on London now because of all the cannabis stuff. So I could mm -hmm. get a plane or a ship next turn. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I'm down to 39. That's that's not great. That's not great. Yeah, he's going to grab uh, Eastern Australia, New Zealand, New Guinea. Nah, I yeah. can't take all of them. Wait, hold on. Let's see. Get two of them. Two of them, yeah. Do you think I should... Do you think I should stack Corellia? Okay, so if you stack Corellia, then Western Russia is... I have to abandon West Russia, that yes. Yeah, there for the taking. You're going to trade Ukraine, so you'll have it, at the very least. Um, not in a significant way, he'll take it back, but you'll have it. Yeah, then, then he'll be able to trade, start to trade Caucasus, or... I don't know, even advance into Caucasus, I guess. Maybe, I don't know. Well, let's say you advance into West Russia. Could you, with what you're going to produce well, in Russia, Caucasus now, and Karelia, counterattack? Now, now, hold on. If he advances into Ukraine, I advance into Baltic states. That's true. Let's say he holds everything he has back, builds 10 more, moves the 3 from Italy up, the 8 from... I mean... What you advance into Baltic states, he would have enough to hold Berlin. The threat would be significant, but it wouldn't be. It wouldn't be Berlin switching hands next round. If he went all in on defending Germany, he wouldn't yeah. take Karelia from me by any means. Um, so I so I go back to what I was saying before. He advances West Russia while you're in Karelia. What then happens? He's now threatening Moscow and Caucasus. 
can you right. kick him out of West Russia with what you're about to build? I think I can. It's already a, a shaky battle for him, and uh, I would build a bunch of artillery. <laughs> I would build a bunch of artillery, and uh... yeah, I think that's true. I think that's true. Um, yeah, I say go well. What are you too, bud? Go for the stack on Karelia. Uh, if he if he shifts down to Ukraine, that does put you a little out of position. Mm -hmm. But I think his losses in caucuses, especially with the logistics lines being stretched a little bit, he could take caucuses from you, but you would get it back. And the ultimate loss would be a net negative for them. So, yeah. Yeah, perhaps. And then you could also, you know, again, start to potentially take a little bit of Scandinavia, even if it's just mm -hmm. Finland. Right. Uh, they talked about Africa, though, and in the sense of just taking a little back. I think you can situate yourself, especially with even just one bomber, in such a way that mm -hmm. two bombers would be yeah. better, I think. I made a mistake there, moving bombers too far. Should've yeah, I really wanted one bomber to get back to Egypt to avoid what just happened, but... Yeah. Well, it's I think okay. You can, I, I think you're fine. You kick them out, mm -hmm. you move one, preferably, in my mind, two bombers down... That way, one cruiser can't stand against two bombers. But they do have the aircraft carrier position. How many? And he's got one fighter that could move down and join it very easily. He could have two fighters in C-Zone 23 right away. So two bombers, at least, would be nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean... Where are you at with your purchases now? You're looking at 11 infantry, 9 artillery. No C purchase. Did the U.S. buy anything else? No, they did not. They did advance to threaten you, so I feel like that's enough that you need to build something in Japan? Yes. One more fighter. Okay. Um, still think a, a Pacific bomber would be nice like you've got one in india um mm. i should have i should have moved up to caroline island this time that was a mistake but it's okay you yeah, know I, I don't feel any of your perceived mistakes are significant really i mean you want to call them mistakes okay, okay <laughs> i think you're still okay um your All ipc right. did drop a bit more than would have been nice i think but you're going to take, let's see, Ukraine. Uh, you're going to take the one in Morocco. You're going to take French West. You're going to take South Africa. So that's two, three, four, six you're going to get back. Right now that puts us at 81. Am I missing anything? Uh, you're going to get Eastern Australia, 82. And then either New Guinea or New Zealand, so 83. That's a good number for us based on what we talked about. Okay, so yes yes on the stacking Corellia. Bombers to Africa. Some build in Japan. Um, same deal as before when it comes to production. Any tanks you build in India get to the front line pretty quick. You've got 18 ground troops, 8, 12. Are you looking to build in Karelia this time? If you're stacking it, then yes, so 14. Plus 3 back in India. 17. That leaves one ground troop for Japan. Is that your plan? Hold on. I, I, think, I think it's... Uh... Might be time for me to get that carrier. Yeah, you've already got the fighter in Japan. If you stick with the fighter that you've got on your build queue currently, then that's a loaded carrier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
any unguarded transport could be attacked by the fighters in 59. Well, he's only got one fighter, but still. Yeah, because I am intending to send it back to season 49. 49. Okay. You, I, that's one thing I will I will call out. You have had really good positioning for the most part on your on your air. You're you're consistently threatening multiple theaters. That seems to have been your goal so far, and you've been doing it pretty well. It, it, excuse yeah, me. I, the whole I said I I said I I meant to say I would send two destroyers to season forty. I think. Season forty. Okay, where's that? Yeah, I will. New Zealand. I'm going to take New Zealand first. Okay, yeah, he can only send one fighter, so that's mm -hmm. not a bad, that's not a bad uh, potential trade there. So 16 ground troops, that's 8 in Russia, 2, 10, 14, 16. That's all of your primary frontline stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> and you're, you're, you're heavily favoring artillery, which is good, because you definitely need to build that back up. Your 14 is a nice number, but that'll put you at 21. You've got four tanks in position to join the theater. No, oh, yeah, I like that. I like that. That's good. Okay. Um, and then you've got, so you're looking at two bombers in Africa, one in the Pacific? Um, at this point, I'm looking at just the bomber in Egypt, just two bombers in Egypt, maybe? Well, yeah, you're building a new carrier, so you don't really need the bomber. Right. right. What about strategic bombing this turn with the three? Uh, I could do that. Dice be dice, you could lose all three, in. but I'm gonna if they work. Because right now, they're at a point where, while they've got a semi-decent Bielorussia stack, they're relying on those reinforcements. So if the SPR works, that's amazing. Obviously, dice be dice, and you could lose all three bombers, but bombs away. Well, I would need to land the uh, bombers in Libya then. Four, five, six. That is true. Okay, so for transports, though, the U.S. could pick up three infantry. I think you can make that work, though. I think you could defend all of that because, well, no, he does have three transports back at the U.K. now. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's I need fine. At least, I need at least one bomber in Karelia. Well, even one bomber on an SBR. It may not work out, but if it does and you get six, I mean, that that's two less infantry joining the battle. Mm -hmm. but dice do seem to like you right now. Rockus, <laughs> 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 you want a little salt? No. Oh. Some salt I can pass. Don't, you it in <laughs> don't even say dice. <laughs> it's like a swear word. It's a pejorative. I think I can I could stack Morocco. For certain. Yeah. Um, one, two. I mean, he could land in Algeria if that's what he wanted to do. But you could just turn right back around and wipe it. Well, you only have the one artillery. But if you have two bombers in Egypt, that would significantly increase the impact of that stack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I could go either way on that one. I feel like the ability to ship either direction from Algeria is nice. I do feel like 
West Africa there. If you if you really just stack that, that kind of tells him he's not coming down there easy again. Same with South Africa. You do that, and there's nothing he can do about sub-Saharan Africa at all for at least a round. And the threat to Egypt right now is three U.S. infantry at most. Same with Caucasus. Three O.S. infantry at most, plus the battleship that can join in. And I feel like five infantry can handle that. Yeah, I'll be right back, guys. I can't watch that strap bomb. Yellow attack is definitely out of the question with the 14 U.S. infantry that joined in. Yeah. Okay, I don't think I missed anything, right? No, I mean, there's no other location that you could attack even if you wanted to. Okay. Bar in yellow, which we don't want to. Mm -hmm. So you are going to go for the... Well, you can change your mind later, obviously, on Algeria. Um, yeah. Okay. XPR. Yeah. They are definitely in for uh, due for something, but whatever. The dice gonna, like you, uh, Banzai. I'm still Good gonna one. delay. Taki. I'm still gonna do a ten second rule. No, I, I mean, mean if you if you just say you're gonna oh missed again. Pretty good. Your ten second rule is working, so it's like Super Bowl Sunday superstition rules. Just keep it All up. Right. Plus, Air Dolphin makes me think of the NFL. I, you know, Miami Dolphins. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Reasonable. Only two hits on that. Okay. Yeah, that's two less infantry. I mean, hey, that's a win. Yep. Okay, no hitbacks there, that's good. In my mind, sure, they take back Morocco if they want, but otherwise, Africa is solidly yours for another round. Mm -hmm. Okay, one hit. And two hits. Okay. Okay, I see you. Retreat. Uh-huh. Ukraine has been your bay in the last two rounds. <laughs> well, it, it was their bane for a while. It was, it was, and and the and the overall accounting, I, you know, compared to mm. the potential to lose a bomber in Germany, I'm happy with that. Yeah. All right. So two two bombers going to Egypt. Well, they can't. The SBR guys can't land in Egypt. Land in um, yeah, they could land in Algeria, and yeah, that allows you to threaten should... everything but C Zone Twenty Seven. But the transport in C Zone Twenty Seven can't do anything, and if he moves north, mm -hmm. then he's dead. No matter where he moves, even Twenty Two, you got it. 
He didn't get hit by this. He can move the one cruiser down. He can move the one carrier down. Yeah. One, two, three, four, with one fighter. He can't get the other fighter door, can he? One, two, three, no. So two bombers. Yeah. So I'm going to stack Corellia, I think. I'm actually not not entirely sure this is the right play. Well, okay. For for a moment's alternative consideration, you continue to stack West Russia, right? Mm -hmm. And you keep trading Karelia? I mean, last round's result was great. You held it, even mm -hmm. though they intended to take it. That mm -hmm. probably won't happen again. So is trading Karelia a good option? Um, might be. Because uh, if he didn't take be. Ukraine, he did not take Ukraine. Mm -hmm. He only has one tank that could move in, plus the three U.S. infantry if they wanted to try. Mm -hmm. Four fighters, of course. Oh, you mean we actually won a battle? Um, but, yeah, we, we can't seem to take Ukraine from you, no matter how hard we try. Last time when I made a political comment on Ukraine, I was actually just simply trying to say that the the average citizen of your typical democracy loses interest very quickly. Not trying to say that Western sovereignties haven't been investing significant, if unprecedented, levels of support towards Ukraine. Um, and some dude randomly commented on how every time he invades Ukraine, he feels like crap because of what's going on in the world. But um, Ukraine has been our bane, absolutely, for the last two rounds. Bro, Ukraine just survived the 86% U.S. amphibious assault. Yeah. Yeah, okay, it's been your brain too, whatever. Ukraine, man, it's like, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. The dice gods want us to all remember Ukraine is still happening right now in America, you know, right now in the world, people. And, yeah. like, the more we start to forget that's happening, the more that that just favors Russia if you happen to be pro-West. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't think they give a flying fuck what the American opinion is. I actually don't even give a shit about Ukraine. They're doing their own thing. <laughs> They're not exactly. It's funny that They're you know. They're doing their thing. They complain of us. about our country. Oh, we're, we know we're taking away this democracy, and yet Ukraine is not a democracy. <laughs> it's an oligarchy. They're not. Wait, hold on, hold on. I mean, I, like, I'm not. I I try not to get too sucked into like news and the shit in the world because it just it can be very depressing but they're not a democracy yeah i never heard that what's that about not really they're 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 run by money they're um it's like very much like russia well, so is are we. very much yeah, like I was they, they say the same thing about us yeah but in in an oligarchy though it's more it's more um it's more visible visibly controlled by those in the uh possession of money Whereas in the U.S., okay, well, if you think America's not an oligarchy, then you're a clown. You think the you, you think the United States is an oligarchy? Obviously. Have you ever followed the money in politics? It, well, the problem is with the United States, you, has... you can't spread the money around as much as you like because obviously our elections are still very close. So okay. Whereas, if you, believe, if you believe that, I will just say this: our propaganda is fucking excellent. We have a very, very. <laughs> Easy to swallow version of oligarchy. Well, just just look at the money and where where the banks, especially the banks, but everyone ultimately invests. It all comes from the same sources, and yet it supports both both sides of the political spectrum. Like you know, each bank will invest just as much in Democrats as Republicans, which is the, yeah, I mean, the I argument for oligarchy. I, I can't speak to to how many sources there are or what the sources are, but. Lobbyists get 90% of the things they want passed in Congress. The American people get 10%. The things that we like, you know, like uh, legalizing weed na nationwide and raising the minimum wage nationwide and Medicare for all, those yeah, things all so pull at like 70 or 80%. Super high. But we never yeah, get it. What it, we does, want. it doesn't matter that 80% of America says, you know what, weed should be legal even if I'm not going to smoke it. You are correct. Like, yeah. What the people yeah. want, we don't get. But what the lobbyists want, they get 90% of the time. That's being pretty subjective. Yeah, but but uh, this, but, is, this is why we don't argue just, politics and just, games. Just to, just to say something <laughs> nice about the U.S., 
we're still better than Russia. <laughs> I mean, we have a nicer, a nicer, more polite oligarchy, and you know, here gay people can get married. It's a, it's a better oligarchy. <laughs> and men can become better pregnant <laughs> and have menstrual and periods. <laughs> Welcome to America. Yeah, we, should stay away, we should stay away from politics. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Or something. I don't know. My Russian's really rusty. But I guess my point was to start the conversation is if the American public loses interest in supporting Ukraine, it's not going to change our level of support. Right. If it does, it'll be... No, both Post both away. parties both parties are fully invested in Ukraine. Um, you got the neocons yeah, I mean, on, neocons on the right, the and you got the and you got the neo left. Yes, exactly. Yes, exactly right. Yes. Everybody makes money when people are fighting in war, except the people that are dying. Yeah, I mean, we always have money for bullets. We never have money for medicine. Mm-hmm. But yeah, my, 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 my real lean way back then when I said that after 340s was simply that anytime I do anything involving Ukraine as allies or Axis, it, it, at least for a moment, makes me think of what's going on in the world today. Yeah. Stupid dice. Stupid dice. <laughs> and then the dice seem to be like, hey, hey. God, the state of this game is confusing just, me. But before you finish this, though, Dolphin, because you expressed doubts, so stack Corellia. Yeah. Stack Corellia or... Hold, what hold happens West if Russia. they ship... I, mean, I don't think this will happen because you can ship Baltic states, but they ship Ukraine. What does that mean? They're not going to do it, I don't think, but... What it means is either we have the ability to attack attack uh, Germany, yeah. right? Yeah, because we would we would want to consider shifting Baltic states ourselves from Karelia, but I don't think we would have the numbers to actually take it. They would have to fall back from Poland. The Italian troops would come up. The the, the French troops would come over, and I think they'd have enough to stop. Our Croatian stack. One, two. Mm. Or at least make it in their favor enough that the loss could suck. Yeah. So I don't think the Karelian move gives us the opportunity to, you know, take Germany by any means, but... It locks it down for a round, gives us the potential to threaten Scandinavia. Mm -hmm. If they move West Russia, I think we can take their stack. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm embracing um, Ro Roach shit, which is this idea that let's just have open discussion. Let's not try to do map notes and everything. Let's give the opportunity for the players to understand why we're doing the things we're doing. And by we, I mean, you know, Dolphin and me occasionally mm -hmm. throwing in comments. Um, Occasionally? <laughs> especially the more alcoholic. Um, jackass. Um, sarcasm. <laughs> you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Um, Mother always told me I was witty. <laughs> I mean, I, I like the really stack. I do. I do. Um, I feel like we're about to be all trench warfare infantry again. And just, but if they advance, I think we, we counter it. And if they hold still, yeah. I don't think we can take it. I'll be right back. I need a fresh beer and a bath. But you've got Africa. Okay. You're about to have locked down Oceania again. There's the 59 threat. But I think you're, I think you're good for that. Yeah, I like where we're at. Round 30, frickin' 4. Uh, 
Uh, you want to leave two on Russia? Yeah. Because okay. he has a tank and six tanks. Just double checking. Other than the two in Russia, you moved everything you can move. Except Caucasus forces, which you're trying to keep. Do you need that many in Caucasus, though? Or could you maybe move the, the four artillery up the west? Oh, no, no, because you're not trying to hold West Russia. That's right. Never mind. No. I will reiterate, however, Dolphin, I mean, you are, you are defying the odds. Mm -hmm. And, and for the record, Roach, before you specifically prodded me into offering support, I was trying to just be the silent observer, being here in spirit. But then you were like, advise your ally. <laughs> Dude, don't take it personal. I'm just, I was literally joking. I Seriously. Was like week three. Now we're in week like 27. That's just my personality, man. Don't, don't take offense to it at all. It was just a joke. Seriously. I don't. I don't. So far, actually, I, I like you guys a lot, but I got. I got to kind of lean into the sarcasm, which yeah, I have a bit a of lot, a grudge against the whole. There, I'm Canadian. Of the world with sarcasm. Dude, I'm Canadian. I was born with sarcasm. Oh, that explains a lot, you dirty Canuck. <laughs> Canucks. Uh... Okay. Well. So where did your bombers end up, just for tracking? You've got... I, I got three in Algeria. What do you think of that? Three in Algeria. No, that's good. Mm -hmm. I like the threat that puts on any additional African yeah. efforts. Yeah. And then you've got one in Karelia? No, wait, what do you got in Karelia? Yeah, you got one in Karelia. That's good. Yeah, I, I like got it. one in Karelia. Okay. okay. Yeah. One in Karelia? What? He's got 61 in Karelia. A bomber. bomber. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Okay. Yeah, we were talking about the bomber distribution. I, I felt like last round we should have had at least one bomber down in Africa somewhere just to avoid the South African maneuver. But it doesn't really matter. I feel like I feel like we have Africa locked down now. Did I put it in Egypt or? We what is it? Trip. That's a very impersonal uh, pronoun. <laughs> uh, infantry. Maybe one in Egypt, one in India. Uh, I'll split the difference. Oh, you're trying to figure... Okay, yeah. You're balancing out your numbers. As long as all your artillery yeah. are going up towards Europe. Okay. Uh, America. Okay. What do you, yeah. Shaky, what do you think about this? <laughs> Before you say it, do you see it too? Check your notes in uh, in uh, Discord. Look at my notes in Discord. This one, I'm sorry, uh, folks that are watching, I am not uh, not broadcasting this one, <laughs> but I have an idea to gain the advantage. Come around, Dolphin. I'm gonna take a break. I'll be back. Do we though? Yes. Yes. We can. I am typing a response. Does the numbers there could get interesting? Okay, so this part we should talk out loud because it's our turn. It's not like it matters. But... Um, I go, I'm going to let you take West Russia because you need the income. Um, I'm going to go to Ukraine with everything that I can put in Ukraine, including the three guys in Rome. 
So that's, I believe that's 28 guys, I think. 20, yeah, 28 guys. Um, and you put, what he can do, he, right now he has 9, 10, 11. He can put 10 there, plus any amount of fighters that he wants. So that's 21, plus his fighters. Say, I, say, say he moves all of his fighters there, plus the four guys from Persia. Four guys from there. Four, eight, nine, eight, is 17, 19, 30, 40. He could put 40 in caucuses plus fighters. Or he's mostly got bombers, so they don't hit back. Well, normally. <laughs> I'm thinking 28. Against my roughly 48. So we could barely take it. He can. Wait, wait, wait. Move everything to West Russia. That's not, I don't like that. We need to, we need, look, we have the economic advantage still. Yeah. Sort of. He's at 81. But we we've do. Been, we've been we have. Away at it. We, we need to, we need to inch our way back into another crazy dice proof stack. So still, so st continue to stack Belarusia then? I think we can hold it another turn. Do you think we can hold it another turn? I you? think. Three, I think... 49, About he could bring about sixty units. Then. What do we have? We have no, 30, no, 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 40, no, no. We, we we move back into Baltic. 50. We move back into Baltic. Consolidate. Well, then we give up Belarus. Right. We don't want to give up the forward position of Belarus. Because if he moves into Baltic, then then we'll we'll be able to hit it from from three sides with the Poland guys, the Belarus guys, and the Turkish. That's true. Yeah, Belarus is the play. So if I add six, eleven. So we're, right now we're at uh, 30, 43, 53, 55, so what I would I would like you to take one infantry and one bombard on Morocco. I'd like you to stage at 14 so I could get some transports into the net. Okay. Yep. Could do that. Sweet. And then we position ourselves next turn for a strong strike on either Libya, Egypt, Transjordan, Caucasus, or Ukraine. Well, he's got three bombers in Libya. Yeah, One, that's two, why we need three, to deck 14. Four, five, yeah, exactly. Because we could all sort of coil like a snake in 14. Yep. I like that. I, um, okay, let's talk about the Pacific. Okay. How much money? 48 after repairs? Mm hmm. So 39. For 13 infantry, that gives you what eight bucks? Uh, nine it gives me nine bucks. So, um, well, I think you got to get back to Hawaii. Now. That'll give you a chance to get New Zealand or Australia because he's too too beefy in 60. So we need to fall back a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yep. But I'm thinking uh, we'll he, he has... Alaska protection. Yeah. We, we need some Alaska protection. Yeah. Maybe three infantry in the Western United States. That's not going to be good. Yeah. Well, you do have the one in Eastern Canada. Yeah. 
I'm actually thinking um, buying a destroyer. Well, the destroyer will get killed. I'd have to go to C zone 56. So I don't want to do that. So I can't build a ship. I might mean, I could build a sub. Let me try that. Right. And if you put one infantry to Western and move the other Eastern Canadian infantry to Western Canada. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Bring to Alaska? Two units? Yep, two units. So leave some planes in Western United States. Yep. Because they could catch up to the fleet. Mm-hmm. Yep. If he sends two there, we'll send uh, one. At, we'll send two fighters and an infantry after it. Well, actually, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. He could send two destroyers and four fighters to take away. So you will need some planes. In, on What's he got? Oh, four yeah. fighters and two destroyers. Uh. Well, if he wants to do that, I mean. Uh, you're gonna need to maybe split the plans. One plan in the fleet. You're gonna need. We're gonna need to address this Navy situation. Yeah. Well, I'm. <laughs> now. I'm gonna build the sub. Why don't you take West Russia? I think you need the income. You take West Russia. You need that income, and you take morale. Well, you're at thirty-three. Yeah, I only need. You need. To, I only need thirty bucks to get my minimum. My minimum infantry amount is ten infantry, so I need the base. I need is thirty bucks. Yeah, but you want to build. You want to try and max out your fourteen units if you can. No, not necessarily. I've been doing ten. Well, I still need the sub. I'm going to build the sub. I'm going to go 10 infantry and 3 artillery. How about that? Uh, what if you just didn't get artillery and you just got the extra infantry? That gives me 6 left over. I can build another sub. Actually, no, it gives me three left over. Sorry. So. I think an infantry in Western United States. I think you need to protect against another Alaska drone. All right. All right, let's do it. Combat. So you take West Russia. You get that money. We'll call that the Pacific Donation Fund. <laughs> and I think try your luck with one infantry from Rome on the record with the bomb birds. One? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I have, I, if you fail, I, I'm a fail too. So let's try and get the good luck if we can. And if we don't get the good luck, then we'll use the fail too. That's true. Um, that's it. That's it for combat. All right, I'm going to let the banner go away. By the way, Beam Dog, I think everybody in the Access and Allies world will agree you do not have to do that banner thing every single time seriously oh there's an option to get rid of it and it's like a huge 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 like quality of life improvement how do you get rid of there's it there's an option to get rid of it oh. under settings gameplay got it got morocco uh under settings gameplay combat tool all right i have to remember that
No, I think it's in graphics, animation, advanced. Thank you, Goblin. Do you, want to Although, put one guy, do you want to put one guy in politics state? So just so he doesn't blitz in there? Yeah. Uh, actually, I, wanna, don't forget, I also want to put one guy in Rome, too. Eastern Canada. It's a Western Canada. Yeah, I want to... Yeah. Ah, uh, right, yeah. Yeah, get that full four. Like some, something like Egypt is on the table next turn. Wait, hold on. Hold on. That's not really efficient. You're sending a Berlin guy back to Rome. Yeah, no, no. And you're sending I'll, a Roman guy. Oh, I am? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Hold on. Where's the so Rome just guy? just leave a Roman guy there. Where's the Rome guy? You got two Rome guys going to Berlin. You know, I changed my mind. You don't need a fighter in Western United States because it could do the same job from the Hawaii carrier. That's it. Okay. How are you going to put a guy in ball? Huh? You didn't put a guy in politics to stop this game. I did. Oh. Oh, when I canceled it, I... Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, that was kind of stupid. Wait, I thought I did. What the hell, man? Yeah, he's sitting in Berlin. Oh, Jesus. I'm disgusted with myself. No, it's, I mean, it's, first of all, it's just a game. Second of all, that's part of what makes it fun, is the little idiosyncrasies. We still have a 12 IPC advantage on them. So, again, it's going to take, like, 20 turns, but we're going to get 20 turns to get back to where we were in this whole Poland battle thing. I don't know how it's yeah. going, going to work, yeah. but... It's going to... It's going to be a 60 turn game. Yeah. So, and, 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 and unless, unless Air Delphin does something bold. Oh, and it backfires up. Instead of <laughs> us being the bold ones, why don't you take a bold move there, Mr. Dolphin? <laughs> the Poland move was bold. It just didn't yeah. go well for the U.S. Well, I remember the TTG guy was, it's kind of funny because he's like the godfather of like, like YouTube videos. Yeah, but he is. He would always say that bad luck happens on, on your, your opponent's turn. Right. Because when you, attack, when you attack, you expect to win. So if you lose, then the bad luck has happened on your opponent's turn. Yeah, I remember him saying that. I'm gonna get two fighters. I'm gonna, gonna start build back the the RAF. Yeah. Because I have carriers. And God, for the first half of the game, those planes were like the heroes of the war. <laughs> what have you done for me lately, planes? <laughs> <laughs> huh. I don't think I have any attacks, do I? Um, uh, yeah, uh, you have to, you're going to have to position your, uh, 
Well, I think it's. I think we just have to accept the fact that we've lost Af right. we've lost Africa. And but if we can keep this income the way it is right now, we will eventually overtake him. So as long as we stop him from gaining territory. If we're infantry smart, right? Yeah. Penny smart and pound wise, I don't know how this ends up. If we stop him from gaining territory, well, even if even if we start trading these. Oh, it's so close though, man. It's like, uh, he's right now he can IPC remaining is 81. We're so we're still 20 points ahead of him as uh, IPC remaining, like usually. But we're only 12 points IPC. So he's going to have to advance to a point. Change he, quickly now that we've lost New Zealand and Australia. That's it's all. No, that's that's quick. current. We that's to... that's current. But he's not gonna he's not gonna hold New Zealand this turn, and Australia is gonna go away again. We're gonna take it back. I like that attitude. Yeah, we're just going we're 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 ziggity and zaggedin is what we're doing, <laughs> ziggy and zaggy, all over the Pacific. <laughs> okay, I guess that's it. No attacks. Let's consolidate the. Until we get a lucky battle, a battle that goes in our favor, ridiculously, like a 5% battle. Let's get some units and some transports into the med. Move these guys forward. We'll put one in Baltic. Thank you. Actually, what does he have? Three bombers. So we gotta coil our fleet together like a snake. Next turn, it can strike. He has a fourth bomber that can reach. That other bomber that he has can reach. To reach 22? It can reach 14. But nothing can reach 22, right? Uh, no. One, two, three. Oh, I can. Yeah, I can. I can. He, he, he can land in uh, French West Africa. Well, this transport's going on an adventure. Actually, oh, wait. Shit, the destroyer's heading there. Um, we can't take this fucking transport after all that. Oh, that is crazy, isn't it? Well, hold on, though. Let's... If he puts a... Oh, hold on. He'll have to land a bomber in French West Africa. Hold on. I'm just, I'm just going to guard it with a carrier or a cruiser? An aircraft carrier. Guard it with the cruiser instead. Maybe in addition to. Yeah. Wait a minute. Make sure we have enough to guard again. He can bring four bombers. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can bring four bombers to Z-Zone 14. What do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good in Z-Zone 14. Well, good thing I bought fighters, I guess. I'm going to need them. We got to, man, we got to think out, get a solution here in the Pacific. Pacific's going okay. Wait, wait, you mean the uh, Pacific between uh, Brazil and Africa or the Pacific, Australia, New Zealand? No, not the South Atlantic, the Pacific. We need to figure out because he is outbuilding us. He's got two carriers. We got one carrier. He's got three transports. We got two transports. Maybe we take a break. Well, I'm going to say maybe take a break from Italy. Uh, 
game. This game, curse you. <laughs> uh, no, we're doing fine. Season 14 is fine. You're going to have four transports soon in season 14. No, I'm not. I have one transport going back to eight, so we could dump you. Or, right? yeah, well, yeah. Okay, so you got two fighters in season 23. That's good. <laughs> I've got like a four bombers there. That tips it away from an easy win. Yeah. You yeah. could still go for it. If the dice went well, that would be awesome, but you could also have it go the other mm -hmm. way and lose your bombers. If he'd gone well, with just one fighter, one fighter well, would have said yes. Wait, you said four yeah, bombers can I, hit that? I see three. Yeah. No, yeah, it's just the three, but if, if there had been no, just one fighter, it's one really worth the risk. The Corellia no, one. one can hit two. One, two, three, one, two, four, three, five, four, six. Five. Oh, it can. Oh, that's right. One, two, three, four, the question, five. Though, four, four the bombers. Question, Go ahead. What's the question? The question is whether he said it to carry or loss. To care, yeah, and then I can just retreat the bombers and crash the fighters. I don't know. My belief is no, because there's nowhere for those fighters to land. But maybe, maybe that's the default, and it's still there. I got, I got, I got horribly reamed by a guy who sent his subs to submerge one time when he had like 20 of them. Huh. And it would have been great if I had realized that because <laughs> then I could have gone for a different battle and, and won big. So yeah, that's the million dollar question. What's the order of loss here? I feel like it's a risk and maybe too big a risk. Yeah, probably. And I don't think 14 is an option at all. No. But you have Ukraine, you have uh, the Baltic states, you have Finland. You're going yeah. to reclaim New Guinea if you want, though that does put your transport at risk. No, I can I can just stack season 49. But what about the season 53 strike? Speaking of risks that do have a no. significant reward. Most Absolutely of his <laughs> fleet is sub. Yeah, but I only have four fighters and uh, destroyers. Yeah, no. Well, if I do the destroyers, then I'd be shooting at subs with my air, so it's less points. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That kind of counter counters the whole point. Right. I'm going to stick West Russia. We're going to look that one. Yeah. I'm wondering if I should, you know, just give give up West Russia now. I took Karelia. I am able to blitz Scandinavia. Maybe I should just uh, come back to West Russia, you know, stack shifting. Oh, yeah, not give it up in the sense of, uh, okay, yeah. Uh, yeah. Go back to trading Karelia, essentially, is what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think I don't want to. I don't want to. I want to minimize the exposure to trading. No, I agree I'm with that. Gonna, I'm just going to take your Caucasus forces and your Russian forces yeah. and just merge them in West Russia in a way that yeah. actually threatens uh, Bielo. Yep. And, and and some people may have noted that I keep saying Bielo instead of Bello. That's Russian studies minor. Yay me. <laughs> say again, Bielo? Oh. Bielo, right? Yeah. Is that what they say? Is that how yeah, they say it? Know. Bielo? I have too much alcohol to actually say. I understand Russian. I know it's it's Yazavayu Paruski Yuzi. I understand the Russian language. <laughs> I think their letters look funny. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will. We're catching up, Husky. No, or, they didn't. Or mention... not Husky. <laughs> Shaky. <laughs> <laughs> 
Freudian. You, mentioned, you know, a possible strike in Africa or Egypt, rather. Um, and from a, a risk reward perspective, that's a lot of artillery they could take out. Yeah, so uh, I'm, I'm pretty much going to have to retreat from there, in a sense. Well, if you need to retreat from there, I just, I feel like you need to prepare for, what is it, three transports. So that's how many artillery or hydrant to that. So two. So that's four infantry, two artillery, one, two, three, two fighters. If you bring back your Libyan forces, do you have any fighters no. in range at all? No, I don't think you do. Then you no. have one up in Karelia. If you're shifting out of Karelia, that fighter could, one, two, three, four, could go down to Egypt. I feel like you could absolutely hold Egypt. You just got to give up Libya. Yeah. Um, but but I don't want to get I don't want my uh, Algeria stack to get like swamped necessarily. Well, then fall back. I mean, yeah. I North Africa might... is awesome to hold, mm -hmm. but it's far less important than Greater Africa, Sub-Saharan Africa. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, they, they've got they've yeah. got situational advantage, positional advantage on North Africa. That's just how it is. Yeah, I think I think Egypt, I think uh, Algeria is starting to get a little iffy. Shaky. <laughs> Shaky, yeah. Okay. That has just become uh, my pun of reference and pun of preference. Mm -hmm. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, so. 40, 12, 17, 22. 22. Oh, another bomber. Okay, I'm feeling you there. Um, yeah. We did have some SBR love last round, which was awesome. It's mm -hmm. the reason there's only one sub in 56 versus potentially two subs. I remember Roach mm -hmm. being like... Arr. Yeah, I think... Uh, are you, are you feeling good with the Navy you have? Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good with the Navy. And just to be an oddball, just to be like the rebel, the gold guy refusing to acknowledge the meta, because I am that guy. I like I like read over the meta, and I'm like, no, I will not conform to the predictable, <laughs> you know, I'm no Jordan who like built, built a Russian bomber on me and kicked my ass with Russia with a Russian bomber. It's just so... Okay, yeah crazy in my mind but um what about let's see I've had, I've had a little extra beer now so I'm, I'm a little losing it here but are you are you looking at alaska again at all no no yeah, he's he's kind of covered that. They were they were a little careful there. Yeah, the problem the problem is that I would probably surrender some money islands. I my fleet would not be able to get there in time. Yeah. So I need to hold New Guinea. But as an oddball idea, this is something I've done, and I won the game. I did it, but that doesn't mean it was a good idea. But a Kazakh industrial complex. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's, that's not a bad idea, but I think, I think right, right now I, he has so much, he has sufficient events investing into Navy, and I mean, I could, I could just buy infantry in Manchuria, and I mean, they might get there slow, but I think it would do the job. So, no, I don't think a Kazakh industrial is worth it here. From the perspective of someone who once thought journalism might have been their career choice before they admitted that modern media <laughs> is dying as far as print goes, um, <laughs> that was also an opportunity just to say, hey, Dolphin, tell the world why you wouldn't do this. Um, <laughs> okay. Let's see. Yeah, it's five infantry, to, five infantry cost to increase production there i mean it's not a bad idea i could then i would i would it would the point would be maybe to reduce reduce production in in the navy but 
I mean, he's still building daisies, so I, I do kind of got to stay concerned about that. Yep. And this is also my attempt to, you know, sort of counteract two things. One, the fact that last round Roach was like, you, you only comment a little, sarcasm, um, versus the fact that Dolphin, you are a very reserved guy, it seems like, in the sense that what you offer is gold, but you are very reserved in what you offer. You don't, you don't speak as much mm -hmm. as some of us, me especially, yeah. but. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's good. And, so you got 22 uh, ground, that's 8, 12, yeah. 14, 16, assuming yeah, India, 19, mm -hmm. and then 22 with Manchuria, maybe some in Kuang Tung. No, okay. I'm not going to, I'm going to move out of Karelia, so Karelia is Oh, you're moving out of Karelia, so you're not moving mm -hmm. there, but yeah. it's still mainland purchases, yep. Mm -hmm. And the bomber is going Japan? Yes. Okay. And not no no naval purchase, none. Not even like a sub. That's the way she looks at it. Yeah, well the bomber is uh the bomber is a uh, naval purchase, essentially. In a sense. Right. The Pacific. Because Shaky and, and Roche were both talking about the potential for the, the fleet in fifty three to threaten an, another New Zealand take if you move away from it. I mean, yeah, but that's that's okay. Okay. I'm gonna have to, we'll, we'll we'll just we'll just keep keep uh, circling around with that. So for now, seventy eight. You're taking Ukraine eighty, uh, Baltic states eighty two, uh, Finland eighty three, Morocco eighty four. He's gonna take Finland and eighty five. He's gonna take Finland and Norway. Yeah. Are you going to send that extra that tank all the way to Norway? Yeah, you might as well. So, yes. 87. Okay. Oh, and West Russia, 89. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I like that. All right. Carry on my very strategically and logistically oriented companion. <laughs> okay. Uh... I do feel like one out of ten of my suggestions make you actually do something different, which might be a positive. But for the most part, uh, you're just you're doing a fantastic job, my my, my uh, Japanese <laughs> playing friend. Yes. Defying the odds, uh, because what was it, round 15 or so, where even I was leaning towards the Allies have. I mean, if I wanted mm -hmm. to choose, it would be the Allies. Well, hang on a second. Right. If this when we started this game, you guys pretty much had Africa. Okay, we were stuck in Poland. Now we're trading. West Russia, Ukraine, threatening Caucasus, threatening Karelia. Um, we're in a better position than we were when we started this game. I think. Yeah, that's that's kind of fair. It it comes back to that Poland battle. I think, you know, maybe it wasn't a, it wasn't very uh, very much of a sound move after all, because. You know, even with the lousy results, you still get this position, which is pretty good, advanced. So it, it's a good learning experience. But I mean, it, it's a it's a trade off, and we we got we definitely got good results when we killed the U.S. fighters. Ninety going to West Russia, and yeah. Yellow Russia has like seventy three. You, you convinced me of one thing, Dolphin. Like, to mm -hmm. me, Poland was, you're going to lose that. But let's mm -hmm. take that to the next level consideration that you did and that has elevated my personal consideration of logistics and strategy. It's risk. Yeah. It's ri so it's, it's almost it, a guaranteed loss. It's risk tolerance yeah, is what it is. Dice. Yeah, it's dice, it's risk tolerance, and he took the tolerance part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and if we look at attack power, which wrote, just to kind of quote you, you, you've leaned on this a few times as comparing for winning. We're at 293 to 247 before the round is ended, and that's going to be over 300 when the purchase kicks in. Now, position matters. 
So that attack power can be a poor representation occasionally. But considered independently of positioning, that battle gained a significant attack power. Yep. Yep. You definitely got the... I mean, uh, yeah, we're currently losing. It was about... It was about twenty if points. We're losing, the answer is yes. We are we are currently losing, but we are not out. Uh, we're losing, but we're positionally winning. <laughs> Actually, if that makes any sense. Well, no, whenever, you, whenever you have Berlin, whenever you have Berlin, you're in a good quote unquote position because <laughs> it's like the strongest position. Berlin and Italy side by side is super strong. Yeah, and the fact that I own it, not you. <laughs> exactly. Because if you owned it, the lack of losing Africa would have been a big, big problem. If you owned Rome, or even Berlin for this matter. Yeah. Yeah. If oh, you, yeah. Oh, if yeah. the game would actually oh, be yeah. the game would actually be over if you had Rome, even. And Dolph and I discussed that a little bit, which is this idea of. The attack power is definitely a considerable metric and situationally can be the most important metric, but positionally it may not be. I mean, you have to look at the map. There's still, you know, whatever, 80 attack power in England. In where? That is attack Af power that is Africa. in Africa. Yeah, yeah. That is attack power that is out of position. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Positionally, we're winning the game. Um, he can't do any more in Africa. As a matter of fact, he's actually going to start losing territory in Africa. And we're going to start picking away at it. Yeah, yeah exactly. So yeah. it's we're really right back to where we started, except that we're ahead of the game. We're not in Poland anymore. Well, we are, yes, we are back to where we start. We back to where we started. We are one territory further advanced, but we lost quite a bit of it. That we are losing in this. In fact, I'm not sure we can hold Belarus. I think we can. He's got 90 there. Uh huh. Speaking of the 90 that you're about to have in West Russia, Dolphin, what do we, what do we have? He's got 50 at 2. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. It'll be, it'll be like 90. Well, like, oh, that's nice. Okay. It'll be so like that's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. but shaky. Um, we're defending. Yeah. So we could we're, we're gonna we're gonna go to that risk tolerance thing, and we're gonna hope for the tolerance part this time. Let him smash yeah. him. Let I, him I, smash I, himself against us. Yeah, yeah. I'm agree I'm agreeing with you. I the last thing I said, I meant that was in a, yeah. It's okay. We're not even. We're the ones. We, we've been the ones this whole game, whether it was earlier in Baltic State, or just recently in Poland, we're the ones that did the one, two. So, you know, let him, let him do something. Let him attack us. I'd like to see that. Well, I'm going to bring something up and, and Dolph may get grumpy at me. I don't know, because, you know, there are still moments that are worthy of the, I don't want to say underhanded, but I can't think of a better, better phrase right now, but the, the more discreet approach, which is a map note or et cetera. But, um, he mentioned a, a factor of 1.5. He feels, and I'll have Dolphin comment on this in a moment, because I, I want to mm -hmm. comment, Dolphin. I want the viewer to be yeah. able to understand your logic. He says his, his forces are worth 1.5 yours when it comes to land forces. And I understand mm -hmm. they're absolutely more valuable. That The idea of two distinct forces versus one distinct force is impactful. Yeah, um, that's, a, that's the nature of multinational units, and that's mm -hmm. what we have. We have a multinational army that is better on platoon units. Yeah, that's why. That's why every time we have to do a one-two punch, it's it sucks for us because it's not as strong as a right, punch. right. Yeah. So dolphin on your non-combat mm -hmm. movement, I feel like your bombers absolutely. Yeah, it's great if they threaten uh, the Atlantic, especially the South Atlantic. And while I don't think that you're likely to be able to take Biello if they really commit to it, the threat upon Biello I feel like is important when it comes to bomber positioning. 
No. Right. So in, what, in India, what he's doing, one, two, what, what, yeah. what India, he's doing. India is, is good for threatening yellow. Okay, let me just, for the people that are watching this, what, what Air Dolphin is doing is the right move. Um, what he's doing is actually getting to a point where he can actually split his stack. Because he knows that, because, yes, we, uh, multinationally as a defensive force, we're great. But as a one-two punch force, we are not. So if he can get to a point where he can s split his stacks to where he can withstand a one-two punch, that's what he's doing. And that's effectively what we've been doing this entire game. Is that <laughs> we're hitting his main stack with the one-two punch, but he has these little mini stacks coming behind him. Or I shouldn't say mini, medium stacks that are coming behind him that are refreshing his army. And then we have our medium stacks refreshing our army. And here we are. Dancing again. Yep. Agreed. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and should I, should I, uh, should I stack Algeria still? I think. Let's see. He has. Algeria, Algeria creates flexibility, but you know, there's there's three transports, and the fact that he actually has two yeah, artillery. He has one, two, three, four. Plus yeah. two fighters. One, two, three. Four fighters, actually. Four fighters. Hold on. Oh. Yep, he's got C-Zone 23 down here. And a cruiser. Yeah. I feel like he should fall back, right? They said, yeah. they were saying during their allied turn, you know, they'll chip away at Africa. And I wanted to be like, you know what, guys? Screw you. We got it. <laughs> but when it comes to North Africa, and specifically Morocco, I feel like, yeah, we need to just say, hey, you know what? Guess what? You've got the sulfur. That, that's a resource you have now. And in case you don't know, Morocco is where most of the sulfur in the world comes from. Media nerd, or, or no, trivia nerd. There we go. I did not know that. That's actually very interesting. Yeah, it's it's part of why the U.S. loves Morocco from a perspective of keeping that place stable. Because that's all about, uh, if I remember right, it's all about agriculture and fertilizer or something. I don't know. It was, I read weird shit because I'm a geography nerd. You know what actually the very first game that got me into geography was Risk, the original game. Of oh, everybody, yeah. And to yeah. this day, I, to this day, I still refer to Risk sometimes. Except, like, I think they have some glaring errors. Like, oh, was in Afghanistan in the wrong position. <laughs> the game was deeply flawed. <laughs> the issue with Risk is ultimately the fact that you can have just Australia, the whole region, so you get the extra bonus cards, and late in the game can almost conquer the entire world because of the bonus troops. <laughs> well, well, to get on a little tangent, I totally disagree. I think getting yourself stuck in Australia is, is a terrible risk strategy. The actual risk strategy is put every unit you have in a single territory in Asia. Do not worry about continents. Do not worry about anything. All you need is one card, one trade to turn, one card, reserve all your units, cash in, and then you will. That's my first. It's been so long since I played the game, I actually forget. But I remember Australia was a pretty cool territory to own. I'd only had one choke point. So, yeah. But you could, essentially, because of the cards in late game, uh, magnification of card trade and conquer the whole world, literally controlling just Austria. Or Australia, rather. Unlike Axis and Allies, that game has an end game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A built-in card system that I'll guarantee you in that game. So, so all in on season forty-nine, which threatens fifty-three. Fifty-three cannot take forty-nine, in my opinion. And your bomber's going to Tokyo, right? Uh, we discussed this earlier. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Where did the three bombers that were in Algeria go, just for the record? I'm just going to Caucasus again. I don't know. I don't, I don't think he has... I'm just going to leave these guys in French West Africa because I don't think he has enough to take it. Agreed. And you can't, you can't go after South Africa because you wiped out his yeah. African presence. So, 
Yep. Okay. And I will note this. The Allies, a Roach and um, Shaggy, they have been putting in that one infantry just to say, you know what, I'm not going to let you have it for free. Whereas you have been, Dolphin, going, take it, whatever, I'm going to take it back. That's an inter- okay. interesting juxtaposition. And I'm of the current Allied school, which is, no, you have to take it from me. So that's been an interesting observation on my part, watching how this plays out. And I, I, I get what you're going for, which is just guaranteeing you have that extra infantry for the counter offensive. And it's been working. It really has. So no infantry in Karelia. Not even one. No. Okay. Um... And you've got the perfect number of land units coming in that they can occupy every continental production point. Yep. Accepting. Yeah, see, to me, ultimately, just for those observing, this is where you see those platinum players really show their their mettle. They calculate out the logistics for their intended plan perfectly to the unit. This has really been great to watch. On both sides. On both sides. Hey, an 89. That's pretty good. No, it is. It is. If we look to this as a line graph or whatever in Excel, your trend is good. (laughs) Okay. I feel like this is the last round we see you. Just just to bring this up from a perspective of last week we went till 4 a.m., which, you know, whatever. I'm off on the weekends right now. Um, you're going to need to not be here for your next turn in a timely manner, most likely. Um, mm-hmm. Dolphin. The allies yeah. can absolutely do their turns. I mean... This has been, even as someone who's not even playing, but just observing and occasionally commenting and double-checking statistics for the ridiculous battles like what happened in Western Canada, <laughs> it's, it's been fun for me. The alcohol helps, obviously. Nice. But I'm down with the return when Dolphin comes back from whatever important life event is currently occurring, but that really lines up with Shaky and Roach. Um but this has been fantastic to watch. All right, uh, shaky. Okay. Um, you you want need to try the exact same thing in Morocco. One unit and one bombard again. Right. You need income, so I'm going to take Karelia, and then I want you to blast your tank through and take Finland. After that. Yeah, that's funny. You should, it's funny you should say that. That was exactly my thought. And okay. Because it's a fifty percent chance to kill his tank. Right. Um, and I want you to try the one unit in Morocco again with the bombard. Yeah. Uh, and also, I want you to take Algeria. Okay, but you're, you're going to take uh, Ukraine and Baltic, right? That's correct, yeah. Okay. Because I have planes to trade with and you don't. All right. Okay. Um, I was going to take Morocco. Are you going to take Libya? Or Algeria, I mean, sorry. <coughs> no, no, I, wa- I-, I want you to take it. Oh, you want me to take them both? Yeah, so you got two transports. Just say just send one in Morocco, though. So there's yeah. a chance you'll fail that. Right. A 33% chance, but... Uh, I could actually send... I'd rather... I could actually send two no, with the no, battleship. Do not send two. Do not... No, no, no. We want to try for that good luck. We want to try for that bomb hunt. And if you don't get it, I'm going to fail safe. And All right. at this point, we're infantry crawling, and we need every infantry we can. All right. Uh, so just one in Algeria and one in Morocco. Exactly right. What did you get? Uh, oh, you got a carrier. Okay, that's not bad. Is that an all-nighter? Not a, what? Uh, an all-nighter? An all-nighter, no. 
same person who's become famous for killing the Um, wait, 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 um, do I send one unit to New Zealand, sacrifice the transport? I mean, not really, no, it's just going to bring it back. Exactly, we need, we need wait, 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 no, exactly, he's, that's going to okay. keep, that's going to keep his fleet away from where he can build fleet. And we can get there quicker than he can. Each turn. I think. <laughs> so our, our fleet can get to C zone 44, 40, 45 quicker than his fleet can. And he didn't well, build. He can get to 49 he, as fast as we can get to 44. He didn't build any fleet. He got a bomber. Uh, it's not fleet. Kind of counts as fleet. Well, in a way, and maybe. You're gonna need a sub and sixty-four again. Well, do you do you need that sub and sixty-four? Probably. Yeah, I do. Um, <laughs> yeah, not gonna leave it there this time because we can. Well, actually, no. Well, yeah. No, yeah. I, no, because I can put the uh, their infantry from eastern uh, or western United States into western Canada. Uh. No, because he's only got he can, he can attack with two infantry against an infantry. Oh, I'll just, I'm just gonna put the infantry there. Well, it's still sixty six in his favor. Is it two infantry against one? No. Yeah, Is that's it? exactly sixty six percent. I promise you. All right, so then I'll move the other guy up from uh, Western USA into Western Canada, and if he gets that, then we'll attack with that. I was thinking of actually. Um, I was actually going to um, sacrifice a transport in New Zealand or Australia. I mean, any one of them. Probably Australia, because if he misses, that gives me the opportunity to take Western Australia. And then go into season 64. What do you think about that? That's interesting. Kind of like that. It'd be more interesting if you had two transports up there, but. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking about doing that uh, on. Okay, so let me, let me play this out. Then you have an opportunity at Manchuria. You have obviously an opportunity to go home and not to build units there. But he can get Hawaii. Yeah, that's fine. Nobody's nobody's so, getting nobody's getting a victory well, city win anytime soon. That's for sure. <laughs> but we're yeah, but we're giving up another IPC, and his, uh, we're giving up another IPC, and his, his fleet, and we're not gaining one, and his fleet then will have superior position. Honestly, what I think you might want to do is leave the three units in Hawaii with the two planes, <laughs> and back off. Fleet. He's got four fighters What's and like? one, two, three. Oh shit, he's got four. I thought he had no, I thought he had two. He's got four. Yeah, he built the carrier. That's why I built one. Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's why I built one. <laughs> uh Yeah, I think you're right then. I think sixty four. Bring all the white units plus the infantry in Canada, then you have two full transports to work with. No, because you were talking about sacrifice. Mm. I mean, I could leave. Um, uh, I, 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 I can leave two. I can leave two guys in Hawaii. I can leave two guys in Hawaii. No, it's either all or nothing. You don't want to move past it because that's a risk. Uh, you guys, uh, take your time. I'm gonna leave now for the thirty minutes. And, oh, you got. Uh, oh, you got to go away for thirty yeah. minutes. Oh, yeah, it's gonna take that long at least. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It might be, yeah, it might be 30 minutes from now, so it might be only 20 or 25 minutes. Okay. So, but, uh, okay. Take your time, man. Uh, I, 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 
Attend to your business. See you later. Yeah, see you please soon. If you're still around. Okay. We yeah, will be. Just in case yeah. you don't come back often. Uh, yeah. Good night, man. But otherwise, yeah, see you soon. <laughs> okay. We'll All right. <laughs> so, now. Now that he's gone. Yeah, now that we got a hit, now that we we're, we're, we got away with his annoying voice. <laughs> I, I, okay, let's do this, man. You invested in a carrier. Next turn, you're gonna have to spend twenty bucks in two fights. Just one. No I, 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 I can only you spend. Have, I can spend ten. Uh, I don't have to spend look, twenty. Look what he's got, bro. Look I know. Got. I know he's what got he's got. Seven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 16. 17, eighteen. I know. I know. No, it's more than 16. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. It's 18. Yeah. You've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, plus 7. You have 13, 14. You are down by 4. Yeah. Well, I'd have the, uh, the carrier, even too. You, That's even 15. If, even if you... Okay, even if you build two fighters next turn, you're still down. Yeah, but defensively, fine. Yeah. But it's a very, very thin line, bro. Very thin line. I think it's a line that we want to walk. I like that line. Okay. And well, I don't think we have a choice anymore. <laughs> yeah, we kind of have to hold on to Below. Uh, I'm going to let you take uh, Finland. I'm going to let you take Baltic. I'm going to let you take Ukraine. And... Um, yeah, I think next turn Transjordan or Egypt is on the table. So right, and not only that, in I, a significant way. I think we'll, we'll have units in uh, season thirteen, so that'll mean that uh, the middle of Africa could also be on the on the plate. He's only got six guys in Belgian Congo. But that's going to depend on. Um, how well we can defend in Europe. Uh, our our right. goal our goal in our our goal in Europe is not We're going to be to advance any farther than we have. Our goal in Europe is going to be to hold on, at least for for tonight, at least to hold on yeah. to Belo and still trade everything that we can. You know, Ukraine, but well, well. We're gonna we're gonna have to concede everything south of the of the Sahara for the next turn and a half. Yeah, which I'm okay with because I. I do have an idea of how to reposition it, but it's at least a turn and a half up from nothing. Right. Everything seems like this. I agree. Okay, so these are all the attacks that I'm doing. Let's hope that we win Morocco. All right. Yeah, that'd be nice. That'd be nice. That bomb wire, baby. Mmm. There it is. Did the bombard miss? The bombard hit. Does he hit back? Sweet. Yes! Got it. Huzzah! Bonsai! <laughs> now see... No! That is... No! Bad! That, that is bombard value. Every time a bombard hits, that's like a free bomber. Oh, yeah. Free bomber attack. <laughs> Shit! I forgot to take New Zealand. You said shake it. I think that's the value of cruisers if you have position on them to use them for bombards they're amazing shit i forgot to take new zealand didn't i want to take that i actually i actually don't hate it that, that you didn't get it but because now you can get two focus and that so two so now well in that case what i will do is i actually will put the two fighters on hawaii wait no because he has four fighters and four Put everything in Alaska. Everything. 64 in Alaska. 64 in Alaska. All right. Wait, 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 wait. Actually, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Because you can't protect your new carrier from his four fighters. Yeah, I can. One, two, three, four. Uh, I could put my carrier there. Uh, everything's got. Everything's got to go to 66. Except one sub to block Alaska. Does he have a bomber in Japan? Yeah, he does, doesn't he? Wait a second. Let's, let's look at this for a second. Hold on. Hold everything. Hold everything. But 
because we took Iwo Jima and Wake, that bomber is a bit less useful. That's true. See, if you drop a carrier at 56, he's going to kill it with four fighters. So everything has to go on 56. One, seven, six. Uh, the all the upside is now you have I can put for two transport. I can put the carrier. I can put the two fighters in C zone fifty six along with the uh, three destroyers. That's enough to defend that, and I'll put everything else in sixty four. Well, wait a minute. No, how are you gonna? Pro you can't protect the bomber transports with subs. Every yeah, don't don't get don't get cute with it, man. Just. Consolidated fleet in 56, everything, a strong break, and a single sub in 64 to protect less. All the units back to Western. about inching another carrier back from 14 from 14 to like 12 or something. hold on don't talk to me because this is how it, this is how we missed the two subs last time <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, i'm gonna go take a small break actually okay yeah. I can't, there's the uh, air fucking half hour to take this turn I, i'm gonna take a small break i'll be right back all right um my job is just perhaps you're now right Um, actually, I'm going to leave the, uh, I'm going to leave that infantry here in Western USA. These guys are going to Faction go. fail. So you didn't take your crane. Okay. All right. No, I, I didn't take it. We're going to leave it for uh, Shaky to take it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. He gets to go before Japan. Yeah, he's going to get Baltic. He's going to get Finland. He's going to get Ukraine. And uh, that's about it. <laughs> well, okay. maybe... 30 minutes, roughly. Yep, definitely 30 minutes, roughly. Um, how many beers are you in there, Rose? Really? Oh, uh, I don't. Uh, I think six or seven. Uh, so. wait, 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 wait. Do not, do not end the combat phase. I'm not combat phase. Take five or ten minutes and look at the board. Before yeah, good. Because good. I might have an idea. Good but call. I, I will be Hold right. on. Yeah, I'm going to be right back too, but I'm I actually have the board memorized, so I'm going to smoke a cigarette while I'm thinking about the board. Is that good with you, Vagabond? You okay with that? Both ask as a distraction and as a acknowledgement of the fact that either ten or so does occasionally result in mistakes, and I don't want that asterisk that shaky as referred to. All right, since since we'll I'm just, we'll take some, we'll, we'll just take I'll, a couple minutes and just look at something. Yeah, since how I'm I'm going to go outside too. I'm actually going to pause the game so we don't like you know ruin the people that are watching this game are going to like what did they do? <laughs> so I'm going to pause the game as far as recording is concerned. But I'm going to keep the game active so that we can hear each other. And then when I come back, I'll unpause the game so they don't have so much dead time. So just trying to be respectful oh, of the people. See, see, see you in a minute. See, yeah, five, yeah, get, I'll go do some league, league turns that I probably shouldn't do after 240s. No, probably not. But I'll be back at 5-2. <laughs> right back. Vagabond is here. All right. We are unpaused. Okay. So let's uh, let's think about this. Now in combat.
Shaky, you're crazy, man. <laughs> I like the way you think. Because I'd love nothing more than to I'm just... assuming that's a map note or some sort of Discord communication. Yeah, it was Discord. Um... <laughs> I like it, but I don't, but I do. Ah, uh, Jesus, I'm too high or too drunk, one or the other. Or maybe the, balanced. <laughs> oh, that's right. Canada, for the record. We're referring to smokable strategy is smoke friendly. Oh, yeah. I smoked my whole life, pretty much, since I was 13. Sm I mean, cigarettes. You need to relocate. I mean, cigarettes, but... Uh, yeah, sure, sure. Smoked... I smoked a lot of weed, too, and then I quit for, like, 10 years, and then I took it back up again, but I smoked a little, very little amount. Sorry, just reading, uh... My current lead game, this guy just keeps giving, like, the double dip back, so the tiny little bit of dice... Oh, it's frustrating, isn't it? my lead game when I probably shouldn't, but... I think, um... I think we need to keep up the, uh, pressure in Europe. So... Yeah. I don't know yet. We'll see. Um, do you see any glaring, uh... Fall back, fall back to Germany. Just give up on Eastern Europe. Do it. Shaky, do you see any, uh, glaring deficiencies in my non-combat moves? back no he's back he's typing to me so he must be back i can't hear him though can you hear him oh, secret the bastard all right silence for me then all right Look at this for a second. Shaky, I need you to be online. Let me know when you're back online. I gotta put something, throw, throw something at you. Vagabond. Yo. I'm thinking of uh, stacking Karelia. That's crazy, right? What? I'm going to have to, like, leave my lead game just to comprehend what the hell you're suggesting. Because <laughs> is it... My recollection is that he's in Corellia stacked right now, right? Who's in Corellia? No, I just took it. All right, damn it. I'll leave my lead game. I just took it. Sorry, man. Lead game or rank game? Uh, a lead game. I'm trying to league out, which... Even the private league is full of platinum, so I'm like losing a lot. Yeah. But um, oh shit, you did take it. Okay, that's right. We're trading it because he went to West Russia. Um, stacking it, damn. Okay. Unless the UK backs you up on that, though, that's not a good idea. If the UK backs you up on it, okay. 
That's interesting. And you never responded to the whole how many uh, you know rain grenades do you win? Well, what it what it does is it'll oh you know what though, um, actually that's not going to work. It's not going to work because I would have had to have take I would have had to have taken Baltic states this turn as the U.S. And then I could have put everything into. Oh, you did not take Baltic states. Oh wow. No, I didn't even okay. I didn't I didn't attack it. We're going to leave it for the U.K. to take it. But the point yeah, is. Assuming the U.K. takes it. The point is that if I took it. Then I could get 21 units into Karelia in support next round. The question is, can we hold it with what we could put there? And the answer is probably not. I don't think so. That was the whole point of the West Russia sort yeah. of concentration, is that it allowed him to really sort of dead zone yellow Ukraine and Karelia, even if you went all in on Karelia. Now, dice or dice... So that stack is really good to me is the potential for you to hold it, but the likelihood in my mind is still Japan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the thing is, so that, I, I, see, what we're trying to do now, though, what we're trying to do now, and it, that's for people that are watching this, at least this is the ally thinking, is that we're going to try and dupe you into attacking us in a way that we attacked you. So we want you to take the losses on an attack, you know, all things being equal or as equal as we can make it, rather than us having to do a one-two. And then the more and more rounds go on, it's going to get to a point that we are going to eventually outspend you to again do a one-two, and then we're right back to where we are. I, there may not actually be a winner to this game. <laughs> It's gone back and forth. It's that's so sad. It's something that I'm really having to sort of stretch to understand. But Dolphin's entire approach to Poland was not that he would win. He never expected to win. No, I know that. It was that the damage he would do would lean axis. And it and did. It did in my mind. Oh, of course. Um, yeah. Now you're considering the exact same approach in Karelia, which is it's next level stuff. Yeah, that's a valid consideration, but dice be dice. Well, so, I'm not going to do it because I didn't take Baltic states. If I would have taken Baltic states, I thought I would have thought about it very seriously. Because then I would have been able to put uh, 21 units in Baltic states backing up the Karelia stack. Whereas right so now I'm, 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 I'm having to take an stack. Yep. I'm, I'm having to take an extra turn in Poland. Um to do that so it doesn't work so we, we, we can't hold Belarusia and stack Karelia yep okay yep. so like that, he, he lined but, up but the, he my point my, my, no but my point is this and you want to talk about next level stuff is that I should have seen that I, I missed that that was a mistake by me I should have taken Baltic states because that actually is the correct move the correct move is to take Baltic state as the US land 21 units there to back up the Karelia stack that is going to go next. If you want to take it, sure, you'll get it. You'll get Karelia from West Russia, but it's going to cost you, and it's going to cost you so much that the backup stacks are going to be able to retake it and take it and hold it. So that's next level play. So that. what I'm trying to say is I, uh, I fucked up <laughs> because I should have insisted on taking <laughs> Baltic State. And I wanted to leave it because I know that the UK is hurting for cash. So that's going to add four, five. So that's 31. He's back to 31. That's respectable. That's 10 units. Well, I, I think he said 30 was his. He needs at least 30. Anything yeah. above 30 is yeah. bold. And the, and, the, and the great thing about um, stacking Karelia would have been, oh, my God, I can't believe I, it's literally a stupid move away from us winning this game. That could have been a game-winning move. Um, if I were to take Baltic States, we could have put the 21 units there. I could have stacked. We could stack Karelia and then, yeah, maybe not take it, 
but forced you to make a decision because you can't leave us that close to Archangel and Moscow. So you have to do something about it. Oh, I can't believe I missed this. Can't do it now, but that's maybe we'll do it next turn. Vagabond, don't say oh, anything Angel, to Air. Man. Don't say you anything to. Yeah, don't say anything to Air Dolphin about what we just talked about, man. He's back though. Yeah, <laughs> I am back, and I have smoked a lot of strategy medicine. Oh, I did that earlier. I I think, I think I see a saw here, and it's a three turn sling shot move. It's a it's a three turn. It's a three turn of oh wait, we're not doing anything, we're not doing anything, and then boom. Taking the Slingshot. fleet taking the fleet out of the med and going down south. Uh no. That no, I oh, I was just guessing. Okay. So and do we have a cone of uh, a cone of trust here, Vagabond? Is that we can <laughs> talk strategy? We don't have to go to, we don't have to go to a private channel. I can't guarantee that I can maintain the Corn of Trust, but I shall endeavor to do so, because I do feel at this point, based on the way Roach just approached me, that it's sort of a outside of the Dolphin support network approach that I've taken thus far, <laughs> just for the sake of viewers. Okay, well, um, but, listen, hey, if you, if you can't, people, if, if, listen, back if you can't, on doing please, whatever please the heck of mine is going to get it. Okay, go ahead and say what you're going to say. If you can't trust yourself, please dead in yourself for the next three minutes. No, why? No, 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 no. I, I, I want to keep it just for learning. I want people, that, that's the whole point of the game. I want people to uh, watch this. Because I just, I, I just, okay, I, is, listen, I just laid out my strategy. I just laid out what I should have done, and I missed an opportunity. But, you know. Oh, really? Yeah, because I missed. I, I I should have taken Baltic. Were you not listening? Or were you? Did you have your headphones on? No, no, I was. I do not have wireless headphones. I was out okay. Of okay. okay. Well, what? Really this is what I just said. Three minutes before Dolphin comes back, which sounds very likely. Then you can poke me and say, okay. That whole point is the one point that I can say, ah, and then the Dolphin-like response to my potential response to Dolphin. I'll be going. Oh yeah, shit. These guys. your mic. Your, your mic is going. Your mic is going in and out for me. Are you moving away from your mic when you're yeah. talking? That's okay. I got the gist of what he was saying. Um, so yeah, go ahead. Go ahead and die yourself for three minutes. Don't wait for my poke. Just three minutes. Just a quick three. Well, I'm and just gonna leave voice for three you, minutes and okay. send me a Discord message cool. when you're ready. No, no, no. Just come back in three minutes. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pick you. Don't worry about it. And the viewers can still hear. It's all good. All right. Oh, I'm excited to hear this. Ooh. Getting, getting like uh, chills down my spine right now. <laughs> okay. Are we clear? I don't know. Yeah, I think. So. I think so. Clear communications. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So basically, it's it's as I was kind of typing. It's the rope and rope strategy. It's the you what? rope yeah. It's a little Sun Tzu. Yeah, a little Sun Tzu. You need to make your Pacific fleet look weak. You need to draw his fleet closer to you. So, but you're going to have to dance because you can't let him overwhelm you. And then in either two turns or three turns, we're going to just ignore Berlin and we're going to drop everything, all 50 IPC in the Pacific. And then we're going to wipe his fleet and we're going to slingshot our way back into collecting all these territories. So if we can wipe, if we get a situation where we can wipe that fleet clean, then we'll be able to sweep through all the stuff before he can rebuild his fleet. In order to do this, you need to send one of these carriers from 14 back. So it'll be 12 this turn. Next turn, it'll be 19. The turn after that, we're back to 56. So in three turns, you're going to buy like something like five fighters something just outrageous a bunch of fighters and a bunch of navy and we're just going to use that to slingshot our way into rope dope pacific victory well okay so assuming that i send it two turns yeah he'll see that coming by the way yeah. but anyway um yeah let's assume that we do that and by the fighters where do we go where do we attack 
we recollect Australia, we recollect New Zealand, but if we clean his fleet, if we if we clean his class clearly, then we have an opportunity. What I've been waiting for is the double victory city in Shanghai and Philippines. I know I'm I'm watching you know, it too. I'm watching it too. <laughs> right. So so what I'm suggesting is we sort of dance our way into outmaneuvering him in the Pacific. Get a huge win. So I think before a, he can respond. So maybe the weaker maybe the weaker position is uh oh no, I, I gotta go back to fifty six. Okay. Yeah, that's good. And next turn next turn you might have to go back to nineteen. You might have to fall back again. But once once that med carrier gets in range, suddenly Yeah. You know, you you do a four fighter buy but are we okay? It'll, it'll, it'll are, overwhelm him before he can respond. Are we okay as a fleet in the med though? If I do that, I guess so. It's only a, it's, it doesn't have any fighters on it's it, so <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I plan to buy another carrier. This Two, three, four, five, so six. So if I can work that all out. Right. right. Okay. Well, so if what's? If I don't buy it this turn, I'll buy it next turn. What's the plan for Africa? Just, okay. The plan for Africa is we work our way through North Africa as we're doing, the Whittling and Dharma. Mm -hmm. uh, we could surprise strike, we could surprise strike something like Queen Short in Egypt at any point. But we could we actually be able to do that. We actually, right now, we might actually be able to stack uh, Trans Jordan. We might be able to do something good there. So what did you buy? If we okay, can, good. It, so if you if you leave if you leave an artillery in Italy, that'll give you a little more. Um, well, hold on. Oh wait, no, I'm I'm in non-combat mode right now. So, but I'm thinking that if I put yeah, four you, guys, yeah, mobile, you can mobilize. If I put four, mobilize. if I leave one guy in Rome, build. Yeah. Build three more. We could land four in Transjordan. Next turn. Oh, plus, actually. I could land. Well, plus, I could land six. Yep. That's so ten. Suddenly, we're up to ten. Plus, your planes can land there, too, to protect. I mean, that ain't nothing. <clears throat> plus, your planes can land there, too, to protect. And then, what we can do. Well, he'll probably send his Egypt units to wipe it with all his bombers. Well, yeah, he will. But that's death by a thousand cuts. That's what the, we need to do. Remember, that's the approach we we're taking to, here. We need to. Yeah, but if we're going to do that, then we should send four units, not ten units. What we need to do is have a, a, a strike force strong enough to blast 11 units in Egypt. Can we do that? With your bombard, you only get planes. I need to build another transport to do that. Uh, we can sit in C zone 15. I could build another transport and set up for uh, set up for I that. I think I think I think we ought to stay in 14 another turn. It's either 14 or 17 or 16 because either we're we're letting UK do good stuff with the transports in 14. For example, right now I have a transport in 23 that I'm not sure where it's going. Mm-hmm. Right, right. So if I want to get back, if I want to get back into the med, we well, need, I need an escort to get back in. Okay, well, w we can stack, we can stack Algeria. I think. I don't want to do that. I want him. I want to wait for him to move those units, either east or west, and I want to dance around his stack. Yeah, that's good. Too. I want to take I want to take the North Africa territories that have one or two units of defense, not fifteen units. Right. Unless it's Egypt, because Egypt has a complex and Egypt has blah blah blah. So we could dump a unit in French Jordan, and then next turn we could come back and deal with whatever Libya does. If Libya sends, you know, one or two to Algeria, then we hit Libya. If he sends all to Algeria, then, you know, whatever. Right. Okay. Let's take the easy so, pickings. All right. So, let's not so, do a big fight. So let's stay in C zone 14 um, for now. 
And everything else is moving up. Except the one guy. No, I want one guy coming down. Hold on. Yes. Wait. Well, actually, you have to stay in 14 because you just did the two amphibious. So it's all done. It's all moved. Right. Yeah, well, that's true. Now, what I do think, what I do think is going to happen is this is, we're going to have to fall down on all the I don't know if it's going to be next turn or the turn after that. But we're going to have to fall down. Wait, what? What? What'd you say? Incremental game. Fall where? In, uh, no, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if it's this turn or if it's next turn or the turn after that. But we're not going to be able to hold Belarusia. Yes, we will. Fall back potentially. Yes, we will. No, no, we're not. This is the, it's the, Roche. It's the exact same cycle we had 15 turns ago. Right, but we're sending in more guys we than need, he's sending in. We need to get. And we uh, want, we want him to attack us. We want, we want to happen to him what has guys. been happening to us. We're not sending in. Well, that's. True. We want to happen to him what has been happening to us with these attacks. It seems like the attacker in this game has been punished. So, um, and that's actually kind of true throughout the whole game, actually. It, I think for both sides. The attacker has been punished in this I game. Think, I think that's an excellent point, and I think it's worth the risk. I, I, I think you're right. Richard, Dolphin is back. Hello. I think. Okay. Oh, look yeah. at that. Okay, I, okay, I just want to say for the record, well, everything you said, so I have no idea what you're talking about, aside from the fact that Keith seems to be suggesting something that Roach is trying to grab, you know, I don't know, you're trying to align your vision. Carry on, <laughs> I have no idea what you said, because I did what you said. Yes, yeah, you did. Well, like a no, no, but no, Vagabond was around for me pointing out a massive mistake that we just made as a, as the al or, uh, as the allies. And oh, that, yeah, I missed that. I missed whatever that mistake was. Oh, you missed that. Okay, well, let me explain it to you again. And Vagabond, if you don't mind. And welcome back, Air Dolphin. Um, Thank the you. Mis the mistake was I should, have actually, I should have actually taken Baltic State this turn. Because then I would have been able to dump 21 units into Baltic State, and then we could have moved into Karelia this turn. Oh, yeah. And, and, sta true. and stacked it. And I missed it. Um... I mean, we're still okay, but that would have been a big move. And I think it would have been a very, very good move. We want him to attack us. Well, we want him I... to attack us. We want him to do yeah, the right. attacking. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. I think. It's the whole point of multinationals. I Instead know. One, two punch, stop, let him attack I us. know. So put us ourselves in a position where he should be attacking us. That's what we were trying to do, and I effed it up because I didn't take Baltic State because I'm an idiot. Uh, well, I well, in all, in all fairness, yeah, I wanted to give it to you because idiot. no, I, well, I wanted to give you're it to you idiot. because you need the income. But you know what I'm saying. I'm not. I'm not saying I'm an idiot. Yeah. I'm just saying that I wish we, I would have thought of that. Exactly. Right. So. Um, that being said, <laughs> again, I'm embarrassing myself in this match, or this this episode, I've been completely embarrassing myself the entire time. Leaving two subs in 53, what else did I do that was stupid? There was other stupid shit that I did, just can't remember. Left two, fi <laughs> left two fighters in Australia. Yeah. The Russian fighters in uh, Poland. Oh, oh, there you go. Really, that's... that's <laughs> That's four fighters, two anti-aircrafts. Yeah, there was no psyops. There was no psyops in that one. That was just stupid. <laughs> okay, okay, let's stop. <laughs> There's been that many. Um, all right, so I'm done. All right, so we've moved everything I can move. Everything's going where it's supposed to go. All right, let's go. score now 261 to 295 eh. that could be better mm. yeah not good enough <laughs> not 
we're still, what it is, what it is. No, we're on par with uh, national production and IPC remaining. We're actually winning that too. It was close. <laughs> it is close. So go get some territory, goddammit. Okay. I know, right? I am going to keep getting fighters, though. No, I, I can't do that. There's a lot of orange on this map. A lot of it. No, I can't do that. Sorry, right, no fly. No worry, no fly. Bob Marley, man. Love that guy. What'd you get? Okay, suddenly I need I need these trades just for freaking units. Yep, you do. I saved a bit of IPC for a uh, you might say a slingshot by next turn. <laughs> ah, gotcha. Did you? Wait, wait, what? What? Oh, you did. Do you have any tanks? He does not have any. I'm considering trying Ukraine with just one, but god damn, I, I just can't bring myself to do it. Wait, what? No, 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 take it. Yeah, you gotta take it. No, you gotta take that. I am. I'm taking it hard. <laughs> taking it hard. Like a man. <laughs> well, it's hard. Ray F is back, baby. Hmm. I'm just pissed that I missed that Baltic State move. I'm just a one. I'm just a complete fuck up tonight, folks. <laughs> just... Sorry, I couldn't give you more. You've earned it. You deserve it, but you're not getting it. Canada with a bomb on your face. Oh. Not your fault. oh man, you're my partner, man. Why why are you why are you doing that? You're supposed to pump me up. Hey. Supposed to be pumping me up, man, not knocking me down. No, I'm not knocking you down. I'm I'm legitimately saying is it is not your fault that you had some horrific dice roll. Somehow in my mind I think it was though. It's like karma. Something I did. It's just superstition. Yeah. Well, free will. Very superstitious. Come on, Dolphin. Like hit. hit. Champions, right? Dolphin, hit Belarusia. For God's sakes, just hit it, will you? <laughs> no, no. Uh, I think I can... If you were going to say, if the words that were just going to come out of your mouth were, I think I can stack Ukraine. Um, yeah, probably not. We'll just take West Russia. We're one away from your capital. You're 
two away from ours. Okay. I need to do a quick bomb. <laughs> Hey, uh, Air Dolphin, everything go okay with the thing you had to do? Yeah, it went perfectly. So Great. I'm happy with that. Awesome. And Was just it? to inform you, Dolphin, I like literally shut my brain down and focused on a league game while they did all kinds of conspiracy against you. <laughs> so I failed okay. to be like a double agent for you. Sorry, man. It's okay. Okay, but everybody agrees that that Baltic State move, if I would have taken Baltic State, that would have been the correct move, correct? Everybody agrees on that? I have, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> so, uh, so based just, on the number you delivered, yeah, it would, have put, it would have put significant pressure in a way that would have been impactful to, to, to additional allied advance. But I was already starting to shut my brain down plus 340s of shitty beer. <laughs> what what is a forty? I've never heard that term before. It's forty it's a, ounces of it's a, natural ice. It's a size that beer comes in, which yeah. is basically it's basically three and a third beer. So forty ounces. So a beer is what twelve ounces, right? Normally. Yeah, something like yep, exactly right. What is that? So it's Less like three beers. Three and a half beers. So it's three plus beers, beers in one bottle. It's really the cheap sucks. way to get. Plus, how, do, uh, how, how do you keep it cold? Yeah, how do you keep it cold? Because your shit gets warm. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you can't that drink is, it fast enough. <laughs> that, is, that, that, that is true. That is true. It's like drinking horse urine. That is so funny. Oh, wait. Oh, we're waiting oh, on me. Wait. Oh, oh, we're waiting on you. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm doing, I'm doing <laughs> I I'm thought it was me for a second. I'm like, oh, wait a minute. Did I not turn? Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Can't help loving you. Okay. I think, uh. Not sure whether fighters or bomber. I've got another fighter or another bomber here would be most fitting. Now that you're back, I need to, like, actually switch back and stop trying to play another game. Uh, okay. Oh, bro, she didn't do the thing we talked about. Uh, what? All right, hold on. Let's see what they did. I oh, to oh, shit. These. You're right. God damn it. Well, where the hell were you? Ooh. No, no, you were back when I did my non-combat. You, you forgot to Seven, remind 92, me. 92. They've got 99 units with potential impact on Western Russia. 99 units? You assume that. Ukraine somehow survives. I expect they'll take Ukraine, so it's really 98. Uh, they do. One, two, three. They could bring in the two fighters from 14 as well. And that also assumes a multi wave approach to trying to do something with Russia. Most of that is UK. Uh, they have been slowly building up their fighters, they now have eight fighters. One, two, three, nine fighters that could say hi. This is West Russia. On top of 42 infantry, 13 artillery. What? They did take <laughs> Northwest Africa from you, but not in a, a way that you could take it back. I'm actually, but, I'm actually looking at potentially advancing to Ukraine even. Yeah, that's what he's going to do. So That's I what, have sixty-two. Ukraine. Ukraine is Sixty-two plus thirteen is uh, seventy-five. Seventy-five plus twenty-five is a hundred. And three. A hundred and three. I have a hundred and three. <laughs> so let's count how many they have. <laughs> let's say a hundred and two, or something. So we they have. have oh, 15, 20, 23 is 38 plus 10 is 48. 48 plus a Mumbai. 
49. And then UK has 42 plus 15. Five, not to mention error reinforcement. So two, three, six. I mean, to say his credit, he has been rebuilding towards that once great European air force that he had. He has nine fighters. Uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah, I think if you combine your Caucasus force with your West Russia force, I feel like you could hold Ukraine, but I also mm -hmm. feel like if they pushed it, dice be dice. Mm -hmm. No, there's no one two there. No. If he wants Ukraine, he can hold it. Yeah. yeah. I feel like if we're considering the fact that he rolled a 10% slash better on Poland recently. If we're looking at that possible karmic comeuppance, then the, the problem, the, less, the problem with Ukraine yeah. is that um, we can hold Poland and we can take West Russia and make it hard for him to take it back. We can actually do both. I do agree with that. Plus, Karelia and the bill that is likely to come. Now, when you suggest this, Dolphin, are you talking about still lightly trading and capturing? Yeah, I think so. So, so let's say a hundred. Let's say we have a hundred on Ukraine. So he needs a hundred and fifty to make it worthwhile. So does he have a hundred and fifty? Calculation, yeah. Does he have a hundred and fifty or? Forty-two, sixty-nine, seventy-nine, ninety-two, ninety-eight, a hundred and four, hundred and fifteen, hundred and nineteen. 121. He does not have the 150, but the closer he gets to 150, the more likely that works out. 50 to 20 to 30 shy of 150. So yeah, you can take and hold it. I think you, I think you could. Yes. But. It's three, not even 150. It's uh, there's he, he, he can take Ukraine and hold it, no problem. Problem is, can he hold Ukraine yeah. and West Russia? And I don't think so. Unless no, I, I, I have to go off into Ukraine, of course. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. And the Pacific. They pulled back. I don't know if you saw that, but they, they did pull back to the Western USA. Yeah, so I'm going to take Hawaii. <laughs> there is the one sub up in 64. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm going to run away from that. Um, let's see, what else? Northwest Africa, they've kind of, you know, gone in on. You can obviously take. Algeria, but they're lined up. The UK has rebuilt its transport fleet. So Morocco and Algeria, they, they were talking about Egypt at one point. Um, I feel like you can hold Egypt if you are determined to do so. <coughs> but, and you hold Egypt, Transjordan, and Libya. I don't think you can hold all three. No. Well, I don't know. I, I could. Hold on. Well, hmm. he has only two UK fighters there. Yep, the six that are up in uh, Belarus cannot make it down, so that's true. How many <laughs> dice be dice? You could <laughs> somewhat evenly distribute across those three territories. No, I can't hold Algeria. <laughs> I have to trade Algeria. No, I'm talking about Libya. That's Libya, true. Egypt, and Transjordan. If you split I'm not, I'm not, Italy, I'm not going to try to hold Transjordan, I think. i just... Well, in that case, Egypt, I think Egypt you hold. Mm -hmm. If you want. Yep. Yeah. He could come into Caucasus with um, 
four and two, four infantry, two artillery, and back it up with six fighters. So caucuses is something eight. to watch out. Yeah, eight fighters actually. One, two, three. Yep, eight fighters. Yep. So I have three coming in. I have eight from Moscow and four, so that's fifteen total. I think I think I'm okay. Um, That is a bit of a concern. Morocco and Algeria is obviously theirs. Libya you can hold, Egypt you can hold. They can't take West Africa from you. I, I don't, I mean, they could try. I think you've got it though. Eight plus eight, and then. I would have a bunch of bombers there. Yeah, I think I'm okay in, in Caucasus. Uh, I'm going to two transports in Western USA can't really threaten anything that matters aside from. No, nothing. Nothing. But if I do go after Karelia, forty-two sixty-five. Where are your bombers again? You moved. Let's see. This is one, two. <laughs> they moved your. They yeah. They moved their destroyer. The the. Where did that transport go? I lost track of it. There was a transport in 27, and it, like, pulled ass. Uh, it joined the cruiser, that's right. Then it went up to 14. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't see anything, like, amazing for you as far as opportunities to pivot. You could go for Ukraine, you could go for Karelia, but that Bielorussia central positioning means what if it can attack you if you did shift to Karelia, but if they want Ukraine and then you pivoted back to West Russia, they could potentially stack cocktails. So I feel like West Russia is still the best location. Uh, I don't think they have a West Russia stack. No, no, no. I'm talking about if you were to go to Karelia, they could position Ukraine, threaten Caucasus, and even take it and stack it before you could get back and stop them. So West uh, Russia the optimal stack location for <laughs> I mean, I want to stack Ukraine right now. <laughs> yeah, it's not West Russia, it's Ukraine. Okay, it's Ukraine. Okay, hold on. Ukraine. So that means they get Karelia. You're racist. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's yeah. racist these days. This beer, this beer I'm drinking right now, Keystone. You're racist, Keystone. You know, you got to take everything I say with a grain of salt and a shot of tequila. <laughs> <laughs> so you shift Ukraine, they shift Karelia. I still put them two rounds from Moscow, but you're two rounds from Berlin. No, dude, dude, dude. If, if he hit Sounds Ukraine, we would not go to Sounds Karelia. Okay. Vagabond. If he stacks Ukraine, we're not going to Karelia. We'll have no, Kar I mean, you're taking Ukraine. Can you hold Ukraine and actually produce? I mean, it's just two units, but do you hold it for one round? I doubt it. Um, Dolphin's not going to stack it. I don't think so. Yeah, you'll like trade it. Okay. I see that. No, he can't stack it. Well, he could stack it. 
he wants to. Yeah, I'm thinking to buy two two uh, fighters in Tokyo. Tokyo, the homeland. Nineteen to twenty-two. Uh, eight. Twenty-two. Okay, so you went with the twenty-two to like perfectly hit continental Asia. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yep. Two fighters. And I have twenty left over. Yeah, two fighters. Good stack a, a carrier if the U.S. goes more, more naval. Mm -hmm. Or shift otherwise. Okay. You've got all of Oceania back, which was a significant milestone for us. Mm -hmm. No Kazakh factory, Oswald remarks. Um, I'll be right back, guys. <laughs> okay. Oh wow, yeah, I wasn't. I was doing my lead turns with um, the Skyndu. I don't have an outback. Uh, so you still have Norway. I don't see anything significant for me personally to comment on as a possible, hey, consider this random vagabond uh, perception <laughs> versus the Air Dolphin consistent and effective approach thus far. Um, yeah, okay, Ukraine. And. Okay, uh, let's see. I'm thinking one bomber, one infantry to, the, to Algeria. Just a light trade there. Two he bombers and a tank. He, has. he could send... What's that? Uh, he's got three and four. Four total transports, so that's... Two and six. So he can send six infantry and two artillery to French West Africa with two fighters. They could have plenty of naval support if they needed it. So your bomb was actually. Are actually, I think I think I can stack Algeria this turn. He has eight, two, ten, ten units, fourteen. I have fifteen guys. I think I can probably stack it. Yeah, I'll just do that. You can take Libya from you and put six units. Yeah, that's there. all right. That's all right. You could go to Egypt with six units and two fighters. Yeah, no, you look good. You look good. You're going to build two in Egypt, I assume. Yeah. That's going to be a fun battle in Finland. One armor on one armor with air support. What I don't know what, as far as what you're going to do, is your, your navy in 49. Where is that going? That's just going to stack 53. So you're going to take Hawaii? Oh, yep. Okay. I mean, you reach a point now, Dolphin, especially with the information that I have going on here, that I really just, I don't know what you're going to do. Sometimes you're more aggressive than I would be, and that's potentially a good thing. I mean, I have four four fighters on two carriers. I don't think he has stand a chance against the navy there. Yeah, you're gonna ship your whole navy to Hawaii, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, I'll do some math while you keep moving. Two, two. He has no bomb damage. Sub, sub two makes it. I think you have the edge in a Hawaii ship. Put dice. Dice. Hundred and one. Okay. I think that's it. Yes. I don't see anything you missed. 
you don't care about the island is 59 or 52, which is, what is that? Iwo Jima or Lake Island, but you do have a transport available. Oh, I mean, I don't, <laughs> I don't want to sacrifice my transport for that. Figured as much. Okay. Uh, Of the allied hit back. No hit back. There we go. No hit backs. It's one. Oh. Ah. Nice. Oh well. Nice to kill the tank at least. You killed it. Come on. And the hit back, of course. Press on. Seriously? Okay. Hit, 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 No, it doesn't even come close. <laughs> it, be, it, be, it begins to balance. It begins to balance. Yeah. Hit back. Did we get hit? No? Yeah, you got a hit back. Oh, there we go. Well, I just bring it down on nice to 100. We're good. You're going to leave the six in Belgian Congo because they have that nice central position for striking everything, right? Uh, yeah, pretty much. I'm wondering if I should leave uh, French West Africa. Um, okay, well, what's the most they could bring? He could bring a significant number. I feel what, like what you have, he could not mm -hmm. take. Right. But if you start to move away, even a couple, it becomes a, an attack of opportunity. It becomes a possibility for the Allies. Mm -hmm. Let's see. He's got three transports, four transports. That's six and two. He goes six infantry, two artillery, two fighters, mm -hmm. two, which is one to two hits. Yeah, I don't think I will vacate anything. I mean, you could move two away and have pretty good odds, I think, but yeah, team, you guarantee that he would lose in my mind. And I don't think he's going to attack Algeria with what you've got there either. Nor Egypt. <clears throat> I don't think they have enough naval power to split for a Libya Transjordan take without sacrificing something. And you've got more than enough going to Caucasus from what I've seen right now. Okay. Where did your bombers end up? Uh, all in Caucasus. And one in Bariatia. Okay, I like that. One bomber up north isn't really going to change anything at all. Northwest, <laughs> Europe. Uh, shaky. Okay. Uh, and you're going to stack 53 with your navy. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, that's unfortunate. Okay, don't think there's anything else to do. Moved everything at the moment except for Belgian Congo, which you're going to hold. And mm -hmm. moved it from Egypt, which you're going to hold. And West Africa, which you're going to hold. I mean, I guess I could. They don't have any transports in range, so I might as well move this up. Yeah, it gives you more options, that's true. Yeah. Because, worst case scenario, you're shifting back to Belgian Congo. Yeah. Baroche <laughs> uh. <laughs> is just going off a little bit. Um, <laughs> it makes me want to like double check everything here. Yeah, I don't see anything, dude. <laughs> Fuck. But you're good. And unlike the other, the rest of us, I don't think you've done any sort of inebriation. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just thinking about actually possibly keep him here. Then it forces where is, where them is here? to. I mean, in Belgian Congo. I mean, why? I mean, I, 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 I think yeah. the yeah. that. Yeah, you can always shift back if you need to. It's the flexibility of shifting north or shifting south that is yeah. more valuable. No, but but I mean, I don't know if they want to like uh, stack South Africa at some point or something. Yeah, but at some point, if just just to make sure that I'm keeping up after all this beer, it's at least two rounds for now, right? Mm-hmm. Well, in the 36 round game, you got to start thinking two rounds ahead. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Someone predicted 60 rounds, and I countered with 56. Just to be that wheel of fortune bit slightly under guy. Shaky said head. <laughs> I'm, I'm, <laughs> such, I'm such an adolescent. They're making a new Beavis and Butthead movie. <laughs> I seriously <laughs> think they're making. I think Mike Judge is making another Beavis and Butthead. Oh, those are classic. <laughs> they made anything we're all, we're all late 30s early 40s plus yeah, right, carry oh, yeah. Uh, uh, the yeah Mike Judge was inspired by Canadian humor though what like kids and all or something or what was it uh, no I, I think it was or, no, no, no. no it was first? it was SCTV he was hooked on SCTV. Oh, dude. So many things came from SCTV. That was like a, you know how like they talk, in football they talk about the tree, the coaching tree? Yeah. A lot of comedians came from the SCTV coaching tree. Oh, yeah. Tree. Martin Short, Dan Aykroyd, uh, Bill Murray. I mean, all those guys. Uh, Eugene Levy. Crew. Yeah, crew. Jane Curtin. Jane Curtin. I mean, they all went to Saturday Night Live and they made Saturday Night Live. Saturday Night Live. SCTV, but in America. Um, All right, Roach. John what Candy. Well, I'm thinking. Um, I'm thinking two fighters and a couple of subs. Shaky, what you think about that? Uh, I gotta be honest. I think I might need a pause. What? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, pause uh, the game. Yeah, I mean we could keep going, but I'm thinking like I'm gonna make a mistake here. <laughs> well, it's not I'm your turn. It's, it's, it's not your turn though. Yeah, but it is a team game, and there your, are your job is to catch my mistakes. Implications. That's not gonna happen right now. <laughs> Okay. All right. Well, I mean, okay. 
Uh, yeah, I feel, we can quit. I, I, it's a, it's a, I feel like not sleep too late, guys. Yeah. I feel like this turn is actually pretty easy though for the U.S. Can I do that at least? Well, I mean, just just to break the trend thus far of ending on your turn, Roach. Yeah. If you truly think it is easy, and Stacy has any degree of acquiescence to that, let's do this. Nah, let's pause, bro. Let's take a look. <laughs> Let's take a look. Let's mm -hmm. reassess. Yeah, we had we got some good tunes in six tunes today. Uh, that's a good point. This is going to be a you know what? What is the world record for Axis and Allies game? For Steam, seriously? No, that's not true. What, what? No. What is the world record for a, an Axis and Allies game on Steam oh. Beam Dog version? I don't know. I don't know. But it's kind of funny. And I do kind of feel bad because I know a lot of people have asked to play on Friday nights with us. Yeah, me too. I get really direct. Dolphin's fault. He should have surrendered like 16 <laughs> turns ago, according to the you know, three-person versus one-person analysis. I mean, I got a, I got a Mund who's like one of the top players in the world wants to play on our community matches. I mean, there's there's a lot of interest. People are watching. I think the first the first episode is now over 500 views. <laughs> you know, I'm kind of a big deal. You know, I'm just saying. You know, I'm an, hey, you know, I, yeah. you know, I'm a YouTube influencer. Well, just, just, just everyone's viewpoint here. <laughs> there was a round where three or four of us felt the allies had a significant enough advantage to, if we were forced to, call it in favor of the allies. So how do we feel at this point? Well, I think we're better off. Tonight than well, what, than well, we well, were well, when we well, started well, the game. Oh, okay, me first. I mean, I feel like Dolphin has definitely defied the odds. I feel like okay, just to just to lean on the metrics we have, what are we looking at here? National production of eighty four Japan versus fifty five seventy five eighty four for the Allies. With the Allies about to go, attack power has leaned heavily towards the Axis, and while I think the Allies are in no way in a position of weakness, the UK has enough, plus the US before. But I feel like it has, from the last time we really heavily considered this as a three versus one, Dolphin going, hey, I really want to continue this, guys. Well, here's the thing. Like we've reached, we, we've reached equal. We... Enough to say, yeah. Well, I was just going to say, we've reached equilibrium in Africa, right? And Australia. So now it's just going to be about us taking some of that apart. So you, you, you can't get richer as Japan. Um, it's going to be hard for you to get richer as Japan, whereas we are going to get richer and we're going to make you weaker over time. That's why I'm saying that uh, I don't know what the beam dog, I don't know if, if they even track these, this data. But what is the longest game of Axis and Allies with Beam Dog's version? Is there? Because this has the potential, literally, to go sixty rounds. I'm not kidding when I say that. I think the longest games were like two hundred or something. No oh. way. Oh, wow. Really? I don't if you, know. If you count At least over, over a hundred for sure. Over a hundred for sure. Played. Every game played since beta. There's probably been one that's gone a hundred plus, right? That's yeah, for sure. That's crazy. Well, actually, this game actually has the potential, <laughs> to be honest with you. I mean, I don't see any way forward for either team right now, the Axis or the Allies. I don't, I mean, I think that at the end of the night, yes, you got Australia back. You completely controlled Africa. But we've reached an equilibrium. So um, it's, I keep saying it, it's a math game. Yeah, I'll jump in here. So from my point of view, the last two, three nights, I thought Allies had a, right now I think it is dead even. And we are one big dice roll away from one side taking the advantage again. Uh, yes, Dolphin creep back in the income. We are going to creep back in the next six turns. 
we did it again we have a bit of a slingshot thing here and this game is is easily going to go 60 turns we could just on based on the very fact that we could just stack berlin and be annoying and keep the game going turn after turn after turn so we have to ask ourselves yes how long do we want to keep spending friday night blitz on a game that, that is a stalemate and going to go in depth that's a good question actually uh, it is. It is essentially. A, it, it, it is essentially. It is essentially a stalemate. I'll give him that. I think that's fair to say that. I think that's probably fair to say that. Okay. So everyone feels like it's anyone's game at this point. Is that correct? And I'm going last on this. No, it's a stalemate. Yeah. No, like, I, is it a stalemate? Anyone's game? I feel Axis are winning here. That's what I think. Oh, that's pretty bold. Because allies, allies are building, allies are building roughly the same, and if allies stop, stop devoting stuff to navy and stuff, then Japan can start to build from the island, and if allies keep building navy, then, well, right now they have a pretty precarious situation in terms of navy, and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but okay. but, uh, Shaky, but you, were, you were so right on that. As long as, yeah. as, long yeah. as allies are making, as long as Axis are making over 82 or 83, around that threshold, it's supposed to be even. And I think with the attack power lead, it's, uh, it's in the Axis favor. In the in terms of the the income situation and uh, the positioning, um, holding the line in Africa, or holding the line in the Pacific, I I'm a little uh, I'm a little soft in the north, of course, but yeah, wow. overall it's pretty good for ac Axis. I mean, and, I'm not going to totally, totally disagree with you, but it's not like it's 70-30. It's closer to 60-40. Probably, yeah. And, uh, uh, it's more 55-45. Uh, I it, don't know. And I, I, I wouldn't even you say see, that, I actually. I would actually say that... Um, well, I wouldn't say... Whatever the number is, it's only one dice battle away from changing. Yeah, so but... It's not like we're out of this game. But we actually I have. Think it's two di I think it's two dice battles. <laughs> I think it's uh, two dice battles for you, maybe three. Oh no, we're not going to be attacking anytime soon. Even if, even if, even if I grant you it's two dice battles, this game is far from over. Yeah, it's it's not over. Like far from over. <laughs> yeah, like, it's, it's very, far from, very far from some kind of. So I'm going to go back to the original question is how much Friday Night Blitz time do we want to invest in this specific game? Well, knowing I think that there's, I think people, already, well, hold on. Knowing that that's, there's other adventures to be in. I think people that are, legit. that have been but, watching and there's but, been a but, lot but, of people but, watching this game. This I think we owe it to them to finish the game. Okay. So that's, that's where it's right there. The question from like four weeks ago or three weeks ago was, we three of us, including myself, despite being an Axis aligned player, said if we had to vote, it was an ally victory that was impending. Okay, and so now, how does that affect our, our decision of war? Exactly. And I say it's leaning ever so slightly Axis. I agree, but not enough to give him the victory. So. He'll he'll he'll, he'll right never he'll you'll never you'll never get Berlin you'll never get Berlin. <laughs> so, in the interest of satisfying both the fans and Friday Night Blisters, should we pivot this to a custom style game where you can still do your recordings, and we can open up a new Friday Night Blitz, or is next Friday going to be another episode of this? Wait, are you getting bored of the game? And if next Friday is another episode of this, there's another week after that, if we're being honest, about how this freaking game is going. 
Yeah, if we're being honest, it's two to three to four nights. Yes. Yeah, it's yeah. uh, it's it's not going. It's 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 one of those weird, weird balanced games. It's like it's uh, I'd explain it. It's like nobody can get an edge. Stalemate. Yeah, stalemate. That's the word. But I mean, it's gonna. It's one. I think it's one dice battle. It's often like this two but dice battles from from being over and. But he, but he can't be the one to initiate it. That's the that's the thing. That's what makes this game so stupid. Is that yeah okay so he can bring what uh, sixty or fifty eight or f- whatever that is fifty eight twos. Mm, no, I don't see it. It's not there. He's gonna he's gonna do to Poland what we did to him the last two turns. <laughs> he's gonna be the loser. The attacker is the loser. The attacker seems to be the loser in this game. Yeah, that is true. Uh-huh. But and oh, it's, it's, I actually think I don't know, Air Dolphin. No disrespect intended, but I actually think the Allies are winning this game. No, I disagree. <laughs> I, I I know I, you do. I know you do. I know you do. Hold on for a second. We have transitioned from three versus one in favor of the Allies. Assuming Shaky once again confirms his actus lean in this particular judgment, the three versus one for the Axis. Is that correct? No. No. To me, it, to me it's just down I think it's... It is. It it is. It's so, at best, you're one, one, and two. <laughs> Wait, what? Damn it, Shaky. <laughs> and then you hear the pop of another beer can. Oh, that was me. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. My bad. Yeah, I, I knew it was you, Roach. But the point is, uh, even if you account for Shaky deciding to lean towards the middle, that's the turn one one. The party don't stop. The party don't I mean, stop. I mean, you can ask, ask if it's <laughs> if it's gonna if it's gonna be a stalemate, you have to ask whether you know the allies can get Moscow, right? Maybe Japan can't get Berlin, but the Allies can't get Moscow either. No, but you're six of nine, and we're seven of ten. It's more complicated than that. So, um, it's more complicated than, than Moscow. Of course it is. I think there are other avenues. But did, 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 Roach, Roach, didn't you say that you agreed with Vagabond, a.k.a. me, that Africa was pivotal? And Africa, at this particular moment in time, Japanese. It's the reason we're a stalemate yeah, right now. He spent 300 IPC. He yeah. spent 300 IPC to get Africa. Yeah. So he has to hold it for like 7, 8, 9, 10, 20 turns to get the value. So it's assuming you don't account uh, account for the fact that those forces are slowly shifting north and east to eventually join the Earth. We're looking at a 60 turn plus game based on average analysis of where the turns are before we decide this game. Those forces can still shift. So, yes, if they can't shift, if they don't have the time, well, then, yeah, that positioning is significant. But given time, those well, forces are back north well, and then into Europe. You don't, you don't yeah, have but time works both ways, bro. I have, I have a two-turn idea myself. You don't have tanks in Africa. You don't have tanks gonna, in Africa. I'm gonna get a lot of, I'm going to get a lot of IPC costs without spending 300 IPC to get it. So... That time goes both ways. Right. Not shaky guy, Roach. Dolphin, what you got? I I think we're winning. I think well, we can. I, I I don't think so. Well, if if you are, then I'd be pretty impressed. How how Axis really has no chance in the end game, but yeah, we can see. That's that's why I'm interested in playing this out. Yeah, me too. Um, I don't think anyone said no chance to you, Dolph. Yeah, exactly. No one, no one's saying no chance. That's uh, but I, I mean, it's a, it's a lot of orange. You guys, you There's guys, a lot of orange. <laughs> it's not, there is a lot of orange on the map. I, I, I'll give you that. 
half. He's got half. Uh, I'd say. I mean, if I can, yeah. if I can keep building, if I can keep building, and uh, eventually, I mean, if I can keep building on, at the same pace as the allies, then I mean, eventually, I can just move my stack forward, and allies just have to. Allies can't. I can. I don't know. Move my stack into what, Italy. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. If I if I move my stack into Italy and France, what? Mm -hmm. Italy and France. I mean, eventually, I, I'm, we're talking about a, a much longer longer game here, but. It's an ambition. It's a, I, if I can no. tell <laughs> <laughs> the day that Italy and the Mediterranean become <laughs> compromised, but I don't think that that's. Near future. No, no that, that, that is not future. happening. That is not to, happening. I still have to keep. I still have to keep pumping, pumping from I, Asia to do that. I, I understand exactly what Dolphin is saying. Yeah. But I would just say Dolphin that is gonna it's gonna require a dice roll. That may or may not go your way. But well, any yeah. given any given significant commitment to one of those battles. Even Poland, where it seemed like the U.S. should have won, and they, they fucking should have won. No, I should have, I should have yeah. pulled out after the third stage. That was the, that was the mistake. You I should, should have. have. Yeah. Well, uh, mm -hmm. you, regardless, you yeah. should have won that damn battle. You should have won that battle. No, I should have won it, but I should have. I, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we're 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 going around in circles. What do we want to do for next week? What's the plan for next week? Well, I, I think we should play next week because I think the or... I, I think the fans are invested and I am too. And I, I you know what I disagree with uh, Air Dolphin. I don't think he's won this game. I think actually I think we're winning. Um well, and just, just to have it said, you're not I'm somewhere saying, I'm somewhere between you. In the game, you're saying do we transition to a play by email? Not not, not whatever it is, but a a, a non-blitz game versus a blitz game. I don't think anyone is saying, let's end this game and call. Well, that, that's what's yeah. on the table. That's what's on the table. Oh, okay. yeah, so I can do that. up next Friday night to people like Amand and others who have, you know, what was um, Artemis has been asking for like six weeks. Okay. Yep, yep. Okay. Well, then who wants to go up a seat? Or we, well, we have one seat. Who are we going to allow in? You do it like that, or well, I think Air Dolphin well, said he, he doesn't want to play the next one, so that's two seats. Well, he, he mentioned no, 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 no. I mean, Air Dolphin said that maybe, but so Dolphin, right off the bat, you're the first person. Are, would you prefer to not be playing another game? I mean, from my perspective, no matter what you guys may say about the value of my input, the three of you are definitely better players than me at this stage of my development and the process and the slack journey that is access and allies. So I'm happy to step aside, especially for players like Amon, just so that the players that are viewing this can experience true platinum play. No, no, no. Vagabond. Dolphin. Vagabond. Dolphin said he might not want to play in the next one. So you don't have to take a seat for anybody. Exactly. We can let yeah. two pe we, we can let two people exactly. in. So Dolphin, you as the first person, if from a time perspective and your ability to commit, if you need to step aside, I get it. But if not, from the perspective of someone who might observe this, just watching your Japan play, I want to see more of you, dude. Oh, so for sure. How are you feeling? <laughs> it's exceptional, uh, really. But you know what? Let, hold on. With a caveat. With a caveat. Okay. That yeah, it's been exceptional play. <laughs> But kind of lucky a little bit too, maybe a little bit, just yeah, a slightly, sure. like a, a, like a little, like a little nudge, you know, a little nudge. Yeah, for sure. I got I got some nudge, nudges here and there for sure, yeah, yeah. like that Alaska play that snowballed into Quebec. That, oh that my, was amazing. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. That, that that was that was hard. Dolphin, Dolphin. But I agree with that. I, I agree with Vagabond in the sense that you are really a great player. But I already knew that, so you're not like you know you're not surprising me. <laughs> Maybe the people that are watching this video, but not me, because I already knew you were a good player, a really good player. But the question really okay. is, well, I mean, 
one of the options attempt to not only, you know, YouTube this, but provide an informational session blitz approach for other players. Because for me and for many other people, this has been educational. Uh-huh. Um... I kind of don't want to play another game right now. Um, I'll be I'll be down for one after a break, <laughs> after after a break. But uh, I think I'll cycle out of the next one, the very next one. And ironically, the next one could end in a single night. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Yeah. Okay. So Dolphins in after two games. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Well, you know what? Actually, you know what? Losing Dolphin is a big deal. But if we add Amund, I mean, it's kind of balancing out a little bit, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I mean, the guy can play. He's got he's got a he's got a strong mind. Oh, he he kicked the crap out of me in league. Like I learned so much losing both those games. Yeah. Well, the fact that he wants to play. Makes it makes me want to have it. And what? at least one viewer, however asinine he might be, and his literal just tell you how he feels approach in recommending Amon. No, Amon Amon wanted to join. He he messaged me tonight and he said, uh, "Hey, uh, I can play tonight if you guys want to uh, add me." And I said, "I don't think we can add you to the game." Um, All right, so Dolphin. I mean, if we're, if we're being what should be on an excellent teacher request? In acknowledging Dolphin's desire Good point. to push Good his point, Japanese Jakey. play. So, Dolphin, how do you feel mm-hmm. different in one way or the other? Seriously, one more week of full blitz or one more or, or transition? Why don't we just put this game out of pause? Oh, shit. Throwing put it on what? Just put the whole game on pause. Dolphin wants a break. We want to try something new. Well, that's a good point. To this. That's a good point. If you, wait, hey, Dolphin, is it a personal reason you want to break, or is it Sorry, just a, like, do you want to break from Axis and Allies and Discord and the Internet all together, or is it just a break <laughs> from the game? Uh, I don't know. If, if you guys want to pause it, I don't mind. But um, I think, I think, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I will offer a fifth option. We, oh, hold on, hold ahead. on. We please, we will, we will arbitrate the odds of victory. All Ooh. of us will, will do what it takes. We'll arbitrate the odds of. No, victory. wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't, I, I don't like our odds of. No. Which is, if it's fifty-six to forty-four, we will, we will set up that battle, and we will do a single combat to decide the game. No, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I, I, I leaned allies at one point and said, you know what, if I had to decide, we defied that. <laughs> and here we are now. So <coughs> what do you want? Would a pause and okay, return babe? to blitz be what would most benefit you and allow us to honor amazing players like a bund? Or would you prefer a continuation? Or would you he prefer has, a he transition? He understands the situation. I think I think I would prefer just I think I would prefer just turn this into a correspondence game. Uh, I I don't see the problem. I think uh, I think we've we've had these breaks and uh, at this point, turning it into a correspondence game may be increasing the precision of play through the use of calculators. Well, it will. We already have the we already have so many asterisks on this game, right? What do you mean? The ridiculous dice. So I, yeah, that's true. That's true. No, but hey, no, but when you play a game that's long, when you play a game that's long, you can expect stuff like that, though. So. But just a, but over but this, is, this is an outlier. This is an outlier. This is an exceptionally long game. Yes, but Roach and Shaky, based on Dolphin and his clearly indicated preference here, do you concur with transitioning to a correspondence game? Would you be okay with that? Yeah, Bro- Vagabond, we, Vagabond, we understand the situation. You don't have to repeat the exact same situation to us. Right, we get right, it. Right. We, know what our, we know what's at stake. Yeah. I, think, I think Dolphin is overestimating his position. I think Roach is overestimating his our position. I think it's somewhere in the middle. 
That's where we are. We have one on the left, one on the right, one in the middle. Mm-hmm. But how does that how does that reflect upon your desire to either acknowledge or continue in opposition to Dolphin's preference? I think there's value in having a more precision game at this point. There's, if we can take our time and think about things and do calculators, it'll yes, mm-hmm. it'll change the, the spirit of the game. But the spirit of the game. Uh, I don't think there'll be as much. I don't think. I don't think there'll be as much communication. After 36 turns. I think. Uh, no, there'll uh, be I mean, communication through DMs. Yeah, that's, but that's private messages. To, it's different. To you and me, Roach, really, because he's by himself. But it would be different, though. It would be, it would be, it would, it would feel dirty video, to me. Your videos won't be as entertaining. Yeah, well, it would video feel. won't be as entertaining. No, it'd also feel dirty to me too. Like, uh, like we're using calculators and we're doing this. And that. I mean, the whole game, the whole premise of the game was not to use calculators, even though we have both of us, both teams have. I mean, hey. Have. I mean, you guys have been using calculators on the right on your turn and i've yeah. been able to use a calculator right on my turn <laughs> i didn't use the calculator on my so, turn and it, 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 never it's been you you guys have had a bit of a slight have had a bit of a slight advantage there like you you're able to calculate poland and wait 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 wait, wait. that have, that's only because that's only over. because you guys did that's true that's true because they've made some freaking mistakes because of 13%. <laughs> right. Like, look at, so, look at, hold on, hold on. Look at the snowball from the Alaska to Western Canada units. That was okay. a mistake we made because we were drunk. We didn't put a sub That's true. Before. That's true. That drunken uh-huh. mistake led to you going all the way to Eastern Canada, me forced to send a goddamn transport back to get it. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's true. That is absolutely true. We would never have missed that if we were sober. Well, most likely not have missed it. Just to avoid hyperbole, but yes, I, I agree. No, I would. I I would never have missed that if I was sober. No, you 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 guys are really good when you're when you're working together and there's no alcohol involved. Yeah, and catching every little nuance. You really are. You really yeah, are. I, think, I think if if uh, I think. I think we we should. I, I like the idea of transitioning to a precision game at this point, and uh, you know, we we I've evened it up. I've evened the map up, and uh, now let's let's uh, really continue this fifty-fifty kind of on edge knife's edge game. Uh, yeah, pretty much uh, continue it as precisely as we can. You guys sober? I get to use a calculator on my turn. <laughs> yeah. And, and as far as the spirit of the game, the spirit of the game has been exhausted because it's already 36 from 18. This and is a new game. So, so many, so, so, game. so much weird, so much weird dice. Yeah, this, this is a new game. So much weird dice happened. This, this is a reset. I have Oceania. I have Africa. You guys have the North. <laughs> and uh, you guys still have a slight income advantage in terms of your production. I have an attack power advantage. That's also quite slight because it's your guys' turn right now. So so it's it's like uh, we can consider this as starting from a coin flip and just uh, re- reset reset our turns. Yeah. I like that idea. I, I think uh, well I, I think we well, should, uh, well let me let me, let me I, ask I, I want to play. Let me ask times. this. Let me ask this. I will ask the people that are watching that are actually managed to come all this way in this particular video what they would like <laughs> and why don't we leave it at this why don't we agree to disagree or agree to agree depending on what the people in the comment section what, what are fans are, the people that are watching the game let's invite their opinion what they what would they like to see and can we agree that if okay. they overwhelmingly want to see one thing over the other can we agree to do that and side with the fans. Sure. All right. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. It's fair, right? Your player thus far, I'm available either way. So you I tell like me. I like the crowd. I like yeah. pleasing the crowd. I'm on board. Yeah. Uh, maybe maybe you should put it in the comments or something. Make a comment about it rather than yeah. actually rely on I, people. 
Yeah. You, you could make a YouTube poll. You could make a poll. I don't know how to do yeah, that. Yeah, you could make a community poll, too. <laughs> I can do that on Discord? <laughs> Be here with 340s for any Well, there are some people on YouTube. There are some people on Discord that are that are watching the game, too. I know Amanda's watching the game because he told me, said, hey, man, you guys got a great game going on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's uh, he wants to get he wants to get involved. Um, mm -hmm. But and actually, there's other players, too. There was a there was another player that wanted to get involved to MC. Oh my God, I'm butchering his name. Mark I... Mattis wants to play. I don't know. I don't know about MC, but Mark Mattis wants to play. Who? Artemis. Yeah, Mark Mattis. And to be, to be yeah, Artemis. And to be fair, he's at like six weeks in a row. So, well, I so yeah, we should. Feel like he gets elevated to seven. Yeah, we should let him in. He, he literally mm -hmm. has. He really has. Now, Roche, I will say this: if you want to make videos in the correspondence stuff, I will try. I'll try to get online with you so we can talk. Oh, that'd be good. That'd be uh, that actually be valuable. Um, but I don't think I don't think our fans are going to choose correspondence. I think they're going to choose this because the banter, <laughs> the banter back and forth is entertaining to them. I think that's the sense I'm getting at least. Is that they enjoy the banter? I mean, the ones that make it all the way through. I mean, seven hours of video is hard to go through. Let's be honest. But oh, it's a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a lot. But. Yeah. You know, some people have it on in the back. You know, they have it on the background or whatever. And uh, I don't know. I just. I mean, I don't. I don't know my own value to that banter, but I do agree that from the perspective of someone that dislikes YouTube, and still engages it as a medium, the quality of banter does contribute significantly to my investment and continuation and subscription. Yeah, it's not fake. Our our banter is not scripted. It's not fake. It's not nothing like that. It's just real raw. That's why, that's why I like doing the um, the style that I do, because it is raw, and I think people appreciate that. They don't like the edited, mm -hmm. the fully edited stuff, you know. I I like your videos. I watch them. Do you now, really? I will say this: if we transition, yeah, if we transition to a correspondence game. That does not stop us from, if we get to a very, very interesting point, yeah. re-transitioning to a Blitz type game. That's a good point. That <laughs> is... If we want to get everyone online for the final battle, we can do that. That's true. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Agreed, agreed. But right now, it seems like we're leaning towards transitioning to a correspondence game. Uh, well, I'm, I'm against that. I'm raising my hand against that. But... I actually literally just raised my hand. Do you believe that? <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know. Some that... people talk with their hands. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's how you know. Okay, maybe we are maybe maybe we are ready to end the game tonight. Um anyway. Uh, but I think I think overall uh, I think that people that have followed the game, and there's been a lot, um, I, at least 300, because each video has gotten at least 300 views. The first one's got over 500 now, I think. Um, so people are watching. Yeah, uh, it, I mean, why wouldn't you watch? It's it's crazy. I mean, if you want to learn about end game play, if you want to learn about end game play, this is the game to watch, because we have Air Dolphin. Ed, no offense to you, Vagamon, but Air Dolphin's been sort of taking up the Axis crown here, and he's been they playing excellent, excellent, yeah. excellently with Vagabond's advice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Why'd you laugh there, man? Yeah, and we've had a we've had a handful of self-inflicted wounds. Oh and yeah, dead oh, yeah. It, particularly this round, <laughs> me, me, mm -hmm. it was me. Maybe two subs. I, I like the Russians. I like to bring up the round one, the round one Chinese American fighter that didn't retreat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's way back. Oh, man, you got a memory on you. <laughs> that that one really annoyed me. <laughs> uh, I know this. It doesn't sit well with me either. Neither does Poland. 
Poland sucked. But that that's blitz, man. That's blitz. That's blitz. You get wild, wacky things in blitz. Well, okay. So okay, okay, okay. That being said, let's be honest. Okay, let's be one hundred percent real. One hundred percent real. Air Dolphin, you have to admit that you are sitting where you're sitting right now because of good dice. Not only, uh, yeah. not not only defensive good dice. You've had really good offensively good dice. Yeah, overall, but we, for sure. But we did not help him with our self-inflicted wounds. Right. No. Well, hey, dude, don't but don't stress on that, man. Don't 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 stress on the self-inflicted wounds part. Let's just go with the dice part. Ignoring the self-inflicted wounds. <laughs> oh fuck. Two yeah. times <laughs> of significance. Yes. Axis have had the dice go their way in an impactful way. Japan specifically. Yep. Poland was a bitch. Yeah. Well, Japan's Japan's about to get a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, man. Mm -hmm. You're like the, you're weak. <laughs> Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> what? My, pl my plan. It's your plan. It's your plan, and I like it, and we're, and we're going to implement We're going to implement it right now. Well, not right now, because... It's going to work. Yeah, it's going to work. But, <laughs> but we're not going to do it right now, because we're just talking about the game right now. We're not, making it, we're not making any moves, because we might wake up tomorrow and go, oh, shit, that's not really a good plan. <laughs> 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 it's true though it's, it's definitely true yes but right now it sounds like a good it sounds like a really good plan but I don't know so, maybe that's, that's inviting them on I mean I, oh. I stand by the fact that despite whatever phrase has existed for the vagabond I will step aside for truly proven platinum players. Amand should be involved for the sake of observers. I mean, if there's someone else who equally can contribute to the potential understanding of the complexity of this game... Are you marketing yourself? <laughs> yeah, sure, fine, whatever. But I'm happy to step in, even in Russia. Open. He's like the one guy who's like, oh. all right. My gonna, daughter, my daughter says. Fall back from Russia and lose the my my daughter says hi to Kent. Kent, my daughter says hi. hi. Maddie says hi. Hello. Yeah. yeah, he's Axis. You suck. No, hi, Maddie. He, no, he doesn't suck. He's actually doing pretty good. <laughs> my daughter says you suck, but I said no. You're doing pretty good. <laughs> oh, now she's looking. He's the Axis. What? He, he lost Germany. No, he didn't get Germany. He's not. It's not. You know. Oh wait. Are you attacking Japan? We're the allies. He's Japan. What do you think? Do you think yeah, he looks? Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Hold, he, this, this is Japan. He lost Germany twenty-five times. Look at the monster that is the Japan. Suggestion. But Japan are good like, guys. And We're occasional, good. like I feel like two times now, at best. I've well, given him a suggestion. They made him go, oh, that. actually, that's a good Not idea. Other than that, it's yes, just going to be Yes, we would. Man, we cannot upset the balance of power like that. Who's winning, Chase? Who's winning? I mean, we need to get Russia out of there, so. Yeah. But, Matty, you know how easily Japan... My kids are my, my kids are chiming in. Hold on, folks. Listen up. What do you guys think? <laughs> what do you guys think? I think that kind of has a strong force. Like in the front lines, but there's nothing there, so you can easily just wrap around and then like kill back. Shh. What's wrong with you? Quit spilling secrets. Oh my God, my family's even they're they're. Are they secrets in favor of the Axis or the Allies, there, Ruth? Uh, Allies. Um. I'm just saying, Kent, be careful. Watch your back. Oh, my Maddie goes, Kent, be careful. Watch your back. <laughs> <laughs> He's laughing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Pacific, uh, uh, Japan's 
back is the Pacific. And I think they got that locked down. But I do believe the Allies are in a good position. But the dice, for whatever godforsaken reason, keep leaning Axis slash Japan. So take that as you will. Yeah, I think that. Um... Yeah, I mean, I think I'm. I think I'm okay. I I think my back is fine. Anyway, I, I could be surprised again, like. Uh... Like with your bellow move and leaving Poland free, yeah, that that was a surprise and could have gone badly for me, but it went well. Yeah, it did. I don't know why we didn't consider that, Dalton. Maybe that was me. Maybe that was you. Maybe that was us. But damn. Yeah, we should have taken those Russian fighters. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. Well, I think that um, we should leave it. We should leave it here. And um, uh, the U.S. has a strategy. The Allies have a strategy. Right now, it sounds great. Tomorrow, it might not sound so great, but right now, it sounds pretty good. And um, it's going to be game changing. Let's just put it that way. Can we do that? Put it that way. All right. That I'm gonna, sure. I'm gonna do a game. Personal. Are we are we correspondents now, or are we both seeing next week? Wait, what? I hope we are correspondents. Well, okay, but we all but we all agree that it's up to the fans, correct? Okay, sure. Fair. Yeah. Is that fair? Mm-hmm. All right. Here. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> well, it, was by the crowd. it was. It actually was. What's your favorite Roman movie of all time? I'll go uh, one one at a time. Hold on a second. I'm gonna ask uh, Vagabond okay. first. What's your favorite Roman movie Famous of Roman focused movie of all time? Yeah, like the original Spartacus from like the 19 fucking Kirk 70s? Douglas. So Kirk Douglas. Yes. Yeah. No, wait, hold on. Kirk Douglas? Yeah. yeah. I have no idea, but that shit was in Technicolor. Yeah. I'm Spartacus. No, I'm Spartacus. I'm Spartacus. All right. Uh, Shaky. Uh, it's Gladiator without question. Yeah, me too. Me, t- me too. The, 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 opening, the opening scene of that is, is cinematic perfection. The opening scene and the ending scene were cinematic perfection. And the soundtrack is great. Everything about that movie is great. I love that movie. The when he's doing the uh, the tour in Africa, the different like like the the muddy, run down arenas, working his way up to, you know, the Coliseum. I love yeah. That movie. Dolphin, what about you? I actually haven't seen that many movies like that, so <laughs> I'll just. Okay. I guess well, the, well, the, well, I really well, know well, is. Uh, you, watch Gladiator. <laughs> Yeah. And Julius Caesar by by Shakespeare. I liked that play reading it. Yeah. <laughs> what play? Yeah. What play? Yeah. What play? Yeah. Julius Caesar. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Shakespeare. Shakespeare. Yep. Fine. That's true. Fine. Uh runner up runner up is the HBO series Bro. I love that series. I haven't seen it yet. I, I actually I, I keep passing by it. I, I, I look at it and I go, Oh, can I invest that much time? And I think mm, no, because I don't have that much time. So no, I, 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 you know, you know I do it. Do it. No, I can't, you are man. Sitting on gold. Yep, yep. You are sitting on unwatched gold. And you can binge it so quick, but the value of what you get just Minus in the, yeah. the 13th. For the 13th, <laughs> Titus Polo. It's so good. Really? Is that good? It's seriously? Good. Seriously. Totally serious. It's, it's, you go in with low expectations. Hold on, hold on. Go in with what Shaky's telling you, and you might be disappointed. But go in expecting nothing. Pure gold. Well, I went. I went. I went it's, it's 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 as good as Game of Thrones. It I was is. just gonna say. I was. I was. Whoa. I was just gonna Whoa. say. I went into Game of Thrones like. Like I, I didn't get into Game of Thrones until the ninth season because people kept saying, "Oh, it's great, man! It's a great series! It's awesome!" I'm like, dude, I have no time. I have no time to watch something like that. 
And then I watched it, and I'm like, I was hooked. Right away. Right away. I mean, you know, I had to get past the gay scenes and all that shit and all that stupid shit they had to throw in there to make it woke and all that fucking shit. But once you get... Plus one to shaky. Plus one to shaky. Once you, you got get, no time and you go into it because it's what two, three seasons tops because it didn't. Oh my god, Game of Thrones just I I, I I I was I was hooked right away, right away. Yeah, you're gonna be sad that it ends when it does. So yeah. watch it. Dolphin, have you watched Game of Thrones? Uh, no, not yet. I, I oh have my the first season on a library DVD and I'm yeah. gonna watch it. Yeah, you, well, if you Watch start, you, 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 can't, you can't stop. I mean, if you, bro, you own a DVD. <laughs> no, I mean a library. A library loan from my dad. Excuse me. I'm totally teasing. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Except that you're not going to be pandering to those people who want to see boobs and such. Get past that. <laughs> Fantastic. Wow. So many fun things. <laughs> <laughs> and then get sucked into the, the, the political political correctness of being concerned about the ending, but let's not spoil anything. No, I know that no mostly what what you mean by spoiling <laughs> the ending. Um, well, um uh, yeah. the internet the internet's a bitch, it'll spoil you. Yeah. <laughs> Watch it. It's alright. Watch it. All right. All I don't. Right. I, I don't know how Japan Love can win. Don't. I don't think. I don't think. I Japan... mean, you're thinking in terms of. You're thinking in terms of how I can get the win. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. You're thinking in terms. No, I'm not. Okay. No, I'm not. I'm thinking out way outside that. I I just don't know how you're gonna you, like. We've reached equilibrium right now as a as a game. So. We can, we can take stuff back. You you cannot advance more than we can take back. So we've reached equilibrium. So, um, that being said, I don't know how you can win. Let, let me tell you how he can win. He can outbuild us and muscle us. That's what he can do. No, he can't. I don't think you're saying that correctly. No, he, he. I can I can build roughly the same amount. You can build twelve. We can build twenty five. Look, no, you have to you have to consider the stuff coming in from Asia and India. It's just well, on yeah. A delay. Well, it, it it's delayed, it's but yeah. It's on an on a India delay. Yeah, so. But it's. It it'll be delayed it. enough that he can't attack. I don't think you're seeing it the way I'm seeing it. Well, so all of a sudden you think he's going to win? No, my position all along has been a stalemate. I think it's yeah, I don't think Well, that's, win. I that's think what I mean. That's what I mean. That's what I'm trying the, to say. It's the, depth. it's the depth of Japan right now, both in Africa and the Western Europe, that is noteworthy. Africa is going to dissipate. It's gonna, it's gonna yep. dissolve like water in yep. Asia. Yep. Yep. Yeah. It actually, it's I, gonna I, be trickier for us to get back. Shaky's right. It's a stalemate. It actually really is. It's, I mean, if there's ever a game I ever played in my life, this is probably one of those games that's a stalemate. It's like a chess game. It's like okay. nobody's so, gonna win. So both allies now finally saying stalemate, yet both Axis players saying advantage Axis. I'm oh, just saying. Okay, okay. <laughs> exactly. But again, to my earlier point, this is, is one dice roll away from switching one way or the other. Well, yeah, one sure. one yes, but let's make it his, yes. let, let's make it his dice roll. You, son of a bitch. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Let's make it one his. Poland. One Poland. One Poland. One season seventeen, <laughs> or one season thirty-two. I, I, I blew season seventeen. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I could have covered it. I could have covered it. 
<clears throat> but you know what though? I'm not faulting you because I made so many mistakes this round. This, this turn, it's not even funny. Alcohol. All right. So anyway, you can ask you can ask your community, but I I think we should go for correspondence. Okay, but to, and, uh, on the record, on the record, on the, on the record. This is data, clearly uh, all four of us. I'm totally okay with that. Decision. I'm totally okay with that. But on the record, if the community says they'd like to see us, you know, continue playing the way we're playing, is that okay too? Yeah, that's okay. Uh, Vagabond agrees. Absolutely. All right. All right. Dolphin, mm -hmm. you're the man. Mm -hmm. And Rose, yeah, just, just one more time, I'll say we can switch to correspondent and just as quickly we can revert back to live. It's not permanent. Yeah. One yeah. way or the other. Yeah, we, we can offer that as an option okay, as well. So we, we, can offer, we can offer a correspondence game only. Or a correspondence game with the option of flipping back to community match, Blitz. Or we can offer the Blitz match that we're doing right now. So we'll give them three options. But the value of the continuity of Blitz, if that's what the community wants, it sounds like we're all on board. I think, honestly, I think they're going to pick sure. Blitz. I, I think they're going to pick what we're doing right now. Because I think most people really enjoy it. They like the banter. They like the... Um, secrecy almost in a way but not secret like we're trying to be secret but in a way that we're not being secret <laughs> does that make sense mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. you know and i think a lot of people appreciate the learning from that because they they get that um like what what like what is the psychology behind doing what you're doing like what is the value of what you're doing and because we're talking about it, and we're not, we're, we're talking about it in a way that we're not trying to give away the secrets. But once we've done the move, then people go, oh, ah, I see. So we're being far more transparent than we should be if we were really being 100% competitive, which is, yeah, the, but it's not, it's not a ranked game. And Roach, I think you're totally on something because seeing the psychology is very rewarding. Very rewarding. It took me. It's very rewarding. <laughs> Wait, say, 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 say that again? Yeah, I think you're totally right in that seeing our psychology is yeah. very rewarding for a viewer. It is. Yeah, it is. I mean, I mean, I mean, think about it. When, when, you, when you're watching a video of somebody playing through something, or because we've all done it, or whatever it may be, like whatever the situation is, Somebody's playing through something, and you're watching. You're you're riveted. You're riveted by their content, right? So whatever it is, and they f they go through it and they explain their psychology for doing whatever they're doing. Is that riveting? I mean, it's kind yes. of like yes, like very much so. You want to watch yeah, that, riveting, like you want to watch but that. Informative, right? Informative to your own personal evolution as you try to grasp this late game fiasco that rarely seems to actually manifest. Mm -hmm. I think it is also riveting. It is informative, yes, but also riveting. To me, that's a very exciting. Uh, we, I don't think, I don't think we're educating people on something because we don't know what we're doing. It's fucking mysterious. <laughs> <God damn it. laughs> it's like, it's like, no, nobody's ever been here before. Nobody's ever been here before. <laughs> I haven't. I have I never, I have never had, I have never had a thirty-six round game. I think the longest game I ever had was twenty-four never. or five rounds, something like that. But it wasn't nowhere near this. Yeah, nowhere near this. It's it's almost like a different game. Right. Yeah. But see, so that's so that's the that's kind of the point I'm making. It's kind of the point that I'm trying to say is that, like, if we go to a communications game or uh what what do you guys call it correspondence i think well, correspondence yeah, game yeah, correspondence. yeah i feel like we're cheating the people that are watching it like i i, I mean well i i guess we'll give them their opinion we'll let them talk and comment and stuff like that but if it was me i would comment and i would say no man keep playing the way you're playing that's what I, that's what i would say if, if i was watching your game this game I say no, man. I love this. This is great. I'm learning so much. 
and I feel if he if he went to a correspondence game, it'd be like it would be dull. It'd be um, not dull, but dull, dull, or dialed back. Maybe that's the term. Not dull, but dialed back a little bit. It, it wouldn't be as it'd be less spicy, less engaging. Is the word I guess I'm looking for. No, I think it, I think I think for the for the guys who are really interested in the, you know, high high meta plat strategies, I think turning it into a correspondence game gives them more of that precision. Yeah, how many guys? The game better for them. How many of them are there? I mean, how many of those I mean, guys? Is, how many of those guys in the top I, ten I, are I, are watching our game? <laughs> yeah, I think I think more of them are that those more of those who are. You know, really interested in the game or interested in the precision play. So, I, I I don't think it's necessarily a disservice to them to stop being drunk when you guys take your turn <laughs> and to let me use my calculator <laughs> on my turn. <laughs> 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 you boil it down to the essence right there, Dolphin. You boil it down to the essence. Yeah, whatever advantage he has has been both dice and slight. <coughs> Poor decision under inebriation combined. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, but to say it out loud. He really should have lost. But to say it out loud. Yeah. Wait, exactly. who should have lost? To say it out loud. Is Wait, who, who should have lost? Japan. Me. Uh, you remove inebriation, you remove blitz, and Japan lost round 20. I'm not sure what you're talking about, but no. it, it could be. <laughs> I don't know. About, I don't know about that. I think. I think. I think it was still around round twenty, pretty pretty strong round twenty. I don't even remember what round twenty looks arbitrary. like, but it was arbitrary. I, but another way to ask the question is: Do as a viewer, do you prefer math or do you prefer personality? I want personality. I want personality. I always do. I don't care I who it is. <laughs> I want the math. <laughs> I also want anyway, it's up to Roche. And, uh, no, it's, no, it's, 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 it's actually not up to me. It's, it's, up to, it's up to the community. It's up to the viewers. Right, right. It's up to the, to the community, which will, Roche will communicate to us. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Roche will let us know. What or you, they oh, or you could watch the video, like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Did you hear me? You could you could watch the video, like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> wait, hold on. That's a good point. Air Dolphin, are you a subscriber of mine? Yeah, I'm a subscriber. Okay, all right. What about you, Vagabond? I have no idea. I hate YouTube. I hate social media. But oh. I suppose that at this point, That's I have good. become a contributor. Yeah, screw all of you. Sounds like a no. Sounds like a big fat no. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's, not, he's not a big fan. <laughs> He pretends to be. He pretends to be, but he's not really. A degree of anonymity slash commentary that equals toxicity. Toxicity. But DZMC gaming oh. is none of that. What? So. What does that mean? Subscribe is happening, or it has already happened. Yeah. We'll see in a second. Mm-hmm. Go tell it on a mountain, man. That's what I say. But I still say, hold on. No, but I'm subscribed. I, are you? Yeah, I just, I, I just, I've already been subscribed, but I officially just liked the most recent episode. Oh. Carry on, Roach. Yeah, okay. You're out of the algorithm. Yeah, exactly. So keep doing that, man. You guys, all, all, all of my, all, okay, hold on. All of the people watching this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, the notification bell thing. It helps me get visibility. I think. I think. I, th I think. Uh, I think that's what the algorithm media, does. It like gets you visibility. What? Even if 
you hate social media like I do, and YouTube is social media, right. subscribe. If you are an Access Knowledge fan and you want to understand this sort of nonsense, because it is nonsense, it's turned 36, and um, I don't know who said it, banter, personality, whatever, there's a point at which this is authentic and real versus just pure numbers. Fucking subscribe, people. This is, this is gold. Thank you. Uh, no, wait. This is platinum. I appreciate Thank the... You. Uh... <laughs> I appreciate the... Uh... I've, been, I've been one of your biggest supporters. Who, you have? I was, I was literally your first... Yes, I was literally your first commenter. I have posted several times in the Discord. You recommend your video. I'm on your side, bro. I want you to succeed. Oh, I love you too, man. Well, succeed... What do you mean, succeed? I'm not trying to succeed at anything. Roach wants think... you to succeed as a player. Yes. That's what these videos are all about. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I want to win. Hundred percent, Vagabond. You got that. That's why I started this, because I remember when I first started playing, I was like, I was playing the board game, like in my mind, like in my mind, because I remembered the board, and I was like trying to play the game like that, and I was like, oh wait, why is that not working? Why is this not working? Why is that not working? Everything's being stupid, because the board game is different for some reason. It actually plays no, differently. Because you're playing against the five best people in your neighborhood. Yeah, exactly. Versus the five best people in the world. Right. Exactly. 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 And uh, so I watched, like, the first person I ever watched, I think the first video I ever watched was TTG Guy. And he's the one who taught me how to, yeah, he's the one who taught me how to understand the math of the game. Like, he, he like, he, like, the timing, like, you know, he was all about timing. And um, so he, he taught me about that. And then there was Mannix that was, uh, I, I caught his videos, and he wasn't really good at when he first started. <laughs> but very charismatic. But very charismatic. Because I, I remember watching some of his, like, earlier videos. Like, even now, if I watch some of his earlier videos, they go, oh, man, what are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? Don't fucking do that. You know? So... Uh, I watched him because I learned you know how. What? what? He got good. Yeah, he, he did. Good. He got good. Yeah, he's a platinum player, I, I think. I, right? I like yeah. his videos, and he got good. Yeah, he made it to platinum, I think. Um, but his his accent, his fluidness, his the his delivery, the way he like you know tic tac tickety whatever you want to call what you know dip dap tickety do or like he like his stupid English phrases. They were like. <laughs> So <laughs> hilarious that like you can't you can't help but watch the guy. He's just funny. Yes. But Very he true. plays. But he plays smart. But he's he's a smart player. He, like he thinks about his moves. He you know, and he tells us about what he's thinking and stuff like that. Like I love that. And then I watched Quentin. And I watched when I watched him. I was like, oh my god, there's people that play this at this level. <laughs> I'm like. He's talking about stuff, and he's going like, oh, yeah, you know, like, he's like a human calculator. Yeah. He's like a human calculator. <laughs> and he plays, and he's like, uh, like, he's like five turns ahead of you. And you're like, you're thinking you're doing good. You know, you're playing well. You know, you oh, you got him. You got him. He's like five turns ahead of you. And he's like, oh, wait, shit, what happened? You know, <laughs> like, <laughs> he, he's one of those players. You know, and then there's Matt, you know, there's, uh, well, there's lots of players, and the point is, is that I think we should keep putting content on the internet because I think people learn from it. I did. I know um, Shaky, I did. you did. I know Vagabond, you do, and I know Air Dolphin, you did at first, probably. So let's mm -hmm. put the content out there. I think I am the most prolific poster of Access to Dallas games on the internet right now because yeah. nobody posts more than I do. Not mm -hmm. only that. You're a good storyteller when you do it. Your videos are good. You should be proud. Your videos are good, dude. I enjoy them. Thank you, brother. Appreciate mm -hmm. it. I agree. Okay, so I just want to say, yeah, Quinton is my sensei. Oh, he's great. He's Quinton he's is fantastic. Uh, he yeah. is fantastic. Yeah, he him. is fantastic. I mean, his his <laughs> med chuck his med chuck is. I still, even though I've watched the video like a hundred times, I still don't get it. <laughs> like, it's that good. 
it's that good that I uh, I go, I, can I do this? Wait, no, hold on. No, it's not quite right. Wait, wait. Oh, no, something's missing. Oh, what the? You know, I, I don't understand, man. He's, he's just so good at what he does. He's hard to beat. Can you refer to him, Dolphin, for one of our games? Uh, I Wait. don't know. Probably not. <laughs> he often likes to play ranked. Or I think recently he's pretty busy with real life. Yeah, but he's actually pretty open to playing games yeah. like this too, though. He has, he's expressed in the past that he would be open to uh, doing a teaching video. So I think that mm-hmm. if, okay. if okay. we off, if so we offered him, who is most likely to step aside for amazing people like Amund and Quentin. Oh, that would be... How likely are you to be able to convince Quentin to step into the next video? That'd be fantastic. All right, <laughs> do it. Make it happen. Air Dolphin, if, if you and Quentin played me, Amund, and Shaky, I would like to see that fucking game. I can tell you that right now. I think that pay-per-view. Yeah. I think Quentin exactly. probably has a bit of a I think Quentin probably has a bit of a vendetta against me because I kind of informally beat him, not in a ranked game, but I remember in that you, you two you, custom you, games. No, you told me that. You told me that. I've beaten him twice. You told me that. Perfect. Oppositional entry into the Quentin Dolphin slash support network. <laughs> episode forthcoming. <laughs> he, he definitely has, has, a, has a target on my... I have a target on my back. <laughs> He's aiming at it. And, All right, uh, you know what? I think he would... They, he would oh, hold on. Hold on. Me if I faced him. Okay, so hold on. So we get Quentin, you get a Mund. <laughs> Pick your poison. Oh, oh, I like this. I like this. Pick your poison. I will pay one <laughs> tip. I'm, I'm, I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass on the next game, but uh, yeah, maybe maybe another another time. Yes, you can, us. Us. Yeah, <laughs> you can still help us with recruiting. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to uh, bother him right now. He he's probably busy with a job or something. <laughs> or school. <laughs> I yeah. I mean, you could you could ask and find out. Okay. In that vein of understanding, on the off chance that you're trying to recruit Vagabond, I'm about to go into engineering school, so... No, dude. Dude. You don't have to what? You know how much I'm available either, but Dolphin, Dolphin, if you can make the time, I would freaking pay one cent to watch that. That would be an amazing... It's true. I think people dude, actually... I think people... Have been fantastic. I think people would actually... Fantastic. You know what? I think people actually might pay to see a game like that. When you're talking about that high level of play, Amund, Quentin, Air Dolphin, well, me, because <laughs> I'm kind of a big deal. And, well, there's Husky. But, you know. <laughs> a, little bit of, a little bit of hubris acknowledged, bro. Yeah, even with you involved, sarcasm slight. I, 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 would, I would pay very little, but still, I would pay to watch that. Dolphin, you've got to take a break. you got to take a break, man. I love you, dude. After this little bit of interaction, I love you, dude. But I would love to see you play Amund and others, and Quentin, etc. It would be fantastic. Right. That that actually would be a good game. Which it actually brings would. me back to the original point of goddamn Beamdog, can we get spectable games so that everyone can watch? Well, just, even what I suggested at one point in their feedback, just make it possible to take the script that is past turns and replay and watch it like it's a Civilization five slash six game. But yes, spectatable, past tense or present tense, make that possible in games like this, especially if you remove me and really focus on people that are amazing, like Dolphin, etc. Yeah, well, it's not even about us. Like, think about, like, a tournament, right? If everyone could spectate a tournament... To me, oh, that's more great. entertaining than yeah. watching TV. Oh, I agree. I agree. Yeah. I'd T- I'd does not, there's nothing on TV that makes me excited at all anymore, yeah. except Judge Judy. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I agree. Dolphin, if you need to skip, skip, but it's been great to watch you. No, that's, see, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, he, it's so funny because I talked to you about this, Kent many times i said like you're a great player 
I go, why do you not play rank games? And you go, I don't know. I just don't. It's not my thing, man. I just don't, don't, don't like it. Like, why don't I do it? You know? Yeah. I'm like, dude, you're like, if you did, you'd be like top ten easily. Like, I I think so. I mean, I I I, I think so. Do you guys agree? No, I don't think it's I don't think it's that easy because the time pressure of having to play every single day. Yeah. Is, is yeah. Grind. That is that is yeah. true. That is true. You're right, you're right. I've lost games simply because 24 hours limit. You're right, you're right. And There's a lot of days I don't want to take my turn. Other powers is you're always Maybe, maybe. I just, straight up days, I don't want to take my turn. And I do. But I don't want to, so it's not yeah. possible. I'm like that too, I'm like that too. I mean, if anyone's watching, if you play Jordan Gay, I mean, this guy disappeared. And I feel, I, I'm worried a little bit about the guy, just like Sergeant Electrician, no, Sergeant, I don't know what to do, Sergeant Suit slash the Electrician is. The dude disappeared, but he played Russia in a way that no one else played Russia. Who? A bomber from Russia is Jordan Gay. Jordan the Gay? Player oh, playing yeah. Russia in a way no just... one else literally played Russia. Bomber, first turn, yet he scored platinum with the Allies. I'm just saying. Yeah, I just play him in a blitz game, and I dismantle. I dismantle. Yeah, that wouldn't work. Uh, against you know me. what? You're better than me, Shaky. We've determined this already. But the point is, there's any number of ways to play this game, but watching the best players, and I believe, ignore me. I don't care how much Roach has preached, Vagabond. You're good at this game. Slight sarcasm and enunciation of. You know, no, I mean that. Voice. I mean that. I mean, I, hey, listen, dude. First of all, first of all, I don't say anything I don't mean. That's number one. Uh, I think Air Duffin can uh, attest to that. And two, mm-hmm. dude, if I say something, I mean it. Well, I appreciate that. <laughs> but you guys are good. And I have room to improve. I think all three of you can agree on that. And I'll Mark, Mark, the bag of us. Vagabond, I will say this. If you're insecure about your position, you are on the cusp of being it. I agree with that. I agree with that. I'm not... I am both humble and prideful at the same time, if that makes sense. But <laughs> that is also, to a degree, those people who have played this game since beta and those people who are just finally going, I used to kick ass in my you local community. You, seven and a half people. Don't, you don't have to play this game since beta. When we yeah. first started Blitz, I was a silver player, and I was the insecure one. Yeah. That was not well, that long ago. You can improve okay. very, very much, very quickly. I'm Shaky 2.0, and you guys are good. <laughs> Shaky 2.0. You're on the cusp of being <laughs> so don't worry about it. <laughs> no, they're not being us. They're not going to win. But the point being, the point being, okay, just to really bring this around everything we said thus far, Air Dolphin, fantastic play when everyone doubted you, including your ally slash failed German in me. And moving into this idea that we are going to lean on the community of 200 plus subscribers to decide what format this moves forward in. Great game. And I just told Dolphin this. Ask Dolphin. Ask it's, him. It's 121. I just told Dolphin or, this. Well, it's you 100. guys are great. And then right near the end of where we can all handle, 2.50 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, USA, which is where I am, and the 13th beer kicks in, you guys have been consistently amazing. And then make that mistake at the end we, of round 10. We haven't um, been amazing. Yeah. <laughs> No, you guys have been great. You guys have no. been great. No, no, no. Yes, you have. No. We've been you. fun and entertaining. Sort of a shaky. But, yeah. You have been great. Dolphin. But, Hold on. Yeah. Dolphin. Tell them my nickname for you. <laughs> Wait, um, what is that? <laughs> what is it? Oh, if you don't recall, or you refuse to admit. <laughs> Yoda? Dolphin is the blind swordsman. Is it Yoda? The blind swordsman. What did you do? You did Wait, no, no. He, I, have, I he's, don't remember. He's the Black Knight at uh, the. Uh, he, he's the Black Knight at the gates of uh, 
fucking, uh, oh shit, hold on, hold on, uh, hold on, hold on, uh, shit, what the hell is the Knights of Nim? No, he's the, Monty Python, Monty Python, yes, Monty Python, he's the knight, Ed. he's the knight of the <laughs> gate, no. what, it's just a flesh wound, no, there... <laughs> <laughs> no. there is the legend of the blind swordsman, who is the greatest samurai of all, yes, and he yes. cares not for rank, nor titles, nor accolades. But he is the and greatest that, And on that note, he is the greatest overly commentating guy. I had someone delete their comment in response to my... I just... They said, oh shit, I should delete this because it's possibly hubris. They said, I beat a lot of platinum guys uh, unranked. Um... Well, a lot of platinum players people like Dolphin. Guys. How many people are like Dolphin who are fucking platinum players if they took half a second to no. try? <laughs> no. No. Dolphin is unranked. No, he's, yeah, he's, he's a loser. That's his point. <laughs> he's the blind swordsman. He's, he's a, the blind swordsman. He's, he's a loser. <laughs> blind swordsman. You've been fucking fantastic even when your own ally doubted your ass <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh my god husky control yourself <laughs> oh wait not, not husky fucking shaky <laughs> shaky why do you keep saying husky i don't know why i keep saying husky what the fuck is that what the fuck is yeah, up with I, that I wanted that but good that game, guy everyone I mean, what everyone what i wanted that game yeah, you won the game against Husky. Yeah. Yeah. Keep it up, Roach. Yeah. I mean, 200 viewers is not a lot no. when you think about some of these idiotic YouTube people who just sing I, one song. I don't care. I don't care. Views. I don't care. I think it's a lot. I, I don't think care. But in the Axis and Allies world, 200 actual humans, I think it's a lot. You're a fucking superstar. Oh, wow. Mm hmm. Oh. That's gonna go to my head. Keep it up, sir. Yeah. That's, yeah. I might have sex tonight weird. because of that. You know what? How do I e hug all of you right now and make it super weird? What? <laughs> all right. Make it super weird. Hold on, Vagabond. Ma make it super weird. E hug. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. They're gonna be. You know what? They're gonna be actual viewers that actually listen to our banter right now. They're going to stick to the end. And they're going to go, what the fuck are you guys talking about? <laughs> the, camarader the camaraderie uh -huh. that is 36 plus turns. Yeah. Carry on, sir. Well, I think that um, Air Dolphin should give it up. That's what I'm saying. If, if, if we're taking votes, I want to say that uh, Air Dolphin, uh, you played a good game. Good match. Way to go, trooper. But uh, mm -hmm. we're going to win. How you like that? Fucking <laughs> <laughs> All right, prove it. Yeah, well, we will. <laughs> and we'll, and, we'll, and, and we'll, we will. will the fans decide? Will the fans decide if they want to see it uh, live or whatever you call mm -hmm. it? It's like a big word. I don't know if I can handle that right now. Correspondence. Yeah. That's a big word. <laughs> it, it, it requires more detail. <laughs> not, not prepared for that. I don't think our fans are going to go detailed, man, or uh, correspondence. That's bullshit. They're going to say, fuck you, man. Play the game out. Finish it. That's what I'm thinking. Right. Let's assume that happens. Dolphin, you in next week? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I gotta gotta stay with the game I've already started, and right. that we'll Bring wind up the winning. In. If they say yay, I've got three forties. Listen, I'm a hold on. Engineering hold, hold, hold on, hold on. I'm in. First of all, first of all, this has the potential to be the longest lasting fucking access analysis game in history. And you say, well, it goes past 100 rounds. 
this game could go past 100 rounds. No. No, no. Fuck you. A game has gone 200 rounds, but carry on. This game could go past 100 rounds, especially with what we have planned with the U.S. So, um, yeah. Just going to say that. All right. This game. Love you, Dolphin. You're the man. Kick their ass. I will. <laughs> I mean, if it's if it goes correspondence, I'll have a le- bit less of an advantage because they'll be so good. And, 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 and a calculator. Counter. Lit. I mean, the, the, the spirit that has been this fucking amazing game continues in Blitz. Dolphin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's true. That's true. So, whatever, whatever is decided, I'll just continue that way. And, uh, what do you guys think? What do you I guys think? Next time. What do you guys think that the? Uh... Right, uh, we'll catch up next time. All right, all right, all right, folks. We'll leave it at that. Uh, welcome back to the DZMC Three game channel. Four, we'll. Uh... What? Last round. Three and a half hours earlier than the last round. That this is where we end. So. <laughs> well. Well, we'll... Put it, let's put a nice bow on it and say good night. Too. Yeah. So we'll end it here. And uh, we will pick it up on round 37. <laughs> Good night, folks. Love you guys. All right, I'm folks. Looking forward to the Blitz continuation, but fans, you decide. Yeah, fans decide. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll put it up there. It's going to take a day and a half for it to upload, by the way, because it's like seven hours. <laughs> 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 so we'll, we'll post this Sunday, maybe. Thanks, guys. Love you. See you back. Good night, everyone. Bye.